Advertisement. Sea Circle Calendar 1519, East Blue. On the boundless sea, a ship drifts with the waves. Or, to be more precise, a special houseboat. The ship has a deck, a mast, and sails, and a house. There is a unique symbol in the center of the house, the sails and the flag on the top of the mast. It's not the pirate skull flag, but the guild logo. The name of the ship, Fairy Tale. Guild name, Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale of the One Piece World. The afterglow of the setting sun shines through the windows and sprinkles all over the ground. Suyu sat calmly on the comfortable fur chair. In front of his eyes, there is a panel that only he can see. Fairy Tale LV5. President, Suyu. Lost Magic, Thunder Dragon Slayer Magic 100%. Dragon Slayer Mystery has been unlocked. Thunder Dragon King Mode to be unlocked. Guild Members, S Level Mage Fairy Queen Urza, S Level Receptionist Demon Mirajan. 33% from the next level. Fairy Tale System, this is Suyu's portable cheat. Three months ago, Suyu came to this world. Awaken the Fairy Tale System. Create a Fairy Tale Guild. Advertisement. AD. As long as you continue to complete the commission, you can upgrade the guild. At the same time, you can also randomly obtain the magical power of the fairy tale world and summon the partners of the fairy tale guild. Also, the system also thoughtfully prepared a gift package for beginners. What Suyu got from it was the fairy tale guild's S rank wizard Laxus template. After three months of hard work, Suyu's thunder dragon slaying magic is almost complete. The fairy tale guild ship was also built. Besides, what satisfies Suyu most is that he is no longer alone. In the past three months, he has continuously completed commissions and upgraded the guild, which allowed him to obtain two partners. Fairy Queen Urza, one of the S-class mages in Fairy Tale, also one of the protagonists, extraordinary combat power. What's more important is to have the power of idealism. Once the chest cloth is worn and the BGM sounds, it won't work for anyone, and the Devil Mirajan. Also an S-class mage from Fairy Tale, the character is even more gentle, sweet, and white-haired. Simply a man's dream lover? Certainly. The most important thing, whether it is Urza or Mirajan, their favorability towards Suyu through summoning is 100% full from the very beginning. This means Suyu is their most important person. No matter what Suyu asks for, they will give it. Even the extraordinarily rude request in that respect. President. A sweet girl's voice sounded. Advertisement. AD. Mirajan, a beautiful white-haired girl in a white dress, brought a glass of fine wine to Suyu. Suyu embraced it with a big hand, and brought it into his arms amidst the girl's tender voice. President, it's still daytime, please wait until night. Mirage Han's pretty face was reddish, and her voice was thin and weak. That's right, then simply feed me. Suyu smiled slightly. Hmm. Mirage sighed. He picked up the wine glass on the table and drank it down, then leaned over. Three minutes later. Jingle bell. The guild bell rang. Break the good vibe here. Why did you choose this time? Suyu frowned in dissatisfaction. President, you must actively treat every job entrustment, this is what you said. Mirajan reacted quickly, she had already left Suyu, and said sullenly, Yes, yes, go and prepare for the reception. Suyu shook his head and agreed. The endless sea, a small fishing boat without even a cabin was ups and downs in the wind and waves, as if it might capsize at any time, but it has always been steady. Being able to do this can only show that the manipulator of the boat is a very good navigator. He has a keen observation and precise judgment on the current and wind direction. If anyone sees it, it is bound to be a shocking discovery. It is not some senior seaman who possesses such superb navigation skills. Advertisement. It was a girl, a girl with orange hair who was 16 or 17 years old. Ah, I found it. At a certain moment, the orange-haired girl Nami exclaimed in surprise. Through the binoculars, she saw the houseboat on the sea not far away. There is no mistake, that symbol is the entrusted guild that has been active in East Blue recently. Fairy Tale. Nami clenched his fists, feeling a little nervous in his heart. The first time I heard Fairy Tale was a month ago, stealing at the reception of the upper class. Nami learned of the existence of Fairy Tale from the reception staff. Know that this is an organization dedicated to helping others solve problems. Certainly, the premise is to pay a certain amount of money. At first, Nami just thought this was some new money fraud organization and didn't care. He was even thinking about when to sneak in and make a fortune. However, within the past month, by chance, she came into contact with several villages that had cooperated with Fairy Tale. From the gaudy descriptions of the villagers, Nami felt that his initial judgment was wrong. This guild named Fairy Tale seems to be unusual. Three days ago, after hearing that the overlord of East Blue, the Creek Pirates, was also overthrown by Fairy Tale, Nami finally made up his mind. She wants to try it. Try sending a quest to Fairy Tale. Seeking a glimmer of hope for Kokoyasi village and the twenty surrounding villages. Looking at the big ship in front of him, Nami took a deep breath and rang the service bell on the side of the ship. Jingle bell. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 2 Nami's Commission. The reward is 2 billion. Seek evaluation of flowers. Advertisement. 80. Miss, this way please, the president is already waiting. The white-haired beautiful girl Mirajan opened the door of the office and made a gesture of invitation to Nami. Thanks. Nami nodded and stepped in. What do you want to entrust? Suyu turned the swivel chair gracefully. I just finished asking. He couldn't help frowning slightly. He already recognized the orange-haired girl in front of him. This is also a matter of course. As a traverser, how could he fail to recognize the girl in front of him? A member of the protagonist group Straw Hat Crew. Nami, the genius navigator, the pilfering cat. And, for what Nami came here for, he already knows it all. It's time to eradicate the evil dragon gang. Feel Suyu's sharp eyes suddenly. Nami's delicate body trembled, and panic arose in her heart. Don't be nervous, miss, have a sip of tea, and then tell us your commission. Mirajan handed over a cup of hot tea and spoke softly. Um, Nami took a sip of tea and collected himself. Immediately, he unreservedly told the story of Arlong and his gang's troubles. How could this be? It's too much. The kind-hearted Mirage Han's pretty face was moved, and she looked at Nami with sympathy and affection. Please, please drive Arlong and his gang out of Kokoyasi village and East Blue, this is my commission. Nami bowed solemnly to request. So, what about the reward? How much commission did you prepare? So you asked. 100, 1 million berry. Nami said, advertisement. 80, of course she could come up with more. But, 
At first, she didn't know the details of this guilt. It is not clear whether Suyu will be able to deal with Arlong. Second, if you explain the truth as soon as you come up, there will be less room for bargaining. At last, although it is hearsay, Nami heard that Suyu took over the commission to solve the East Blue Overlord Creek, and only received 10,000 berry as a reward. Compared with 10,000 berry, the 1 million berry given by myself is already high enough. Only, Miss Nami, 1 million berry, don't you think this remuneration is slightly inconsistent with what you entrusted? Suyu looked at Nami with a half-smile. He knows about Nami's property of being a money fan. Arlong's problems, of course, have to be addressed. But before that, it is also necessary to beat this little money fan properly. I also know the danger of this entrustment. President So, you just say, as long as you can get rid of Arlong and his gang, no matter what the price is, I'm willing to pay. Nami gritted his teeth and said firmly. In that case, then I'm not going to be polite, I want this number. Suyu smiled and stretched out two fingers. Two million. Nami said. Suyu shook his head. Then, twenty million. Nami asked tentatively. At this price, it was barely within her acceptable range. However, Suyu still shook his head. It can't be two hundred million. The corners of Nami's mouth twitched. This offer was slightly beyond her expectations. But, gritting his teeth, he was still able to cope. However, it was beyond Nami's expectations. Suyu still shook his head, made his own offer. Two billion, a village of one hundred million, I will make Arlong and his gang disappear from this world. Advertisement. A.D. Suyu said seriously. Nanny, two billion. Nami stood up awkwardly. I shouted robbery in my heart. Mirage Hen's beautiful eyes widened unexpectedly, obviously also frightened by Suyu's offer. In the work entrusted so far, she learned that Suyu was not keen on the reward for the commission. If you have money, get more. If you don't have money, get less. Sometimes even a meal will do. It's like a commission from Creek, the overlord of the East Blue. What Nami learned was that the reward was 10,000 berry. But actually all Suyu wanted was a glass of water and a bowl of rice. But right now, for the girls who suffered the same misery, Suyu gave a sky-high price of 2 billion. Although she didn't know why, Mirajin had 100% trust in Suyu, knowing that he must have his own considerations for this move, so she didn't say much. How about it, Ms. Nami? My quotation is indeed a little high, but it's definitely worth it. Suyu smiled. Nami bit her red lips tightly, without saying a word. A village of 100 million baileys. This is also within her acceptable range. Because she originally wanted to buy Kokoyasi village from Arlong with 100 million baileys. If Suyu proposes 100 million, she may hesitate a little and then agree. But, right now it's 2 billion. Not just Kokoyasi village. Instead, 20 villages were tied together. This is far beyond her ability. You must know that she has worked hard to save money for so many years. There is still a long way to go before the small goal of 100 million. 2 billion, this is an impossible task. Sure enough, it still doesn't work. Nami pursed her lips, ready to leave. Don't give up in a hurry. The guild supports installment payment. The down payment is one berry, and the rest can be paid back slowly by working part-time. It just so happens that I am still short of a few manpower. Suyu smiled. Advertisement. A.D. Oh. Mirajin was stunned. She finally knew the real reason for Suyu's outrageous offer. The feeling is that he fell in love with the little girl and wanted to keep her. Whether you want to continue and trusting, you can think about it slowly. Myra, send Miss Nami to rest. Suyu said. Yes, President. Mirajin complied. After a few minutes, Mirajin, who settled Nami, returned to Suyu, looking at Suyu with beautiful big eyes, her small mouth puffed up slightly. What's wrong? Suyu stroked Mirajin's little head. Hmph, the president is really playful, he obviously already has us. Mirajin said, jealous. The smile on Suyu's face became more intense. Who is jealous? Mirajin denied it flusteredly, her eyes flickering. Ha ha. Suyu embraced her with a big hand, and lovingly brought Mirajin into her arms. You think too much, Myra, I want to keep Nami for the future development of the guild. Suyu said seriously. Real. Mirajin looked suspicious. Certainly. Suyu said seriously. As I said, I will be going to the Grand Line soon, the weather there is changeable, and it will be difficult to move without a good navigator. Nami is the talent we are looking for. Miss Nami is a navigator. Ordinary people can't sail alone at sea. It seems to be too. Myra nodded slightly. So, where are we going next? Shall we meet Urza first? No need, go directly to Kokoyasi village. Suyu said. Advertisement. A.D. Chapter 3 Nami's Resolution. In the blink of an eye, Arlong was wiped out. Seek evaluation of flowers. Advertisement. Two billion? Bandit? Robbery? How about good quality and low price? What about the good old man? Why come to me? Two billion, I can't save that much even if I work till I die. Nami in the fairy tale guild room wanted to cry but could not stop complaining and slandering in her heart. But, there are benefits to being expensive. If you can really solve Arlong's group and save everyone, no matter how much you pay, it will be worth it. But what does the installment payment that the president said mean? Let me work here to pay back the money. Tonight is destined to be a sleepless night for the little thief, Nami. The next day, until nine o'clock in the morning, Nami finally walked out of the room with a pair of panda eyes. Good morning, Miss Nami. Mirajan delivered a delicious breakfast with a smile. Thank you, Miss Myra. Nami said thanks. Chatted with Mirajan one after another. From Mirajan's mouth, Nami is more certain about one of her conjectures. Where is President Suyu? Where is the president now? After breakfast, Nami made up her mind. The president's words are already waiting for you on the deck. Mirajan said, um. Nami nodded lightly, and immediately pushed the door out, walking behind Suyu. How are you thinking? Miss Nami, you don't have much time left. Suyu stared ahead without looking back, and spoke calmly. Advertisement. Nami was taken aback. Look around. The pupils of the beautiful eyes shrank suddenly, until Suyu reminded. It was only then that she finally discovered that this was a sea area she was all too familiar with. Far away, a tiny black spot can be seen. That is her hometown, Kokoyasi village, this moment. Nami knows. Suyu is definitely not trying to scam her out of money. It's not like trying to scare her off with a sky-high price of 2 billion. Suyu dispelled all the worries in Nami's heart with practical actions. Nami took a deep breath, ready to put all his eggs in one basket. President Suyu, please help me expel the Arlong gang. Nami took out a berry coin from his pocket and handed it to Suyu. Your commission, I take it. Suyu smiled slightly and took Nami's coin. At this time, 
Clatter. The sea surged. A huge manatee broke through the sea and stopped in front of Fairy Tail. That's the sea beast raised by Arlong's gang, Manatee Mu. Nami was startled, his pupils shrank suddenly, just wanted to sound a reminder. Next second, Suyu pointed his finger down. Click, Ken Gold's lightning flashed. The Manatee Mu was burnt black on the spot and sank into the sea. Under Nami's shocked and dull expression, Fairy Tail is on full throttle and headed straight for Arlong land. Advertisement. In a minute, boom, the sea gate of Arlong's paradise was knocked open. The Murlocs who had a wanton banquet for fun in the early morning suddenly turned pale with fright. Who is it? Who is so bold? Don't you know this is our territory? No matter who you are, you dare to disturb our banquet, you will die today. The Murlocs cursed angrily, listening to the abuse of the Murlocs. Nami, who was immersed in the shock, was shocked and finally recovered. The resentment and anger accumulated in my heart for many years burst out at this moment. Arlong. Nami plucked up the courage to stand on the bow of the boat and shouted angrily. Nami, am I reading that right? That's Nami. Boss Arlong, Nami drove that boat. Hey, Nami, did you take the wrong medicine today? How dare you do this, you know the consequences, right? Facing the anger and threats from the Murlocs, Nami remained unmoved and just stared at Arlong. Arlong, I've had enough, what you've done to me, to Kokoyasi village, will end today, you won't be allowed to do whatever you want. Nami shouted decisively. Hearing this, the audience was silent at first, and then burst into deafening laughter. Ha 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 ha, did I hear you right? Just because you, a weak human being, still want to take revenge on us. Hey, hey, Nami, it's fine if we can't listen to this sentence, traitors can only die. Brother Arlong, since Nami said so, how about we kill everyone in this village in front of her today? Good idea, I agree. The pompous stupid Murlocs laugh out loud. Ha 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 ha. On the beach chair, the sawtooth shark KMA and Arlong laughed and stood up. Nami, since you dare to say this, it seems that you have found a backer. Arlong's eyes fell on the fairy tale symbol. Brother Arlong, that seems to be a guild that's been active in East Blue recently. I remember it's called fairy tale. The murloc cotter said in a deep voice. Fairy tale, I don't know what a great backer, and this is the end? Nami, a shrewd woman like you will be deceived, and it is really stupid to believe that an unknown guy can defeat me. Advertisement. The murloc Arlong sneered and sneered. Nami looked determined, unwavering. After witnessing the scene of Suyu killing the sea beast in seconds, she no longer has the slightest doubt about Suyu's strength. Although I don't know what this man promised you to make you do such a rebellious thing, but I don't know if you can still be like this when I throw his head in front of you. Arrogant. Murloc Arlong stared at Suyu beside Nami, grinning cruelly. However, next second, Murloc Arlong's pupils shrank suddenly, because Suyu who was locked in his sight suddenly disappeared. Chi Chi, Ken Gold's lightning flashed. Suyu has already come to Arlong. The huge oppressive force made Arlong back unconsciously. After he realized that he was actually intimidated by the weak humans, Arlong couldn't help but become angry from embarrassment. Was that your last word before? Suyu said indifferently. Asshole, you're just a mere person. Arlong grabbed the peak-cutting sawtooth sword at the side, but he didn't raise his hand, and he didn't finish his sentence. Chi-chi. Electric arcs flickered through Suyu's hair. Suyu raised his right hand and swung it down lightly. Boom, rumble. What resounded through the sky was the roar of thunder. Brighter than the sun, a thunder beam of golden and crimson interlaced fell from the sky and landed on the Murloc Arlong. In an instant, everything stops for Murloc Arlong, whether it is action, speech, or life. His body turned into a coke-like color, and then shattered on the spot, turning into a piece of slag. Enel, the thunder fruit capable user in this world, can't kill people with lightning, but Suyu can. Advertisement. Chapter 4 Arlong and his gang are all wiped out. Nuclear level Marine 166 branch. Seek evaluation of flowers. Advertisement. Thunder. The most violent elemental power in the world. In terms of attack power, it should be number one. People with thunder fruit abilities in this world can't be killed by electricity. But Suyu's lightning dragon slayer magic is different. Treat pure evil like Arlong. Suyu directly cast the strongest dragon slayer thunder. No mercy at all. At the fingertips. The murloc Arlong was wiped out. Under the power of ultimate thunder, his body turned into coke and shattered all over the place. This sudden and shocking scene made everyone in the room dumbfounded. I don't know how long it has been. Deadly, dead. Brother Arlong, brother is dead. Brother was killed by that human. Ah, uh, ah, uh, monster? That guy is a monster. Run, run away. With their backs against Arlong, the tyrannical murlocs immediately scattered like a tree falling, and fled in all directions. If I let you escape, the name of fairy tale will be ashamed. Suyu said lightly, while speaking. His fingers glow. Lightning bomb. One after another, tiny lightning bombs flew out from his fingertips. Boom, rumble, horrible explosions sounded into pieces. In an instant, Arlong Paradise is a charred ruin. One after another, charred murloc corpses were scattered. Advertisement. Humans, do you really want to kill us all? The murloc cotter Kruvi suppressed his fear and stopped drinking sharply. When you rely on your own force to oppress goodness and act recklessly here, you should have thought that such a day would come. So you said indifferently. Bastard, murloc karate, 4000. Click, a golden light flashed. Murloc Cotter Crow Obi, dead. Another iron gun Murloc Cotter Jew trembled in fear. Not daring to have the slightest thought of resistance, he jumped into the sea without looking back. The other dozen or so surviving Murlocs followed suit. The sea is their domain. No matter how strong humans are, they cannot chase them in the sea. This is a deep-rooted idea in the hearts of the Murlocs. Under normal circumstances, it is indeed true. Only, today is different. Suyu submerged one hand in the water. Things like electric fish are forbidden in my original world, but... Chi-Chi, rumble, a golden arc shrouded the sea area thousands of meters away from Fang Yuan. Countless large and small sea fish turned white and floated above the sea. At the same time, there were more than a dozen murlocs who had escaped. The murloc group that ruled the sea area for eight years and wantonly exploited the poor people has now disappeared. On the bow of fairy tale, Nami was holding onto the rails of the boat with both hands, staring wide-eyed, watching the end of the murlocs without blinking. Arlong is dead, and the murlocs who oppressed them are dead. Belmel's vengeance has been avenged. The village is free, this moment. In Nami's life, the haze that lasted seven years has all dissipated. Seven years of grievances poured out at this moment. Advertisement. 80. Nami, who took off her strong disguise, burst into tears like a child. Miss Nami, it's all right. 
Mirajan gently hugged Nami into her arms and comforted her softly. Cry, cry, it will be fine after you cry. So you return to the boat. Myra, I will leave the aftermath work here to you temporarily. I will go out for a while. President, hasn't Nami's commission been completed? What else are you going to do? Mirajan asked puzzled. No, it's not done yet. So you shook his head calmly. The voice fell. His figure turned into a flash of lightning and disappeared into the sky. Murloc Arlong and his gang have indeed been executed. But, collaborating with Arlong and his gang, the marine scum, Colonel Rat, is still on the loose. In Suyu's mind, Nami is already a member of Fairy Tail. Everyone in Fairy Tail is the most important friends and family. No matter who makes a move on Fairy Tail, there will be a price to pay. East Blue, Marine 166 Branch. Wow ha 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 ha. The mouse eyed branch colonel laughed wantonly. Looking at the accumulation in the vault, he couldn't help nodding in satisfaction. Since working with the Murloc Arlong gang, he just bid farewell to the difficult life of living on a meager salary, all the way to the sky, and lived the life of a rich man. Although I know that as a Marine, collaborating with pirates is a serious crime. Once exposed, they will be sent to military courts. But, the mountains are high and the Emperor is far away. Advertisement. AD. In the back country of East Blue. As long as he doesn't say anything, his subordinates don't say anything. How would the big shots in the headquarters know? He has already managed the entire 166th branch, from top to bottom. All of them are their cronies, and as a community of interests, they will never inform. A better life is constantly beckoning to them? Colonel Mouse twirled his mouse-like beard, and the more he thought about it, the more excited he became. However, next second, his body trembled suddenly. The bright future is shrouded by the scene of hell for no reason. The haze of death follows like a shadow. What's the matter? Colonel Mouse suppressed the fear in his heart and rushed out the door. Suddenly raised his head, a figure brighter than the sun stood in the sky, like a god coming to the dust. This place is rotten to the root, rotten to the point where it stinks, since you can't see it from the marine, let me help you. Su Yu said coldly. Quarter of an hour ago, he has already arrived here. 166 branches have been thoroughly investigated. From Colonel Mouse to ordinary sailors, no one has been wronged. That being the case, Su Yu naturally doesn't need to show any mercy. The violent stream of lightning particles continuously gathered in his palm. In the end, it turned into a highly concentrated ball of lightning. Thunder? Wait, wait a minute, who the hell are you? This is Marine Base, you you you, what are you trying to do? Colonel Mouse yelled in horror. Su Yu didn't pay any attention to it. In a flash, the ball of thunder and lightning fell. Boom, rumble, advertisement. 80, Chapter 5 The First Reward, 80 Million, Seek Evaluation of Flowers. Advertisement. 80, East Blue. Coco Yoxi Village. A thunderstorm in Arlong Park naturally alarmed the villagers. On Su Yu's way to the Marine 166 branch, the village representatives headed by the village police officer Jian and Nami's sister Nyoki Jao also rushed to Arlong Paradise, waiting to see the mess all over the place. A Jian, Nyoki Jao, and others couldn't help being surprised. What shocked them even more was the presence of Nami. Nami, why are you here? Arlong did they do something to you? Did you get hurt? The police officer Jian, who has always regarded Nami as his daughter, asked questions anxiously. Nami, it's all right, my sister is here. Nyoki Jao even hugged Nami and comforted her softly. I'm fine, Naka Jao, it's over, it's over, Arlong, they're all dead, we're, free. Nami shook his head, laughing through tears. It's fine, it's fine. Noki patted Nami on the back. Immediately afterwards, the whole person froze suddenly. What? Nami, you just said that Arlong is dead? Is this, true? Advertisement. 80. Nyoki Jao's voice raised an octave unconsciously, without waiting for what Nami said. Ah, ah, this, 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 this is. These are murloc corpses. The murlocs, are all dead. The villagers who discovered the identity of the scorched object on the ground couldn't help screaming. Nami, what the hell is going on here? Feng Jian asked nervously. Nami turned her head and glanced at the fairy tail ship behind her. All thanks to fairy tail. Grand Line. Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford. What? The East Blue 166 branch was taken? Who did it? Marshal Sengoku's horrified roar will echo in the headquarters building. Even if it's just a small base of the Four Seas branch. Advertisement. 80. Its elimination is definitely not a trivial matter. Except for casualties. More importantly, this is a challenge to Marine's majesty. If it is not handled properly, it will seriously affect Marine's prestige in the hearts of the public. According to the evidence left behind at the scene, and the information provided by the surrounding witnesses, the culprit is probably this man. That's right. Suyu, the leader of the Fairy Tail Guild who has recently gained fame in East Blue. Naval Headquarters Commodore Brandon sent the sorted materials to Marshal Sengoku. Sengoku, I heard something happened to East Blue. Do I need to go back? At this moment, a carefree voice came from outside the door. If you go in the past, it will only make the situation more complicated. Another cold, wise voice followed closely behind. Little Crane, why do you say that? Ignoring the grumbling gaze of Marine Hero Garp, Marine Chief of Staff Vice Admiral and Rayleigh walked into the Marshal's office. These are all the information about Fairy Tail. I have noticed them three months ago. According to my investigation, they are not pirates. They are closer to an organization like the Bounty Hunters Guild. By accepting other people's entrusted to earn rewards, so far they. Vice Admiral Crane told everything he had found about Fairy Tail. It also includes the inference that the Chairman Suyu may be a Logia Thunderfruit capable person. Nanny, Logia Thunderfruit ability. This terrifying ability has not appeared for many years. Even the hero garb couldn't help being taken aback. Zayahi, what do you mean? Are they a just organization dedicated to maintaining peace in the sea? If that's the case, why would they do such a thing? Advertisement. 80. Marshal Sengoku sent several photos to Vice Admiral Crane. The screen is a live photo of the attack on the East Blue 166 branch. The entire 166 branch has disappeared without a trace. Everyone, including Colonel Mouse, was left with no bones left. There is only a huge pothole hundreds of meters away from Fang Yuan. The organization that accepts the entrustment to get paid is really pure. They can accept the entrustment of the poor to eradicate pirates, and they can also accept the entrustment of thieves to attack us marine. As long as the money is in place, we can do anything. After all, this so-called fairy tale guild is just like those in the dark world. They are all guys with no bottom line. 
Sengoku makes his own judgment. Wait a minute, Sengoku, there may be some reason behind this, and it needs to be adjusted. No matter what the reason is, doing this kind of thing is the biggest challenge to our marine, and we will never tolerate it. Marshal Sengoku said firmly. Well, Chief Staff Officer Vice Admiral he sighed. Speaking of this, she has nothing more to say. So, how much reward do you plan to offer this man? Vice Admiral Crane asked. 80 million. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 6 Suyu, a person with the ability of Thunderfruit, is famous in the sea. Advertisement. 80. Grand line, somewhere in the sky. Huge hot air balloons go with the wind. There are five large characters written on the body of the hot air balloon, World Economic News. This is the headquarters of the World Economic Newspaper of the King of Journalism, Morgans. Wahahaha, the first reward is 80 million berry. Another incredible monster has appeared in this sea. The news king Morgans laughed happily. The super rookie who broke into the new world unstoppably two years ago, the current captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Fire Fist Ace, Rommel Kamaidaki who rose to fame this year, South Blues Captain Kid, West Blues Gangster Beak, North Blue Magician Hawkins. Combined with East Blue, the Dark Horse newcomer who offered a reward of 80 million for the first time, and more and more new eras emerging, I have a strong premonition that earth-shattering events may happen in this era. President, President Morgans, here is the information you want about Suyu, the president of Fairy Tale. A club member sent a stack of materials to Birdman President Morgans. Let me see, what is the so-called Fairy Tale? Nanny, a person with lightning ability? Could it be the Thunder Fruit ability that can be honored in Logia? If this is the case, the initial reward of 80 million is also reasonable among them, that ability deserves this reward. Morgans, who glanced at the relevant information for the first time, couldn't help being stunned. What? Besides the Thunder Fruit ability user, there is actually a great swordsman, and also the Eugene technique in Legendary. President and President. Another member rushed into the President's office holding a document. Just now, our East Blue branch received an anonymous report that the Colonel Mouse of the East Blue Marine 166 branch colluded with the Murlocs and Dragons to bully men and women, and persecuted 20 villages including Kokoyasi Village. Eight years. Nanny? And this thing? Wahahaha, it's getting more and more interesting, East Blue? Worth my trip. New World. The Whitebeard Pirates. The Whale Ship Moby Dick. Hey, Ace, I remember that you seem to be from East Blue. Advertisement. 80. Sage, the captain of the 4th Division, waved the newspaper in his hand. Yeah, what's wrong? The pockmarked young man who was feasting had a mouthful of food in his mouth, and said vaguely, An amazing newcomer has appeared in East Blue, and the first reward is 80 million berry. Sage said in amazement. Nanny, the first reward is 80 million. What the hell did this guy do? The team captains such as Jaws, Vista, Lake Oyo, etc. were all interested. East Blue's powerful newcomer, is it Luffy? Has Luffy gone to sea early? Ace's eyes lit up. Probably not, Ace, you said that your brother is a Paramecia ability user, but this guy is a Logia just like you, and he is an incredible Logia. Guess what ability it is? Sage smiled mysteriously, without waiting for Ace to say anything. What the hell is Logia, tell me quickly, Captain Thatch. The fat black man growled with his big uneasy eyes open, his ugly face was full of tension. Teach, what happened to you all of a sudden? Ace looked suspicious. Okay, okay, don't be secretive, Sachi, just announce it directly. First team Captain Marco said. Ha ha ha, well, this man named Suyu, he is the strongest Thunderfruit capable user in Logia. Sage, captain of the fourth team, reveals the answer. Nanny, everyone in the Baituan couldn't help being surprised, but there are exceptions. What, it turned out to be Thunderfruit, then it's fine. Advertisement. 80. Blackbeard Teach heaved a sigh of relief, wiped the sweat off his forehead, and didn't care anymore. Lurking on Whitebeard's ship for decades. He has been waiting for a fruit. The most vicious dark fruit ability in Logia. So after hearing about the new Logia ability user, he will be nervous and uneasy about it. I'm afraid that dark fruit has already been preempted. Now that he knows that he is not a person with dark abilities, he is finally relieved. Not just the Whitebeard Pirates. The $80 million bounty from East Blue is making waves around the world. And, three hours after the $80 million reward was released, Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford. Tap. The sound of hurried footsteps echoed in the corridor. Sengoku. Marine Chief Staff Vice Admiral Crane pushed open the door of the Marshal's office, his expression ugly. What's wrong? Zayahi. Marshal Sengoku was puzzled. The reason why that man attacked Branch 166 is already known. Vice Admiral Crane sent the latest investigation materials to him. Colonel Mouse of the East Blue 166 Branch and the Murloc are long ganged up together, deceiving the upper and lower. Listen to Vice Admiral Crane's report. Marshal Sengoku's expression also couldn't help but sink. Advertisement. 80. My intuition is correct. Fairy Tale is not a killer organization with no bottom line. Their actions are based on goodness, and there is a reason for everything they do. Vice Admiral Crane said excitedly, as early as two months ago, noticed Fairy Tale. After noticing what they do again, Vice Admiral Crane has been paying attention. Assess their likelihood, going to send them an invitation to join the Marine. However, at this juncture, the 166 branch incident occurred. Now, know that there is inside story about this incident. There may be room for maneuver. Vice Admiral Crane is bound to be pleasantly surprised. Only, so what if that's the case? Marshal Sengoku asked back. It's our fault for not being aware of the evil deeds of the 166th branch, but even if there are rats in the Marine, there is a court martial to try it, and it's not something that anyone can handle without authorization. The Majesty of the Marine will never allow provocations? Marshal Sengoku said firmly. Even if this move might bring us a terrible enemy, Vice Admiral Crane asked. Marshal Sengoku was silent. Of course he is also aware of Vice Admiral's concerns. It's just that the reward orders issued are like water poured out. If the order changes day by day, Marine will lose all face. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 7 Nami awakens the power of magic? Seek evaluation of flowers. Advertisement. 80. 4 p.m. The sun was setting. The fiery red color reflects the sky and the earth. East Blue Kokoyaksi Village. The atmosphere of joy and excitement permeated. The haze that had shrouded the village for seven years dissipated today. For the villagers of Kokoyasi Village, today is the best day. The assembly square in the village was crowded with people and it was very lively. The banquet to celebrate the new life of the village is ready, just waiting for the protagonist to enter. Only, haven't you come back yet? Miss Mirajan, where did the president go? 
President Suyu hasn't come back yet? We really want to thank him in person. Feng Jijian and other villagers spoke one after another. Well, everyone, please stay safe. The president should be back soon. Mirajan just finished speaking. Only a bang was heard. There was a thunder in the distance. The villagers couldn't help but tremble with fright. The president is back. Mirajan smiled, waiting for the villagers to react. Chi Chi, there was a flash of lightning. Suyu has already arrived at the assembly square, looking at the handsome young man who suddenly appeared. The villagers of Kokoyasi village first looked at each other. Immediately, they rushed forward, and the wave of thanks directly overwhelmed Suyu. It wasn't until Nami intervened that the villagers' high emotions subsided a little. In the end, Ajian, Nyaki and other senior village representatives were left to accompany the wine. Advertisement. AD, Mr. Suyu, thank you very much for your help. There is no way to repay your kindness. I offer you a toast. Nyoki Jao, with short blue hair, walked up to Suyu and drank from his glass. This is Nami's commission, I just did what I had to do. Suyu smiled and raised his glass. In the future, even if President Suyu wants me to go up the Mountain of Swords and down into the Sea of Fire, I will not hesitate to do so. Mr. Jian, who was full of scars after drinking too much, patted his chest and assured. Yes, yes, Mr. Jian, the President will not ask you to go down the Mountain of Swords and into the Sea of Fire. Nami smiled. Mr. Jian, everyone. At this moment, the uncle of the newsstand in Kekiasi village, who was in charge of delivering the newspaper, suddenly screamed, waving today's newspaper in his hand. The rats of the 166th branch, the colonel rat who colluded with Arlong was killed. Nanny, the mice were killed too. Okay, it's really good. It's simply delightful. The villagers are all in high spirits. The distaste for the marine rats who are in the same boat as Arlong outweighs even the Arlong gang in a way. Unlike the excitement of the common villagers. Hear the news that the rats have been eradicated. Nami suddenly turned his head, and his eyes fell on Suyu immediately. She seems to have guessed where Suyu who disappeared during the day went. Could it be Chairman Suyu? Feng Xian and Yoki Jao also reacted, and their conjecture was confirmed in the next second. After knowing that it was Suyu who killed Colonel Mouse, the huge assembly square was shrouded in a new round of frenzy. In addition to excitement and gratitude, Nami, Ajian, and Yoki Jao couldn't help feeling guilty. It was all because of their affairs that Suyu became Marine's bounty criminal. It's just a mere reward, it doesn't matter at all. The important thing now is to celebrate the new life of the village, isn't it? Suyu smiled slightly, calmly. He didn't care a bit about being offered a reward. Advertisement. AD. After all, it was a matter of time before he was offered a reward. But. President, didn't you tell Urza before that you should try not to conflict with Marine? Mirajan asked. I did say it, but it was aimed at the righteous people in Marine, excluding the moth rats in Marine, besides, the most important point. Everyone in the guild is family. Fairy tale absolutely does not allow others to bully family members. Can we tolerate the mouse that bullied Nami before continuing to get away with it? Suyu said. Of course not. Mirajan didn't hesitate. Family. Nami picked up the wine glass, her eyes flickered, and her pretty face raised a curve unconsciously. Drink three rounds. The dishes are delicious. Night fell. The banquet is over. Now, as a bounty criminal with 80 million yuan, so you naturally doesn't want to stay in Kokoyasi village for a long time. If it is known, it will inevitably bring trouble to the villagers. In the reluctant waving goodbye of the villagers, fairy tale drifts away. Ah, my wallet is missing. Me too. Could it be Nami? Where is that Nami girl? Goodbye, Nami. Be sure to go home and have a look. The villagers were all laughing and cursing. Let's go. Feng Xian felt lost. Don't worry, Nami has met the best partner. Let's look forward to her wonderful life in the future. The blue-haired girl Nyoki Jao smiled slightly. This moment. Advertisement. AD. Fairy tale. Okay, now, Nami, you are also a member of Fairy Tale, welcome to join. Mirajan put away the magic seal. It's really incredible. Nami stared at his arms with wide-eyed surprise. The space originally occupied by the Arlong tattoo is now replaced by the symbol of Fairy Tale. The whole process is painless, one-click replacement. So, Nami, take a good rest tonight, and start working hard to pay off your debts tomorrow. So you smiled. Really, here we come again. President I remember what you said. President, everyone in the guild is a family member, and family members still talk about money or not. Nami blinked slyly. Also, Ms. Myra has already told me that you want to go to the Grand Line and want me to be a navigator for Fairy Tale, President, so that's why you proposed that outrageous commission. Nami felt that he had everything figured out. However, no, Nami, there are still brothers and sisters who settle accounts between family members, so work hard, the remaining 1.9999999999 Barry is still waiting looking at you. So you said seriously. Why is this? Little money fan Nami's face suddenly collapsed. Ha ha ha, in the dead of night. Nami sits at the desk and writes the sailing diary. Looking at the fairy tale logo on his arm by the moonlight, a smile appeared on his face unconsciously. Mom, Bell Mel, my second life is about to start. There must be infinite surprises waiting for me in the future. Nami closed the book and fell asleep peacefully. In sleep, Nami saw the vast stars in a daze, and the magical light flickered. As a member of fairy tale, how can you not be magic? Every member who has been admitted by Suyu and joined fairy tale can get a chance to awaken magic. This moment, the magic that Nami in her sleep is about to awaken is. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 8 Gravity Magic. Protoss Wizard Nami, seek evaluation of flowers. Advertisement. AD. The next day, early morning. Fairy Tale LV7. President, Suyu. Lost magic, Thunder Dragon Slayer magic 100%. Dragon Slayer mystery has been unlocked. Thunder Dragon King mode is to be unlocked. New magic, gravity magic. Guild members, S level mage Fairy Queen Urza, S level receptionist Demon Mirajan, Little Thief Cat Nami. 82% to the next level. On the deck, Suyu stared at the sea dozens of meters away. Next second. Without warning, the sea suddenly collapsed. It seems to be oppressed by an invisible heavy pressure. This is exactly the new power that the upgrade of the guild brings to Suyu. The completion of the Kokoyasi Village event commission this time, coupled with the addition of the new member Nami, has brought a lot of upgrade points to the guild. The guild level directly jumped two levels and came to LV7. And, guild upgrades will also bring new powers to Suyu. 
His Thunder Dragon Slayer magic quickly reached 100% full level during the upgrade of the guild. Suyu originally thought that this upgrade might bring his Thunder Slayer power to a new level, such as opening the Thunder Dragon King mode. However, Thunder Dragon King mode is obviously not easy to activate. The new magical power that this upgrade brings to Suyu is gravity. Although it's not the Thunder Dragon King, gravity magic is not bad either. Suyu clenched his fists, feeling the new magic power, and the corner of his mouth curled up. Except for the new magic. Companion summoning is also a reward for guild upgrades. Advertisement. 80. After Urza and Mirajan. The third fairy tale member has also been summoned and has come to this world of pirates. Only. The initial landing point of the summoned partners is random, not fixed in the guild. Also, as for who is summoned, even Suyu, who is the president, is still unclear. Only after actually meeting, will they know and appear in the system panel. Everything about the new partner is still unknown. But, the only thing Suyu knows is the location of the new partner. New partner at Grand Line Twin Point? Uh oh. At this moment, the voice of the girl's surprise sounded from the guild. President and President. Driven by a huge surprise, Nami didn't even bother to wear shoes, and went to the deck barefoot. What's wrong? Nami. Myra stepped forward with a smile. Miss Myra, I, 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 although I don't know what's going on, but I, I seem to have awakened some wonderful power. Miss Myra, do you know what's going on? Nami was so excited that he was incoherent. Hmm, this is the benefit of joining Fairy Tail. Congratulations, Nami. From now on, you are also a wizard. Mirajan said, Mage. Nami scratched his head in bewilderment. So, Nami, what power have you awakened? Let's show it. Suyu smiled. He is also curious about what magic Nami can acquire. Um, advertisement. 80. Nami nodded. My mind moved. A splendid magic circle is formed under its feet. Next second. Nami's clothes change. There is only one piece of black and white cow handwriting on the upper body. The lower body is a trendy dress with half trousers and half hot pants. There is also a love whip like a succubus tail in his hand. Seeing the transformation she had completed, Nami was taken aback for a moment, then couldn't help but let out a coquettish cry, and hurriedly squatted down shyly. Is this a dress-up magic? Mirajan said. No, no, it's not a costume change, but Protoss magic. Suyu said. He is a time traveler. Naturally, the magic that Nami displayed at this moment is the most clear. Needless to say, the magic that Nami is matched with is exactly the Protoss magic of Lucy, the heroine of Fairy Tale. Protoss magic was originally an item holding magic. The necessary magic tool is the Protoss key. After signing a contract with the Protoss to which the key belongs, they can use the key to open the door of the astral world to summon the Protoss to come out to fight. This is the fighting method of the Protoss mage under normal circumstances. But, senior Protoss mages can transfer the power of Protoss to themselves. Summon a special star spirit clothing like a dress-up magic, and borrow the power of this kind of star spirit. The magic displayed by Nami at this moment is the Protoss cloth. And the star spirit clothes she obtained is the power of the zodiac sign Taurus. Advertisement. 80. Listen to Suyu's narration. Nami forgot to be shy. Immerse yourself completely in the awareness and understanding of your new powers. The zodiac Taurus star spirit clothes. Nami clenched her little pink fist. I feel like now I have the strength to kill a cow with one punch. Nami, don't forget, you borrowed the power of Taurus. Mirajan reminded with a smile. Bah, bah, I was wrong, it's not a cow, it's a sea kings, I can kill a sea kings with one punch. Nami hastily corrected. Well, that's right, the sea kings are here. So you raised his chin, 800 meters ahead. Huge sea kings are riding the wind and waves. Wow, I'm kidding. Nami's face collapsed. Even if you get the powerful power of Taurus, she is still a kitten at heart. Really fighting sea kings or something. I can't do it at all. Don't be nervous, Nami, the president doesn't really want you to fight the sea kings. Besides, look carefully, that sea kings has already been dealt with. Mirajan laughed. Oh, really? Nami was stunned for a moment, and only then realized it belatedly. In front of Sea Kings, there seems to be someone. That's our queen of fairy tale, Urza Chocolato. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 9 Fairy Queen Urza? Seek Evaluation of Flowers. Advertisement. 80. The magic motorboat speeds at high speed in the endless sea, bringing up spectacular waves. On the powerboat, a red-haired girl in silver and white armor stood facing the wind. The strong wind blew her long crimson hair, making her look even more heroic. She is Urza. Fairy Queen Urza? Suyu created the first companion summoned by the Fairy Tale Guild. Serious personality, forthright, with great enthusiasm for work. Like Mirajan, she is Suyu's right-hand man. President. Just when Nami was stunned, Urza jumped up and landed firmly on the deck. Apple Island, Potato Town, seven other islands, exorcising bandits, beheading sea kings, pirates, all commissions have been completed. This is the mission feedback letter. Urza made the report seriously, and at the same time sent a stack of entrusted feedback to Suyu, as expected of Urza. Suyu couldn't help but praise. Thanks for your hard work, Urza. Let's rest now. Mirajan smiled. Um, Urza nodded. His gaze then fell on Nami. Feel Urza's majestic gaze. Nami's delicate body couldn't help trembling slightly. For the title of Fairy Queen, she has heard of it more or less. It's just that seeing a hundred things is not worth seeing. Advertisement. 80. Until now I have seen it with my own eyes. Nami was able to intuitively feel the power of Urza. Eliza, this is Nami, our new partner from Fairy Tale. Mirajan quickly introduced. Well, I already know. Urza nodded. The first thing I noticed when I saw Nami was the fairy tale pattern on her shoulder. That's the sign of a partner? Hi, I'm Urza, and I'm also a member of Fairy Tale. Please give me more advice in the future. Urza held out her hand to Nami. Yes, Miss Urza, please give me your advice. Nami reached out to respond. After a brief greeting, Urza's eyes fell on Suyu again. President, what's going on? Urza took out a brand new reward order. That was Suyu's 80 million reward order. Regarding the fact that the president of his family was suddenly offered a reward. Ersha felt perplexed and even more resentful. Eliza, let me tell you. Mirajan took the conversation and told everything. Nanny, what's the matter? The self-proclaimed righteous marine joins forces with pirates. Even if this kind of scum dies a hundred times, it's not an exaggeration. The president is clearly doing harm to the people, so why is he still being offered a reward? Urza spoke angrily. 
This is the rule of this world, Urza. Suyu raised his big hand, and gently rubbed the small head of Urza who was fuming. We just have to be ourselves and have a clear conscience, the judgment of others is irrelevant. I see. Urza nodded. Advertisement. 80. Immediately, he walked in front of Nami again. Gudong. Nami swallowed nervously. He didn't wait to say anything. Urza's iron hands fell on her shoulders. Then he took Nami violently into her arms. Only a bang was heard. Nami's little head came into close contact with Urza's fierce armor. It hurts. Nami blinked her big eyes, and tears of pain flowed out. However, compared to the pain, she cared more about Urza's actions. Nami, it's okay, you are already a member of Fairy Tale. from now on, no one can bully you again. Urza said seriously, heard the words. Nami finally knew Urza's intentions. This is Urza's unique care, after knowing what happened to her in the past. Urza opened her heart to her and gave her support. Only, this mind is a bit too hard. Nami touched the bulging pouch on his forehead. Moved and joy came together. Miss Urza, thank you, if you were a man, I might fall in love with you. Nami laughed. Hey, Nami, shouldn't you fall in love with me who helped you destroy the dragon and rat yesterday? Suyu smiled. If you don't blackmail me, I might really fall in love with you. Nami smiled slyly. Advertisement. 80. Forget it, one size counts for one size. Suyu said seriously. Hey, hey, you don't play your cards according to the routine. Shouldn't you say well, your debts will be written off here. Nami insisted strongly. Okay, the East Blue matter is basically over, let's move on to the Grand Line. Suyu stared at the sea and said impassionedly, don't change the subject, hey. Two days later, Suyu and his party came to the terminus of East Blue, the town of beginnings and ends, Rogtown. When the fairy tale sails into the port of Rogtown, in an instant, it attracted the attention of the quartet. Hey, look, that's fairy tale. Really, I know them. This is a good guild that specializes in helping people solve problems. It is simply a partner of the people. SHH, your information is outdated. What fellow of the people, do you know what they did the other day? That man named Suyu captured a marine base, and now he has a reward of 80 million berry. Nanny, 80 million? Isn't this a super dangerous person? That's right, stay away, report to Colonel Smoker immediately. Throughout the port, the whispers of civilians continued. Ersha moved her ears, and a trace of anger appeared on her pretty face, she was about to argue with people. Before he could open his mouth, Suyu grabbed him again. The world is so ignorant, just have a clear conscience. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 10 Zoro joins fairy tale, seek evaluation of flowers. Advertisement. 80. Town of East Blue Rog. This is the hometown of Gore D. Roger, the pirate king who once conquered the Grand Line, where he was born and set sail. It is also his burial place. 22 years ago, the famous One Piece legendary came to an end here. Since then, it has gradually become known as the town of beginning and end. It is also the last supply town on the way to the Grand Line. The purpose of Suyu and his party coming here is also very simple. Just stocking up for the rest of the trip. Because of the title of 80 million great pirate, the supply procurement of Suyu and his party went smoothly. The bosses of the major stores have no idea of defrauding outsiders at all. Not to mention cheating, some even dare not accept money, for fear of offending the vicious big pirate. Certainly, Suyu will not take advantage of them because of this, and give as much as he wants, definitely a little bit. In addition to purchasing supplies, Suyu also popularized the basic common sense of the world to Urza and Mirajan. After all, the next thing to go in is the Grand Line, which is a hundred times and a thousand times more dangerous than East Blue. It would be too stupid if any bad results were eventually incurred due to the lack of information. Advertisement. 80. One Piece? What is that? Do groups like pirates have kingdoms? Urza's dazed face was cute. No, Urza, One Piece King G.O.L.D. Roger is the world-recognized king of pirates, the only man who conquered the Grand Line, Urza, haven't you heard of it? Nami said, never heard of that. Urza and Marazin shook their heads together. Well, it doesn't matter if you don't know it now, you will gradually understand it in the future. Compared with One Piece, what you should know now is the special ability system of this world. So you said, demon fruit power? This is indeed a very interesting power. I have encountered several in the mission. Some can turn into animals, and some can still live even if their bodies are torn apart. Urza said, it's all torn apart and still not dead. Is this still a human being? How can such an opponent be defeated? Mirajan widened her beautiful eyes in surprise. It's not difficult at all. Although that guy is not afraid of my slashing attacks, he is not immune to blunt weapon blows. I knocked him over in two or three hits. Urza said, speaking of which, I remembered, President, when I was on a mission a few days ago, I met an interesting three-sword swordsman. Oh, Suyu raised his brows lightly, and couldn't help feeling excited. Speaking of the three-sword swordsman of One Piece world, everyone will think of that man. According to my observation, that guy's character is high and his strength is not bad, so I invited him to join our guild on my own initiative. Advertisement. 80. Urza said, so, did he refuse? Mirajan said, I didn't refuse, but I didn't refuse. The swordsman seemed to be a little interested in fairy tale, but, later, I went to complete the commission and made an appointment with him to meet him at the port. I waited for a long time, but he didn't show up. Urza shook her head regretfully. Probably changed his mind halfway, this is also a common thing. No, no. So you shook his head. Um, Urza was taken aback. The reason why the green algae head didn't join you, Urza, is probably lost. So you laughed. For Zoro's road idiot attribute. So you is of course very clear. Be lost. Urza had little question marks on her head. The island where the swordsman and I met was not big at all, how could we get lost? And the president, how do you know that the swordsman of the three sword style is Chlorella, is it someone you know? Urza couldn't help asking. Let's just count it. Suyu nodded without too much explanation. Advertisement. 80. So are you going to find him? Mirajan asked. That's not necessary, I will see you later. Suyu waved his hand. The miss with Zoro is a bit regrettable though, but there's no point in disrupting the original plan and driving the car back to find someone. First, they now don't know which horned gata Zoro got lost in. Second, on the other side of the red line, there is another partner waiting for them. Okay, almost everything you need to buy is ready, let's go and enter the grand line. With a wave of his hand, Suyu was about to return to the port. However, at this time, the accident happened suddenly. Want to go to the grand line? It's wishful thinking. Bet on the name of Colonel Marine in Rogtown, you will never be allowed to enter the grand line. 
So you, captain of the fairy tale pirates, wake up. Chi chi chi. A large cloud of white smoke rose and enveloped the entire street. Colonel Marine, white hunter smoker, late but here. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 11 Fairy Queen Urza vs. Smoker. Advertisement. AD. Colonel Smoker, Rogtown Smoker, the legendary sailor who once cornered the pirate Luffy, so it is recorded in the history books of later generations. For Colonel Marine Smoker in the town of Rock, as a time traveler, Suyu is naturally very familiar with it. Loki a smoky fruit ability, serious character, Maverick, have their own justice, a rare clear stream among Marines. On the issue of dealing with pirates, say one thing, because of him guarding the town of Rock, in recent years, few pirates in East Blue have been able to cross the upside down mountain and go to the Grand Line. For Smoker, so you somewhat appreciates it. I don't want to conflict with it if I can. But, now that the other party took the initiative to come to the door, then Suyu will never back down. Just right. Suyu also wanted Urza and Mirajan to meet the Logia-capable users in this world. For those who use magic and don't know Haki, the elementalization of Logia Espers is arguably the trickiest. Suyu, captain of the fairy tale pirates, you have to stop here, I will never let you go to the Grand Line. Smoker categorically stopped drinking, and pointed at Suyu with the sea stone in his hand. First of all, to clarify, it's the fairy tale guild. Suyu said lightly, what guild actually raised a marine base to the ground, after all, it's just a group of reckless guys. Smoker said coldly, advertisement, AD, to clarify, it is not raised to the ground, there should be a big pit in the 166th branch. Suyu smiled, asshole, Smoker's face suddenly darkened. Suyu's clarification sounded like Chi Kyuakuo's provocation to him. Hey, marine, if it wasn't for your marine's rats who bullied people too much, joined forces with pirates, and bullied civilians, how could the president take action against him? Urza drank coquettishly, Smoker looked dark. For the 166 branch and Arlong gang's tricks, there was a report in the World Economic News two days ago, although it was quickly suppressed by the world government. Most civilians don't know it, but Smoker knew it. Facing Urza's reprimand at this moment, he was also speechless for a while. Good moment. Even so, that's not the reason why you can shoot casually. The moth rats in the marine should be judged by a military court for their crimes. Smoker comes to the same conclusion as Marshal Sengoku. Then there's no need to say more, Urza, go and have fun. So you said. Yes. Urza handed the trolley to Nami and stepped forward calmly. Change, armor of the skywheel. Following Ersha's voice fell. A splendid magic circle is formed from under its feet. Magic Knight, activate. The bright light shines on the audience. Wait until the light converges. Advertisement. AD. Urza who appeared in people's sight has changed drastically. Common silver white armor was replaced by a magnificent set of sword armor. This moment. Urza is like an angel in mythology. It's just that the pair of wings that support her floating are also swords. Behind her, there are dozens of flying swords floating. Whoa, Urza is so handsome. Nami, who saw Urza make a move for the first time, couldn't help but blushed, screaming excitedly. It's too early to be surprised, this is just the tip of the iceberg of Urza's strength. Mirajan smiled, as Urza's rival. For Urza's strength, Mirajan knows best. Fairy Queen Urza, I've heard of you, is this your ability? You do have two brushes. Smoker opened his mouth pretending to be calm. The surface is calm. In fact, there was already a turbulency in my heart, because the power displayed by Urza is beyond his cognition. His intuition told him that this didn't seem to be Devil Fruit's ability, but some kind of power beyond the routine and incomprehensible. Mr. Smoker, the Marines from Rogtown, headed by Sergeant Tashiji, the glasses girl, finally arrived. Looking at the situation in front of him, the sailors quickly loaded their guns, but didn't wait to aim. Swish, 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 the cold light danced. Skywheel, dazzling sword, advertisement. AD. In an instant, all the guns in the hands of the sailors were cut off. If Urza has murderous intentions in her heart, now the streets are already full of heads and blood is flowing like rivers. Think about the possibility. Even Smoker couldn't help being terrified. As for Sergeant Tashiji, the lady with glasses, she was completely frightened at the moment. Mr. Smoker, what the hell is this? Don't come here, Tashiji. Everyone stand back. This is not an opponent you can deal with. Smoker shouted loudly. This is a sensible choice. Urza spoke calmly. Snort. Smoker snorted coldly. Then let me learn the methods of the fairy queen. The voice fell. Smoke billowed. Smoker's figure suddenly soared into the sky driven by the white smoke. The ten hands inlaid with sea stone thrust out mercilessly. Tian Lun, the sword of the three. Swish, Urza's figure flickered. Swings the sword at unimaginable speed. In an instant, he crossed with Smoker. The world seemed to stand still for a moment. Next second, a triangular sword light suddenly lit up on Smoker. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 12 Killing Colonel Smoker in one hit. Advertisement. AD. Tian Lun, the sword of the three. Swish swish swish. The three sword lights connected end to end, turned into a triangular mark, and landed on Smoker's body. It's over. Mirajan smiled. That's great. Nami was pleasantly surprised. Mr. Smoker. Sergeant Sergeant Tashiji's eyes widened and she exclaimed in surprise. No, it's far from over. Suyu said lightly. Slash without Haki attached. It has zero effect on Logia ability users. And so it is. What exploded from Smoker, who was hit head on by Urza's slash, was not blood, but white smoke. This level of attack is completely useless to me. Smoker snarled. Sea stone drew back with ten hands. Collided with the magic sword in Urza's hand. There was a crisp sound of gold and iron clashing. Under Smoker's sudden counterattack. Urza, who was caught off guard, retreated more than ten meters. Can your ability also nullify my slash? Urza raised her eyebrows in surprise. Not just slashing, all physical attacks are ineffective against me. Smoker spoke, without holding back. Because he wants to come. It is common knowledge in the sea that Logia-capable users are immune to all physical attacks. Advertisement. AD. No one will not know. Immune to all physical attacks. Urza murmured. The plain hand waved lightly. Dozens of magic flying swords shot out from all directions. Cut Smoker's body full of holes. However, there was still no blood. It's really ineffective. What a tricky ability. A solemn expression appeared on Urza's pretty face. Elusha's moves are completely ineffective. What's going on? Mirajan, who was watching, couldn't help being taken aback. 
Loki a demon fruit power, their bodies can freely transform into natural elements, immune to all physical attacks. Suyu explained lightly. I also remembered, Colonel Smoker of Rogtown, seems to be someone with the ability of Logia's smoking fruit. Nami spoke. Natural elements that are immune to all physical attacks, aren't they naturally invincible? How can such an opponent be defeated? Mirajan couldn't help screaming in shock. Invincibility is not considered invincible. Even Logia has corresponding countermeasures, such as the power of sea stone and Haki. In addition, large-scale energy attacks can also pose a threat to Logia. Suyu said calmly. Sea stone? Haki? Hearing these unfamiliar terms, Myra's little face became more and more confused. It wasn't until the violent roar that she woke up. Well, President, if you don't stop it, Urza might tear down this whole street. Mirajan reminded. Just as they were talking, Urza has been changing clothes continuously. Try storming Smoker in a variety of different ways. As a result, it does not work against Logia's Smoker. The aftermath of the attack is already riddled with holes in the streets. As part of Fairy Tales House Breaking Squad. Advertisement. 80. The number of houses destroyed by Urza in the battle is not less than that of Natsu. A large number of complaints are received every year, seeing that the entire street is about to be destroyed. Finally, Suyu also couldn't stand up. After all, his original intention was to let Urza and Logia try to fight against each other, just to understand people with this type of ability. That's it. The majestic sound of breaking the drink exploded. Can gold lightning flashed. Suyu disappeared from the spot. The reappearance is already between Urza and Smoker. The left hand grabbed Smoker's ten hands, and the right hand blocked Urza's sword. Leave it to me next. Suyu said lightly. Yes, President. Urza responded immediately and stepped aside to watch the battle. Just in time, I want to see how strong your thunder fruit ability is. Smoker is full of fighting spirit. However, just the next second, his complexion suddenly changed. Somewhere, the terrifying invisible oppressive force fell, bent his spine. This, is this gravity. Smoker clenched his teeth, fighting desperately against the invisible pressure. I couldn't help but set off a stormy sea again. What about thunder fruit ability users? Why is it gravity? The thought crossed Smoker's mind. Advertisement. 80. Next second. Boom. Gravity is further multiplied. The weight of terror crushed Smoker into the street. At the moment about to be crushed by gravity, Smoker's body elementalized. Countless white smoke spread out to the surroundings. Finally, they reunited behind Suyu. Sea Stone lashed down mercilessly with ten hands. But in the end it came to nothing. Smoker felt his eyes flicker. Suyu, who was locked in his line of sight, has disappeared without a trace. Immediately afterwards, his wrist suddenly hurt. Sea Stone came out with ten hands. It has already been snatched by Suyu. First of all, you found it first, and you can deal with the damage on the street yourself. Secondly, Sea Stone weapons are easy to use, but they will also become your own weakness. Finally, ten of your Sea Stones belong to me. Suyu smiled slightly. Smoker. An unprecedented sense of threat hit his heart. The elementalization of his body's instinct soared into the sky. However, Suyu is like a shadow. The moment when three o'clock declared the end. Suyu held the sea stone with ten hands and slapped Smoker on the back of the head mercilessly. Whoosh, boom, Smoker flew upside down, smashed through the houses on the side of the street, and was finally buried in the rubble. Just one hit. Marine Smoky Colonel White Hunter Smoker, defeated. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 13 The Fourth Companion Juvia Loxand. Advertisement. One hit, and Colonel Smoker, who is Logia, is defeated. This scene stunned everyone in the audience. Everyone in Marine headed by Tashiji was stunned. Urza, Mirajan, and Nami were also stunned for a moment. Never expected that the battle would end so suddenly. After a while. Oh, the president is amazing. Nami cheers. As expected of the president. Mirajan smiled and clapped. Mr. Smoker. Sergeant Tashiji screamed in fear, and led people into the ruins immediately to dig out Smoker, who was bleeding and comatose. Come on, girls. Suyu shook the spoils and turned to leave first. President, how did you do it? That guy's body seems to be immune to all physical attacks. My sword couldn't hurt him at all before. Urza asked for advice in confusion. It's very simple. The top of this weapon of his is inlaid with sea stone, which can restrain those with abilities. So you said. The stone that can restrain the ability user must be very precious. It's okay, if you want, you can still get a lot. Do you have sea stone armor? I want to buy a set. The armor is probably a bit difficult. After all, the hardness of sea stone is even higher than that of diamond. What? Is it so hard? Forget it. Are there any other restraints? Haki. What is Haki? Haki is the hidden power inside everyone. President, will you? Won't. Advertisement. 80. The effort between speaking. The four of Suyu returned to the boat. In the eyes of people in awe, fairy tale sails again. Aim for the Grand Line? Another hour passed. The situation of the world changed suddenly. The clear sky was suddenly covered by heavy rain clouds. The torrential rain poured down without warning. The sea was churning, wave after wave. Look, what is that? A wall? Why is there a wall in the sea? Through the hazy mist, Urza saw the huge red clay wall soaring into the sky. That's the red line, and it's the first time I've seen it. It's said that you can reach the Grand Line by climbing the upside down mountain. Nami spoke, with a little tension in his voice. But, how can we get to the other side of the wall? Mirajan shook her head puzzled. It's easy. Suyu looked straight ahead. There is a gap in the late right wall. A special canal is pulled upstream by an inexplicable force. The climbing canal of the inverted mountain is a spectacle that will be breathtaking no matter how many times you look at it. Even Urza and Mirajan, who were born in the magical world, couldn't help opening their mouths in shock at this moment. Girls, sit still. Suyu held the rudder and steered the fairy tail straight ahead, boarding the climbing canal. Five minutes later, fairy tail breaks through cumulonimbus clouds and reaches the top of upside down mountain. In an instant, the sky brightened. So beautiful. Standing on the highest point of Inversion Mountain and looking at the boundless sea, Nami and others couldn't help but marvel. But only for a moment. Advertisement. 80. Fairy tail bows down. It started to fall like a roller coaster. Ah. Oh. The screams of the girls suddenly rose and fell. Twin point. The starting point of the Grand Line. 
This is a must stop for newcomers who want to break into the Grand Line. Recent. The day at Twin Point is a bit gloomy. The light rain has been falling non-stop. The continuous rain seems to make people moldy. Under the umbrellas next to the lighthouse, wearing slippers and a flowered shirt, the old man pouted his chin slightly melancholy. Although the weather on the Grand Line is fickle, but he always felt that the rainy weather for the past two days had nothing to do with nature. The flowery old man crocus eyes fell to the shore. The gloomy girl with blue's long curly hair, wearing a blue slit skirt, and a blue hat is holding blue's lace umbrella, looking at the entrance of the Grand Line like a watcher's stone. Two days ago, after completing the inspection of Laboon's body, he found a strange girl who appeared in Cape Twins at some time. He thought it was a pirate group from Four Seas resting here, so he ignored it. However, after most of the day, he emerges from the whale Laboon again. The girl was still standing alone in the rain. The warm-hearted Crocus brought hot soup and food to the girl. Because of this, he got into a conversation with the girl. From the girl's mouth, Crocus learned. Advertisement. AD. Her name is Juvia, Juvia Loxand. Now waiting for her partner to pick her up here. Partner. Crocus shook his head. Think of the past 50 years ago. That day, a whale is left here by a mate. It was promised to pick it up after circling the world for a week. However, 50 years have passed. They still haven't come back. For whatever reason, the whales have been abandoned and will never return. The same way, the same goes for the girl in front of her. Only, such cruel words. Crocus couldn't say it anyway. It can only let the girl wake up by herself. Ah, 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 when will it be sunny this day? Crocus shook his head sadly. However, in the next second, without warning, has the light rain that has been pattering for two days stopped? The sun is shining. The sky cleared. At the same time, the girl on the bank looked back, showing a bright smile for the first time in two days. Grandpa, thank you for taking care of me these two days. My partner is here to pick me up. Advertisement. Advertisement. AD. Wow, this upside down mountain is much more exciting than a roller coaster. Let's do it again. Come again? Spare me, Miss Urza. Hmm, I think I can do it again. Oh even Miss Myra, don't want it. The laughter of the young and energetic girls broke the gloomy atmosphere of Cape Twins. The cloud over Cape Twins dissipated. The bright and warm sun shines down. After the rain, the sky is sunny. Suyu did not participate in the girls' conversation. The moment you come to Twin Point, his gaze was attracted by the girl on the shore. Of course, he would not fail to recognize the girl on the shore. After completing the summoning two days ago, he was always curious. The identity of the fourth partner. Now, the answer is finally revealed. Still a pleasant surprise as always. I've kept you waiting, Juvia, we're here to pick you up. Suyu smiled slightly. Woo, Juvia pursed her mouth. President, you are finally here, Juvia thought you didn't want me. Juvia jumped up from the bank and threw herself into Suyu's arms, whimpering softly. Same as Ursa and Mirajan. Juvia's affection for Suyu is also full. And, because Juvia has her own slut attribute, she does not suppress her inner emotions. As soon as it comes up, it is a straight ball attack. He slammed into Suyu's arms together with the ball, acting like a baby to his heart's content. This sudden scene stunned the native Nami. Wait a minute, President, this girl is. Advertisement. 80. Without waiting for Nami to ask. Juvia. Isn't this Juvia? Urza and Mirajan's eyes lit up, and they both stepped forward. As for the partners of Fairy Tale, it is natural to know each other. Eliza, Myra, Juvia greeted familiarly. However, the body is still stuck to Suyu. Nami, what the hell is this? Nami was completely dumbfounded. She always thought she was the fourth member of Fairy Tale. But now, a Juvia jumped out on the way. It seems that she joined the guild earlier than her. But, why Suyu, Urza, Myra never told her about it. And why is this partner in Twin Point? Look at Urza and Mirajan. They don't seem to have set foot on the Grand Line. Nami, let me introduce you. This is Juvia, a member of Fairy Tale. Apart from Juvia, there are many other friends scattered around. I'll introduce you when I meet you later. Suyu saw through Nami's ignorance, and immediately made an excuse. Um, Nami nodded blankly, did not pay too much attention to this issue. Hi Juvia, I'm Nami. Nami greeted Juvia with a smile. Next second, Nami felt a gust of fragrant wind blowing against her face. Juvia leaned in front of her. The distance between the two is only one centimeter, and they can clearly feel each other's breath. What? What's wrong? Feeling Juvia's gaze, Nami couldn't help being a little nervous. What is your relationship with the president, Nami? Juvia asked a straight ball. Advertisement. AD. What kind of relationship is it? Of course it is a partnership relationship, and there is also a creditor relationship. Nami replied. Do you like the president? Juvia continued asking questions. Huh? Zixixi, I like him? How is such a thing possible? Absolutely impossible. Nami raised her voice an octave, repeatedly denying it. Well, then we are not hostile. The expression on Juvia's pretty face suddenly shivered. Nami, let's get along well from now on. Juvia happily grabbed Nami's hands, like a good sister. Nami, what is this all about? Ahem. An old cough interrupted the joyous atmosphere on board. Old man, my Juvia, thanks to you for taking care of me these two days, if you don't mind, come and sit on our boat. So you smiled and looked at Crocus. Then the old man would be more respectful than obedient. Crocus responded carelessly. The moment I saw fairy tale. Crocus has already recognized Suyu and his party. It was the fairy tale team that East Blue recently claimed fame. Captain Suyu is even more of a fierce man who offered a reward of up to 80 million for the first time. In general, Crocus doesn't want to get involved with other people. But, regarding why Juvia ended up in Twin Point, Crocus was really curious. In a quarter of an hour, Crocus scoured the fairy tale guild. From the mouths of Suyu and Ersha, he also learned. Fairy Tale is not the pirates, but the Guild of Wizards, specializes in helping people in difficulty to solve intractable diseases. It seems that the news reports are slightly different from the reality. Crocus said, Advertisement. 80. It doesn't matter how the outside world spreads it, as long as we have a clear conscience. Suyu said freely. Speaking of which, Mr. Crocus, is there anything you want to entrust us with? If so, you can bring it up. For the past of Laboon, the Whale of Cape Twins, and the Rumba Pirates. Suyu, who is a time traveler, naturally knows it best. If possible, Suyu would also like to contribute. Help the Whale Laboon make amends and reunite with Brooke. Also, Completing story-related quests seems to give you more upgrade points than common quests. 
This point was discovered by Suyu in the Kokoyasi village incident. It can not only make up for regrets, but also upgrade. Kill two birds with one stone. Suyu was naturally happy to accept it. In trust, I'm just the old man of the lighthouse, what can I entrust? Crocus waved his hand. Next second. But, no, let's forget it, it's been so many years, and I went to look for it myself back then, there is no hope. No hope? I can't pretend that I didn't hear this. There are always infinite possibilities in this sea, isn't it? Suyu smiled. Crocus was dumbfounded. He had heard these words from a great man his captain. For this sentence, Crocus decided to try. All right then, I do have one thing I would like to entrust. Crocus walked to the bow. Laboon, come out, Laboon. Crocus called out to the sea. Urza and Nami looked at each other. Don't wait to speak. Next second, the sea surface suddenly changed violently. A mountain rises from the calm sea. Huge island whales break out of the sea. Jiao, advertisement. AD, chapter 15 The crew of one piece, two color hacky practice, advertisement. AD, brand line, twin point. Whale, 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 a whale, a whale as big as a mountain. Looking at the huge island whale Laboon breaking out of the sea, Nami couldn't help screaming in shock. President, Urza held the magic sword at her waist. Just waiting for Suyu's order, he attacked forcefully. Wait a moment, wait a moment, Urza, that's the whale Laboon, grandpa's partner. Juvia hurriedly stopped Urza. President Suyu, strictly speaking, this is not my commission, but Laboon's commission. If you can, please listen to Laboon's story. Crocus said, please. Suyu made a gesture of please. That was 50 years ago, when Laboon followed a pirate group in West Blue. A look of reminiscence crept across Crocus's face. Tell the story of Laboon and the Rumba Pirates 50 years ago. Why is it like this? Hear the story of the whale Laboon. The kind-hearted girls couldn't help but be moved by it. Did they, abandon Laboon? A little mist appeared in Juvia's eyes. Even the clear sky is a little darker. No, it shouldn't be. Crocus shook his head. Although I don't know the specific situation, I think they didn't forget the agreement with Laboon, but fell on the grand line. Advertisement. AD. The general situation is like this. Back then, I went out to sea with others to find them, but found nothing. After knowing this, do you still want to accept this commission? Crocus asked. Accept? Of course I will. Why not? Suyu made three consecutive affirmations without hesitation. But the Rumba Pirates of Laboon, etc. may have. Nami frowned worriedly. So what? Suyu asked back. A man's promise is for a lifetime, even if he dies, he must crawl out of the underworld to fulfill the promise. Suyu said firmly. 50-year mission? Interesting. Urza is eager to try. Mr. Crocus, this is the general content of the power of attorney. Take a look, and sign here if you can. Mirajan sends the power of attorney to Crocus. Look at Suyu's swearing. Crocus didn't hesitate either. He generously signed his and Laboon's names. Until the name is signed. Crocus just remembered something. By the way, how much will this commission cost? I'm not very rich, old man, so try as much as I can afford. Crocus said, well, old man, you took care of Juvia for two days, which can offset part of the expenses, and the other part can be exchanged with other things. Suyu smiled. What do you want? Crocus's heart moved, and he felt that there was something in Suyu's words. Advertisement. 80. It's very simple, I just want the old man to teach the girls two hands. Suyu said. If it's medical skills, I know a thing or two, that's fine. Crocus should go down. However, Suyu shook his head. What I want the old man to teach is not medical skills, but hacky, armed and knowledgeable hacky. Nanny. Crocus pupils shrunk. As a former crew member of One Piece, it's not even hacky. Suyu laughed. Crocus pupils constricted further. He's been on the One Piece ship for this. Not many people in the world know about it. Even if you know, you are an old man. But... Suyu made this fact clear in one sentence. Wait a moment, wait a moment. President, you you you, you said that Mr. Crocus is a crew member of One Piece. Nami's beautiful eyes widened, and she exclaimed in shock. One Piece, is he the powerful guy I mentioned in the previous town? His crew must be very powerful too. Urza's slender hand grasped the hilt of the sword again. Although she is not a fighting mad like Natsu, but also eager to fight with the strong. Especially in this strange world. Stop, you are going to die. Crocus, who noticed Urza's actions, stared suddenly, and his whole body changed. Advertisement. 80. Just when the girls thought he was going to show off his demeanor. But I saw Crocus added a sentence. I'm going to die. I pour. Nami staggered. Blinded by Crocus' sudden turn. The old man in front of him doesn't really match up with a member of Legendary. As I said before, in order to find the Rumba Pirates, I went out to sea with the group for two years. It is indeed Roger's group, but my hacky attainments are only average, and they are completely incomparable with the captain and the others. Crocus said, that's enough. It's up to the master to lead the door to practice, as long as you can get started a little. So you nodded. One piece the fastest way to level up your hacky is through combat. Thought King Luffy has practiced on Monster Island for two years, and hacky is only at the middle level. In the Battle of Wanakuni, it took a week to learn advanced emission weapons. After that, I learned Conqueror's Winding in just a few sticks. As long as you can master some tricks, you can save it in actual combat to prove it. Just do it. Crocus Hacky Crash Course opens. Fairy Tail stayed at Twin Point for three days. Taught diligently by Crocus. Nami, give up. Juvia, give up. Myra Jane, give up. Urza, get started. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 16 Practicing Hacky? It's better to lie flat and stick with your sister? Advertisement. 80. Mr. Crocus, I really appreciate your teaching these three days. Urza thanked Crocus solemnly. No, no, I can't bear the title of teacher. At my half-baked level, Miss Urza's ability to get started depends entirely on your own talent. Crocus waved his hand quickly. That's the truth. Hacky attainments for Crocus. Suyu is indeed slightly overestimated. Although it is the ship doctor of One Piece. But Crocus only got on board halfway for two years. It is completely incomparable with top hacky masters like Rayleigh and Roger. 
Think carefully. In the future One Piece, not all of them are Grandmaster to color Haki. That's the case. Urza still touched Haki's fur in just three days, relying on her own penultimate combat talent. As for Nami, Juvia, and Mirajan, these three days are pure bastards who don't study hard at the back of the school. Especially Juvia. If he didn't pay attention, he stuck to Suyu's side. But for Juvia, Haki or something is really optional. After all, she is a water element, Grandmaster water magic, she can overcome all abilities. Urza is more of a swordsman type, and mastering the power of Haki will greatly benefit her. As for Suyu himself, from the beginning to the end, I never thought about practicing Haki. His lightning dragon slayer magic is similar to Logia's abilities. Thunderbolt, which has the highest attack power, can cause damage to most elements. Secondly, the strong in One Piece world don't use sea stone weapons, but Suyu can use it. At last, the way for Suyu to improve his strength is to upgrade the guild. Advertisement. AD. Maybe when the guild level up will give Suyu Haki skills. If you can get it directly, why bother to practice hard? It's better to lie flat and stick with your sister? Ah, President. Urza, who had finished thanking Crocus, seemed to have thought of something, and suddenly let out a loud cry. What's wrong? Under the parasol, Suyu, who was Juvia on the left and Mirajan on the right, asked lazily. It suddenly occurred to me that the client's remuneration should generally be collected after the commission is completed, but right now it is charged in advance, if it cannot be completed. No if. Suyu grinned resolutely. Don't worry, Urza, this commission will definitely be completed. Suyu stood up and walked in front of the whale Laboon. Laboon, this is my promise with you. Within a year, I will definitely bring back the Rumba Pirates, so before I come back, you must take good care of your body and stop hitting the red line meaninglessly. Got it, got it. Suyu said. Jiao Jiao Jiao. Laboon barked three times in succession. Right now, he does seem a little handsome. Nami rested her cheeks in her hands and whispered to herself. Hey, I seem to hear someone say I'm handsome behind my back. Who is it? Suyu made a gesture of listening. Bah, I didn't say that. Nami spat lightly and quickly denied it. Next second, the feeling of being on the back hits. Stare. Juvia secretly observes JPG while inheriting Lucy's Protoss magic. Nami also inherited Lucy's traditional art of being targeted by Juvia. Ha ha ha, girls, get ready to set sail. Suyu waved his hand. Fairy tale, set sail. Laboon, this time I have a hunch that maybe something good will happen. Crocus side. Jiao. Advertisement. AD. Shortly after leaving Twin Point. President, let's sunbathe together again. Juvia cheered and let herself go. When I was in Gemini Point before, because of Crocus, Juvia was still a little restrained. Usually well dressed. Now, finally out to sea, Juvia flicked her slender hand impatiently, and the skirt flew off. Wearing only a sexy blue handwritten nipple, showing off her proud figure, she has no scruples in sticking to Suyu. Watching this scene, Nami blushed, and her heart beat faster. President, please help Juvia apply sunscreen, the kind that covers the whole body. Juvia asked earnestly. Yes, yes, yes. Suyu shook his head. Take the sunscreen. Not started yet. Next second. Boom. There was an explosion in the sky. The clear sky is dominated by dark rain clouds. The pouring rain poured down. Juvia's plan to get Suyu to apply sunscreen on the pretext of sunbathing went bankrupt on the spot. Ah, uh, ah, uh, why did it suddenly rain? Juvia didn't want it to rain. Juvia looked disappointed, frustrated, and puzzled. Of course I know it's not Juvia's rain, this is the grand line, and the changeable weather is one of the biggest features here. Suyu explained. The voice fell. The pouring rain suddenly stopped. Immediately afterwards, goose feathers and heavy snow fell. Advertisement. AD. Then came the storm. Finally, the giant hailstone. Just a few minutes. The harsh climate continues to change. But there is no big obstacle to Suyu and his party. Be it hail or icebergs at sea. All were defeated by Xeon Thunder. Okay, let's go back to the house. Don't freeze. Suyu casually picked up Juvia and walked into the cabin. Yes. With a happy smile on Juvia's pretty face, she put her slender arms around Suyu's neck. President, Juvia's body is all wet. Can you help Juvia dry it? Juvia whispered shyly. For a trivial matter of this level, how can you use the president? Let me help you. Urza smiled slightly. Take Juvia from Suyu. Hey. Urza stretched her arms, spinning and throwing. Juvia's body suddenly spun in midair like a drum washing machine. Is it enough? If it's not enough, do it again. Hey, enough is enough. Hey, there is a joyful atmosphere in the guild. How is it? Nami, this is fairy tale, and it will be more lively in the future. Suyu said. I'll be looking forward to it. Nami smiled slightly. Then the rest of the voyage will be left to you. Oh, put it on me. Two days later, the first island since fairy tale landed on the Grand Line. Whiskey Peak, here we come. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 17 Take the Princess Vivi's First Kiss. Advertisement. AD. The evening of the third day after leaving Cape Twins. Fairy Tail has finally landed on its first island since entering the Grand Line. What is that? A cactus? It's so big, it's almost like a mountain. Looking at the scene in the distance, Nami's eyes widened in surprise. It should be a mountain that looks like a cactus. Urza nodded. Either way, it's fun. Myra Jane smiled. Juvia is satisfied as long as she can be with the president. Juvia clung to Suyu with an info face. Is it finally here? Whiskey Peak, I wonder if I can see those two people. The corner of Suyu's mouth curled up. For the huge cactus island not far away. Of course, Suyu knows best, because this is the island that Straw Hat crew walked by. Welcome to the island of pirates, Whiskey Peak. Said to welcome pirates, but in fact this is a trap set by the bounty hunters of Barlock Work Agency specifically for newcomer pirates. On the surface, they are welcoming, but in fact they use the banquet to get the inexperienced pirates drunk and make them relax their vigilance. In the end, they were taken down without bloodshed. Ron chose to take this route. Not because I want to revisit other people's routes. By contrast, he prefers to explore a strange island that Straw Hat crew has never set foot on. Only, there is a main mission on this route. If it can be received and completed, it will surely upgrade the guild. In order to upgrade, so you just came here, ready to try to trigger the main line. Fairy Tail enters the Whiskey Peak River. In the Misty Shore hideout, there are only a few figures. That's the bounty hunters watching from the shadows. There are pirates coming again. Advertisement. AD. No no, it doesn't seem to be a pirate ship. There is no skull flag. Speaking of which, that logo seems a little familiar to me. Ah, that, that, that's Fairy Tail. Fairy Tail, what's that? 
Didn't you watch the news, idiot? That's the team that East Blue has made a name for themselves recently. Suyu, the president of Fairy Tale, that man was offered a reward of 80 million by Marine. Nanny, 80 million? This. Hey, this is really great. If I can win the 80 million, I will definitely be able to upgrade to a digital agent. Idiot, don't act rashly, act according to Mr. Eight's plan. The bounty hunters were all talking in low voices. Fairy Tale. There seem to be quite a few people on the shore. Urza looked solemn, grasped the hilt of her sword, and entered the posture of preparing for battle. Fine. Suyu waved his hand. Next second, the people hiding on the bank appeared together and gathered on both sides of the river. Ooh, ooh, enthusiastic cheers exploded. Welcome. Welcome to the Grand Line. Welcome to the hospitable town of Whiskey Peak. People cheered enthusiastically. Ah this, Urza was stunned, although she didn't hear the conversation of the bounty hunters. But judging from the faint breath, it is also known that the coma is not good. But now, could it be that people in this town recognize us as fairy tale and want to entrust us? Nami guest. Advertisement. AD. Possible. Mirajan nodded. President, what is this? Well, take one step at a time, they are willing to welcome, then we will take it. Suyu smiled slightly. Ship's dock in port. A man with exaggerated aristocratic curly hair came in front of Suyu and his party. Well well well. The man cleared his throat. My name is Ikaram and I am the mayor of Whiskey Peak, a town of brewing and music, and entertaining guests is something we are most proud of. Akalem, the digital agent MR8 of the Lockwork Agency and the captain of the Alabasta Guard, greeted warmly. For his warm hospitality, Suyu did not refuse, but smiled. A raucous banquet of wine and wine unfolded in the town tavern. Well well well. Ikaram cleared his throat habitually. Although we have many beautiful hostesses here, President Suyu probably doesn't need it. Urza, Mirajan, Juvia, Nami, no matter which one is a first-class beautiful girl. Here at Whiskey Peak, there is only one girl who can compare with them. The seat next to the president belongs to Juvia. Juvia was like a suckling swallow returning to her nest and pounced on Suyu, however, this time. But Suyu didn't catch her. Well, if possible, I really want the girl over there to have a few drinks with me. Suyu pointed to the blue-haired girl in the crowd. TCH, are you tired of playing with the women around you and want to change? And you just fell in love with Princess Vivi at a glance, really worthy of 80 million. Ikaram gritted his teeth secretly. As the captain of the kingdom guard, how could he just watch the princess being treated lightly by others? Just as Ikaram was thinking about the reason to shirk. Okay, President Suyu, advertisement. 80, the blue-haired beautiful girl comparable to Nami and others, Vivi, the princess of Alabasta, smiled sweetly and responded with a smile. Immediately, under Juvia's envious eyes, she sat down next to Suyu. A year ago, as a princess, in order to find out the cause of the drought in the country for years, she sneaked into the Pakistan lock agency undercover. It took a year of hard work to get to where I am today. If you can get the 80 million in front of you, her status in the organization will definitely be able to rise to a higher level. Then we can get closer to the truth and save Alabasta from the fire. All for Alabasta? Don't be so stiff, miss. Suyu hugged Vivi's shoulders carelessly, and put the belt in his arms. Haha, <laughs> President Suyu, please drink. Vivi handed out the wine glass with a smile. If you want me to drink, that's not enough. Suyu shook his head. Then how does President Suyu want to drink? Asked Vivi. If there is a beautiful woman's kiss, even a barrel of wine, I can do it. Suyu Haki's grin. Heard the words. Vivi's delicate body froze again. Just a moment of hesitation. Anyway, this guy is not bad. For 80 million, I will fight. Vivi closed her eyes and made up her mind. The delicate red lips quickly pecked Suyu's face, leaving a faint lip mark. This is already the limit of what she can do. To this, Suyu is also clear. No further advances. Ha ha ha. Xiao Er, serve the wine. P.S. Thanks to Boss Hank for the reward of 2,000 points. Thanks to the boss of Devil King CWK for the reward of 1,000 points. Thanks to the boss of 151 for the reward. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 18 Eat Vivi All Over. Advertisement. AD. Whiskey Peak. The noisy banquet is in full swing. Continued cup. At the sofa booth, Suyu heroically drank his 20th glass of spirits. Wow, President Suyu is so amazing. Vivi applauded again and again. Ha ha ha, it's still early. Suyu laughed. A pair of unrestrained appearance. This moment. Adjacent dining table. Woo woo woo. Juvia whimpered and burst into tears. Obviously they all have blue hair. Why did the president choose that girl? Could it be that the president is already bored with me? Gudong gudong. Juvia took one drink after another, drowning her sorrows in alcohol. Okay, Juvia, don't worry about that bad man, let's just take care of ourselves. Nami hugged Juvia and comforted her softly. Aside, Urza and Myrajan looked at each other, and both shook their heads helplessly. Been with Suyu for several months. They are very clear about Suyu's temper. When something goes wrong, there must be a demon. Although I don't know what's going on. But they knew that Suyu's move must have his own intentions. Today's unrestrained appearance is only a superficial disguise. After drinking for 30 rounds, it was early morning. Finally, one more. Boom, advertisement. AD, Suyu fell down on the wine table, completely drunk. The other side, Urza, Mirajan, Nami, and Juvia also passed out drunk on the table. Certainly, only Juvia was really drunk among them. Ha well well. The curly-haired man Ikaram cleared his throat habitually. It really took us a lot of effort, it really deserves 80 million. Ikaram swept around in a flustered manner. In order to put Suyu down on the wine table, the bounty hunters in the whole town are already down. It is unheard of for one person to drink with nearly a hundred people. However, I finally won the 80 million yuan. Princess Vivi also breathed a sigh of relief. If it continues before, she didn't know if she could hold back. Because, Suyu's hand became more and more dishonest after drinking too much. At first he just put his arms around her shoulders. Later, not just shoulders. Face, neck, belly, thighs. Except for the most critical places. Almost everything else was eaten. It's simply princess humiliation. Ivy. Well well well, wait, Miss Wednesday, I really wronged you. Ikaram said apologetically. No, it's okay, everything is for the cause. Vivi opened her mouth firmly. MR8, the only bad guy is this man. The girls over there must have been kidnapped by him, and they must be properly settled in the future. I see. Ikaram waved his hand. Several bounty hunters waiting outside the door came in with ropes and were about to tie up Suyu. Advertisement. However, the moment their hands touched Suyu, without warning, 
The bodies of several bounty hunters jerked. Then he fell straight to the ground, with burnt black smoke coming out of his mouth. Nanny, Ikram's pupils shrank suddenly, and he quickly led Vivi back, watching the drunk Suyu vigilantly and suspiciously. Good moment. See Suyu remained motionless. Ikram waved again. Several more bounty hunters stepped forward. However, it fell to the ground straight as always. What the hell did this guy do? MR9, holding two metal bats, swallowed nervously. Although it is to be captured alive, it's okay to be injured a little bit. Miss put on the knuckles and took off the nun's clothes on Monday, revealing her dark and muscular body, and threw so you mercilessly. Boom, the wine table was broken under the power of the strange woman Miss Monday. But what a coincidence. In his sleep, so you just stretched out and fell asleep on the sofa. Next time I won't have such good luck. The black-skinned strange girl Miss will punch again on Monday. Boom, boom, ah, Miss Monday's fist hasn't dropped yet. She herself was sent away first by Suyu's turning fist. I don't believe it. As digital agents, we can't even kill a sleeping guy. MR9 performs backflip acrobatics and hits Suyu with a backflip. Next second. Boom. Ah. Uh, advertisement. AD. Tragedy repeated itself. MR9 was kicked by Suyu in his sleep and flew hundreds of meters away. Bastard 80 million. You didn't fall asleep at all. Ikram's pupils shrank suddenly, finally confirming this fact. Master Vivi, hurry up. I'll hold him back. Now that it is clear that Suyu is still awake, playing with them from beginning to end, the last thing Ikram can do is cover the princess escape. After all, the other party is a big pirate with a reward of 80 million. In a head-to-head -head confrontation, they have no chance of winning. Pat clap clack, Ikram tugged on his tie. Several cannon barrels protruded from his curly hair, about to fire. Uncle, I advise you not to act rashly. Ursa spoke lightly. I don't know when. She was already blocking the door, pointing her sword at Vivi. Elusha, don't hurt that girl. She is not a bad person. Mirajan spoke. I know. Urza nodded. When I pretended to be asleep earlier, Vivi told Ikaram to arrange them properly. These words are not false. Let me just say, how could there be a town that welcomes pirates in this world? You should be bounty hunters. Nami said with a smile. You dare to attack our fairy tale. It seems that you have already made up your mind. We lost. I have nothing to say. It's up to you to kill or kill. I just hope you can let Miss Wednesday go. Ikaram completely gave up resistance. How to deal with you? It doesn't matter what I said. Everything depends on the meeting. Wait a minute, President. Why are you still sleeping? Wake up. Nami leaned close to Suyu's ear and growled loudly. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard to get a good night's sleep. On the sofa, Suyu stretched and finally opened his eyes. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 19 We Are Fairy Tale. Advertisement. 80. The first stop on the Grand Line. Whiskey Peak. After some twists and turns, Alabasta Mainline Quest triggers. Then, first report your names and identities. Suyu asked knowingly. He is naturally the clearest about the identities of Vivi and Ikram, but Alessa and the others don't know, so it's necessary to ask. My name is Ikram, and the code name of the digital agent of the Barlock Agency is MR8. I'm Vivi, and the code name of Barlock's agency is Miss Wednesday. Ikram and Vivi spoke one after another. BA Lock Works? Is this an organization? Mirajan asked. Yes. Ikram nodded. BA Lock Work Agency is a criminal company of the Grand Line. It is engaged in. The ultimate goal of the company is to build an ideal town. The reason why everyone works so hard is because, in order to save the life of the Princess Vivi, Ikram did not hide the slightest thing, and revealed everything about the Pakistani lock office. Wait a moment, you just said that you don't know the identity of the boss? You don't know who you are working for? It is obviously a work company, but you don't even know who the boss is. You must be lying to us. Nami narrowed his eyes slightly, staring closely at the two of them. It's true, the purpose of the Barlock Work Agency is to be mysterious, and only one person in the entire organization knows the identity of the boss. Vivi said hastily, who? Urza raised an eyebrow. Missile Sunday, she is the partner of the boss. Vivi replied, advertisement. 80. Missile Sunday? Well, this kind of thing is irrelevant, but you, since you have taken action against us, and now you have failed, you should pay a price. Where is your little treasury? Nami rubbed his hands together, his eyes took the shape of money. But soon, Nami's pretty face collapsed again. Because this bounty hunter base is also poor and white. Almost all the money collected from pirates in the past has been handed over to the top. They haven't opened for a long time, and the first order they waited for was Suyu and his party. Hey Miss Vivi. Mirajan walked up to Vivi and took Vivi's little hand. I can feel that you should be a kind girl, why do you want to commit crimes? I. Vivi bit her lips tightly, shook her head, and said nothing. Do you still want to keep concealing it? You have another identity besides the members of the Barlock Work Club, the Vivi Princess of Alabasta and the Captain of the Guard Ikram. Suyu said lightly. Princess Vivi and Ikram suddenly looked up and looked at Suyu in disbelief. Obviously it was the first time we met. Obviously they didn't say anything, but... Suyu revealed their true identities in one go. Nani, the princess of Alabasta. Nami, Urza, and Mirajan couldn't help being surprised. The princess is the princess of a country. Why does the dignified princess join a criminal association? Urza was even more confused. No, Princess Vivi is not Alabasta. Ikram was in disarray, incoherent. Forget it, Ikram. Vivi shook her head with a wry smile. That's right, I am indeed the princess of Alabasta, and the reason why I joined the Barlock Work Club is all because of. Now when Suyu sees it through completely. Advertisement. 80. Vivi no longer hides. Consider the current predicament that Alabasta is suffering from. And the purpose of joining the Pakistan Lock Work Agency is fully informed. For the sake of the country, she did not hesitate to drop her status, join a criminal company, and investigate the truth behind the country's civil strife. She is really an amazing princess. Mirajan looked moved. Since this is the case, why not make it clear from the beginning? Urza said, Elusha, because the president of our family is the big murderer who offers a reward of 80 million. It is not uncommon in this sea to kidnap a princess and demand a huge ransom from the kingdom. Nami explained the reason. I see. Urza nodded knowingly. Because Suyu is a bounty criminal. So Vivi and Ikaram naturally treated them as pirates. If it was a guild that knew the nature of their fairy tale, their choices would be different. But, Urza looked at Suyu. She knew that all of this should be under Suyu's control. 
Or rather, this was Suyu's purpose from the very beginning, just as Ursa expected. Then, it's almost time to talk about what needs to be talked about, and now it's time to get to the point. Suyu looked at the Princess Vivi. Now, there are two roads before you. I choose the way that Vivi-sama can return to Alabasta safely. If I say it, it doesn't matter anyway. Ikaram quickly raised his hand to answer. Let's listen first before answering. Mirajan reminded. First of all, the first thing, you and us parted ways, just pretend you haven't seen each other. Although you have plotted against us, you can still treat us to a meal, and the grievances will be wiped out. Suyu said. Um, advertisement. 80, good man. Vivi and Ikaram thought at the same time. Then, what about the second one? Ikaram asked weakly. Although I really want to choose the first one immediately. But curiosity drove him to ask the question. So you didn't speak, but glanced at Myrajan. Mira recalled that she took out a pen and paper from her small bag and handed it to Vivi. This, this, this. Akalem suddenly wanted to cry but had no tears, wishing to give himself two big mouths. What a mouth? What are you asking? No, something went wrong as soon as you asked. The other party obviously wanted them to write a letter to the king, ready to ask for a ransom. Miss Vivi, please write down what you want to entrust here. Mirajan said, I know, huh. Vivi and Akalem who were just about to write a letter were taken aback. Don't you understand? A power of attorney, a power of attorney, what you want fairy tale to do. Nami explained. Vivi and Akaram remained motionless. Vivi, don't you want to investigate and solve the root cause of the country's civil strife? This kind of matter can be left to us. Of course, if you want to do it yourself, we also respect your choice and will not interfere again. Ursa said, why, you, who the hell are you? Vivi whispered unconsciously. We are fairy tale. Suyu smiled slightly. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 20 The Poor Princess Vivi? Learn and sell Nami now. Advertisement. 80. So this is fairy tale. Did I use up all my luck to meet fairy tale? Vivi murmured softly. From the narration of Ursa and Mirajan. She finally knew what kind of organization fairy tale was. Simply put, if you have difficulties, I will help you. Miss Vivi, have you decided? Do you want to entrust us to help? Mirajan asked with a smile. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Vivi nodded like a chicken pecking rice. Pick up a pen and scribble down what you want to entrust on the power of attorney. Is this, is this all right? Vivi asked nervously. I always feel that writing a few words can get a powerful helper, which is a bit unreal. Of course it's not good. First let's discuss the commission money, my lord princess. Nami rubbed her little hands, her eyes turned into the shape of money again. Oh oh oh, it should be. Vivi nodded quickly. Then, how much can her lady princess give for this entrustment? Asked Nami. Fifty, half a million berry, is that enough? Vivi asked weakly. This is the limit of what she can personally come up with. As a princess of a country, Nami thinks that Vivi is very rich. However, actually, the private money of the princess Vivi is only half a million berry. Unaware of this, Nami's mouth twitched, thinking that he had met his opponent. She initially bid one million berry for the village. However, Vivi is a princess of a country. Advertisement. A.D. Obviously able to take risks for the country. But when it comes to money, he is extremely stingy. Well, my lord princess, one million berry. Don't you think this remuneration is slightly inconsistent with what you entrusted? Are your alabastus only worth half a million? Nami imitated Suyu's appearance back then, looking at Vivi with a half smile. This, I, I know it too, but I really only have half a million. Vivi said weakly, everyone from fairy tale, please make an offer. Ikaram said bluntly, in this case, then I'm not being polite, we want this number. Nami held out two fingers, two million. Vivi's eyes lit up, her private money is half a million. There is a gap of 1.5 million left, so it is not difficult to find someone to borrow it. However, no no no, Nami shook her head. Then, 20 million. Ikaram asked tentatively, at this price, it can only be spent from the treasury. Although Alabasta's current finances are already very difficult, it must be paid for the sake of the country. However Nami still shook his head, it can't be 200 million. Realizing this possible Akalame Nam, however, Nami's real offer was 10 times what they guessed. 2 billion, as long as 2 billion, I, the president will definitely help you remove all threats and obstacles beautifully. Nami said seriously, 2 billion. Vivi's and Ikaram's eyes widened at the same time. Advertisement. 80. Alabasta, already financially strapped. If another 2 billion is spent, even if the threat of civil unrest can really be eliminated by then. Countless people in the country will die because of poverty. This asking price has exceeded the limit that Alabasta can bear today. But, if refused, can they alone stop the root cause of the civil unrest? If civil strife breaks out in full scale, more people will die. This is a dilemma. Ikaram cannot make a decision. Vivi dare not make a decision. Nami. Urza frowned slightly. I think Nami's asking price is too outrageous. It's not fairy tale style. But she didn't wait for her to speak. Mirajan on the side raised her hand to grab Urza and shook her head. For what is happening now, Mirajan knows best. Not so long ago, the same thing happened to Nami once. And, it's not over yet. Of course, I also know that being in a country with civil strife is already difficult enough, and I can't afford so much for a while, but the guild supports installment payment. The down payment is one berry, and the remaining 1.999999999 berry can work part-time and pay back slowly. Nami learns and sells now. Apply to Vivi what Suyu once used to her. Huh? Can I really pay a berry first? Vivi seemed a little unbelievable. Even if it really cost one berry to complete the commission. Advertisement. 80. She was still dizzy all over. Okay, since I have accepted the commission, let's go without delay. Suyu stood up. Urza and Mirajan supported the drunk Juvia and followed closely behind. Hey, President. Nami trotted forward cheerfully, triumphantly. What's up? Suyu asked calmly. I was the leader of the gang just now, and you negotiated a big deal of 2 billion yuan. Shouldn't there be rewards? For example, what kind of share? Little money fan Nami rubs her fingers. I originally planned to ask for a price of 10 billion. Suyu said casually. Huh. Nami froze in place. As for Vivi's legs in the rear, his legs softened. Thanks to Garp, the running duck, as a support. That's why it didn't fall. One by one. 10 billion, President, are you serious? Nami thought she was greedy enough, but unexpectedly. Can there be fakes? So the difference of 8 billion in the middle has to be added to your head, and now you owe me 10 billion minus 1 berry. Suyu said seriously. Alas, alas, Nami people are stupid. 
He volunteered and negotiated a big deal. The result is an inexplicable 8 billion more debts. 10 billion berry? Even if she doesn't eat or drink, she won't finish 3 lives. No dear president, don't play like this. Ah ha 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 ha, just kidding. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 21 Suyu wants to talk to Robin. Advertisement. 80. Day and night. Fairy tale rides the waves. Drive straight toward Alabasta. Permanent pointer? Is this any different from the record pointer in my hand? Nami asked curiously. The record pointer will point to the next island after the magnetic force of a place is full, but the permanent pointer will permanently record the magnetic force of an island, and never point to that place forever. Vivi explained concisely. So that's why, no wonder my record pointer is different from this pointer. Nami nodded knowingly. So, if we follow the record pointer, where is our next destination? Urza asked curiously. Probably the little garden of Primordial Island. Ikaram spoke solemnly. I've been to that island once after I joined Lock Works, it's not a good place. Oh, Urza became interested. If Miss Ursa is interested, I can tell you that Primordial Island, as the name suggests, is an ancient island that retains the ancient climate. Dinosaurs that have become extinct in the outside world still exist there, but, Ikaram changed the subject. On that island, there are creatures more dangerous than dinosaurs. Nanny, more dangerous than a dinosaur? What? A real dragon? Nami said in surprise. It's a titan? Two titans? In legendary, that is the captain of the giant pirates who was famous for his cruelty a hundred years ago. Everyone has a reward of one hundred million. Ikaram narrated. Gudong. Advertisement. 80. Nami and Vivi swallowed at the same time. The titans of this world, I really want to fight against each other. Urza said. There will always be opportunities in the future, let's forget this time. Suyu so said. Um. Urza nodded obediently. Everyone, good morning. It hurts, it hurts, my head hurts. A hungover Juvia rubbed her temples and went downstairs. Next second. Juvia shuddered suddenly. Eyes locked on Vivi. Whoa, it's you, the woman who stole the president. I want to fight you. Juvia's eyes were red on the spot. Thinking of how Vivi was in Suyu's arms last night. Juvia almost overflowed with jealousy. On the spot, it was time to duel with Vivi. Juvia, wait, calm down a little bit. Princess Vivi is now our client. Urza and Mirajan hurried forward, blocking Juvia from left to right. Five minutes later, Juvia also finally understood the cause and effect of everything. Last night, did so much happen last night after I was drunk. Juvia was dumbfounded. After a while, Juvia pursed her lips, stood up and came to Vivi. Advertisement. AD. Well, Miss Vivi, I'm really sorry, I was the one who was rude earlier. No, 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 if Miss Juvia is there, I have something bad too. Vivi waved his hand awkwardly. Miss Vivi, I will definitely do my best for your entrustment. Juvia said firmly. No, don't rush to refuse, to solve your country's problems, Juvia's power is crucial. So you said. A week later. Fairy tail sails into a sea with a calm climate and magnetic field. This means that they have come near a large island. Another half hour later, a huge island appeared in people's sight. Grand Line Santaying Island, Alabasta has arrived. About the action plan after landing. It was clear during this week. Nowadays, Vivi does not yet know the identity of the people behind the Barlock Agency. The only breakthrough is the boss partner Missile Sunday. So, let Vivi and Ikaram lead the way to the hidden stronghold of the Lockworks in Alabasta. Then, on the grounds of important information, he induced Missile Sunday to come, took him down, and opened a breakthrough. The battle plan is simple. The key to success is Missile Sunday. Advertisement. 80. Soon, the meeting letter was sent. Don't worry, Vivi, there is a president here, no matter who it is, there will be no return. Looking at Vivi who was frowning nervously, Nami spoke to comfort her. No, Nami, that's not what I'm worried about. Missile Sunday is a very cautious and intelligent woman. She can manage the organization in a seamless manner. She may have seen through our plan at a glance. Vivi worried. It's useless to worry about this kind of thing. Anyway, just wait. If it doesn't work, just find the president. Urza said, three days ago, when this plan was proposed, Urza noticed the change in Suyu's expression. She knew that Suyu must know many secrets that they did not know. The fact is just as Ersha expected, who is the behind-the-scenes boss of Barlock Work Agency. Suyu is naturally very clear, but... He still decided to carry out this operation, because he wanted to talk to Missile Sunday Nico Robin. Time passed bit by bit. In a blink of an eye, the next night came, just when Vivi almost gave up. Tap, there were hurried footsteps outside the secret base. A huge tortoise arrives pulling a luxurious frame. That's Binky the turtle, Missile Sunday is here. Vivi cheered up and spoke excitedly. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 22 Invite Robin to join Fairy Tale. Advertisement. Alabasta. Barlock Stronghold. What a grand welcome ceremony, Miss Wednesday, MR8, or I should call you Alabasta's Princess Vivi and Guard Captain Ikaram. The black-skinned beauty in a sun hat and tight leather jacket smiled and spoke. There was no surprise or panic about the situation where he was surrounded. Missile Sunday, do you know who I am? Vivi's beautiful eyes widened, and she was startled suddenly. Well, from the day you joined the Barlock Work Agency a year ago, I knew that you and MR8 were able to upgrade to digital agents in such a short period of time, thanks to my support. Robin said unhurriedly. What did you say? Vivi's heart was even more shocked. The other party knew her identity from the very beginning. However, he pretended not to know. Their actions have been under Bar Lock's watchful eye since the beginning. If, if they hadn't met Suyu, what would have happened to them in the end? Vivi can't imagine it, but it is conceivable that the ending will not be too happy. Since you know our identities, why didn't you attack us? Ikaram snapped. For the sake of the country, I don't hesitate to risk my own life. The strong princess who undercovers the hostile criminal company, even I, can't bear to destroy your hopes. Robin smiled. Hey, Miss Missile Sunday, my intuition tells me that you are not a bad person. Advertisement. 80. Mirajan spoke instinctively. No, Miss Mirajan, I'm different from you. I'm a very, very bad, bad woman. Robin said seriously. You know me. Mirajan was taken aback. 
Fairy Tale Guild, Captain Suyu's first bounty was to reach 80 million berry. Fairy Queen Urza left a lot of legendaries in East Blue. Miss Mirajan is also famous for her beauty. Robin spoke eloquently. No no no, where is it? My beauty or something? Myra Jen blushed slightly. Miss Myra, don't be led into this guy's rhythm. Nami solemnly reminded. You may have conducted a thorough investigation of us, but it was all in vain. You have been surrounded, and you cannot escape today. Juvia shouted. Surrounded? Am I surrounded by you, or are you surrounded by me? Robin asked back. Nanny, is there still an ambush? How many people have you brought? Nami was shocked suddenly. Aha. Uh -huh. Robin chuckled. Don't be nervous, it's just a joke, I came here alone today. You know it's a trap, but you still come here alone. Advertisement. AD. Urza looked at Robin suspiciously. Hey, because I'm a little bit interested in fairy tale in Legendary and your president. Robin wrote. Hey, what a coincidence, I was just about to chat with Miss Robin. Suyu pushed the door out and walked in front of Robin unhurriedly. President Suyu, it's true that seeing is believing. He is more handsome in real life than in photos. Robin exclaimed. There's no need to say more about being polite, let's get straight to the point. Miss Robin, do you want to consider changing jobs and joining our fairy tale? For a smart woman like Robin, so you didn't have any twists and turns, and sent out invitations to join the club straightforwardly. As soon as the words came out, immediately everyone was shocked. President, what does this mean? It's different from the plan. Why did you invite that woman? That woman is the vice boss of the opposing faction. Nami, Urza, Juvia, and others couldn't help being shocked. Mirage Hende frowned slightly, and after a while, she relaxed again, as if she had thought of something. She hurriedly made several gestures towards Ersha and the others. I see. Urza and the others also understood and understood Mirajan's hint. It is only a bad idea to subdue them directly by force and force them to submit. Attacking the heart is the real best policy. Advertisement. If Robin does join, then they can cooperate from inside to outside. It's easy to take down the entire Barlock agency, as expected of the president. At this moment, all the girls unanimously entered Daihua's thinking. If Suyu knew what they were thinking, he would definitely look confused. Because he really didn't think that much. The reason for sending an invitation to Robin, it's entirely because she is one of the members of the protagonist group. And she's a capable big sister. If Robin joins in, it is bound to be of great benefit to the management of the guild. Also, get lost in this pirate world. In any case, one thing that cannot be avoided is the historical text. Although Suyu is not interested in the throne of One Piece or anything, but, he was equally interested in the final island and the One Piece, the great secret treasure mentioned by One Piece Roger before his death. If possible, of course I would like to see it for myself. To get to Raftal, Robin is indispensable. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 23 Suyu kisses Vivi, Juvia explodes. Advertisement. AD. How about it, Ms. Robin, do you want to consider changing jobs? The treatment of our fairy tale is definitely better than when you were in Barlock work agency. Suyu invited again. Another moment of silence. Call. Robin let out a long breath and shook his head slightly. Even someone as smart as her didn't expect this. Join fairy tale? Seems like a good choice. But, she came to Alabasta, with the purpose of cooperating with Clock D.A.R. and no Chancellor. Also, President Suyu, since you know my identity, you shouldn't be unclear. I am a troublesome woman. Inviting me to join your guild will bring you countless troubles. Robin wrote. This kind of thing is not a problem at all. Fairy Tail is never afraid of trouble. Suyu Haki spoke confidently. If Fairy Tail was afraid of trouble, it wouldn't be Fairy Tail. Everyone in Fairy Tail is the most important family member. We will never let anyone who hurts the family go. This is Fairy Tail. Suyu said firmly. Family, this is too extravagant for the hopeless me. Robin whispered softly. Um. Suyu raised his eyebrows. No, it's nothing, I have to say. President Suyu's invitation is very tempting. But if you go against it like this, won't President Suyu think that I am a casual woman? Robin asked back. Not at all. Suyu didn't hesitate. Robin. Sincerity is the strongest nirvana. Suyu answered so bluntly that she couldn't help it for a while. Robin could feel it. Suyu was really inviting her. It's different from any organization she's been with so far. The man in front of him really invited her from the bottom of his heart and wanted her to be his partner. Advertisement. AD. It's obviously the first time we met, but Suyu seems to be very familiar with her. Of course, I don't want to reply right now. Miss Robin, you can go back and think about it for a few days, and it won't be too late for me to reply. Suyu said generously. Let me go back like this? Don't you want information about the boss? Robin raised his eyebrows in surprise. Unnecessary. Suyu waved his hand nonchalantly. However, I'd like to ask Ms. Robin to bring me a message. Just say that I will give him three days to surrender to Marine. If he doesn't want to go, I will send him there. I see. Robin turned and went out, boarded the luxury car frame, and disappeared into the night. Until watching Robin go away. Only then did Nami, Vivi, and the others come back to their senses. All of them looked at each other in blank dismay. This, is this the end? It seems to know something. It seems that they don't know anything. President, have you achieved your goal? Urza asked. Um, Suyu nodded. Just wait for the rest in three days. See, neither Nami nor Vivi asked any more. Although I don't know what kind of medicine is sold in Suyu's gourd, I always feel at ease. Since Suyu said to wait for three days, then wait for three days. Early the next morning, Fairy Tail sets sail around the Alabasta border to the port city of Narohara. After purchasing the necessary living supplies for three days, Fairy Tail sails again. Follow the Sandora River all the way up. Advertisement. AD. Eventually it stops along the east coast. Then, Lord Vivi, Karu and I will return to Albina first and report to the king. After saying that, Akalem rushed towards the capital on the super fast running dot Karu. The fairy tale sailed away from shore, eventually came to the center of the Sandora River. This is probably the center of the entire Alabasta, but President Suyu, what are we doing here? Vivi asked puzzled. Rain. Suyu said casually. Vivi, isn't the root cause of your Alabasta civil strife just because of successive years of severe drought, so I'm going to give you Alabasta a rain that will cover the whole country. Suyu further explained. Vivi, as Suyu said, drought is the root cause of civil unrest. If there can be a heavy rain covering the whole country, then all the rumors will be self-defeating. All problems will be easily solved. Only, whether it rains or not is God's decision. How should mortals interfere? Juvia, let it rain. Suyu said. Yes, President. Juvia agreed. 
She is a genius of water magic and has awakened water magic since she was a child. But because he couldn't fully control his talent, it kept raining where he was. For Juvia, rain is as simple as everyday food. Blue's magic swept over like a zumaki. The sky was clear just a second ago. At this moment, it was suddenly overcast. Crash, rain, pouring down. Advertisement. AD, it's really raining. This, 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 what is it? Witnessing this miraculous scene with her own eyes, Vivi was completely stunned. Juvia, continue to expand the scope. Suyu said. Yes, President. Juvia mobilized her magic power, causing the rain cloud to spread rapidly in all directions. However, there is still a limit. Juvia and the others on the fairy tale have infinite magic power, so they don't need to worry about consumption. The problem is the amount of one-time output. Due to the limitation of strength, there is a limit to the magic power that Juvia can release at one time. Even if it is known as infinite magic power, it cannot expand the output. This point, even Suyu never expected. He had previously boasted that there would be a rain covering the whole country in Haikou. In this case, I can only try that trick. Suyu came to the dumbfounded Vivi. Vivi, if this rain wants to cover the whole country, we still need a little help from you. Where is the president? As long as it can rain, I can do anything. Vivi swears. Is it really possible to do anything? Suyu asked seriously. Um, Vivi didn't hesitate. Then I'm offended. Suyu lowered his head abruptly. Caught Vivi Sakura Momo with her mouth in full view. Sudden attack, Vivi's beautiful eyes widened subconsciously, her delicate body stiffened. Also frightened was Juvia, watching the man he loves kiss other women in front of his face. Juvia's whole body was exploded on the spot, breaking through the limit. Boom, rumble, thunder rumbled. The huge rain cloud expanded to the horizon in one breath, covering the entire alabasta. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 24 Alabaster Rejoices? Locked doll is furious. Advertisement. 80. The power of love is immeasurable. When witnessing the beloved man kissing her, I was NTR in front of her face. Juvia, who couldn't see this scene the most, suddenly broke through the limit, expanded the rain cloud to the entire territory of Alabasta. This moment. All Alabasta, Boyle. Kingdom Capital. Albina. King Cobra leaned weakly on the throne, his brows and eyes were full of exhaustion. Since becoming the king of Alabasta, he has worked hard to govern and is deeply loved by the people. But this is all past tense. During the past two years or so, in the whole kingdom, only the capital, Alba, receives occasional rain. Initial. People only think that it is because the heavens have pity on the benevolent government of the king. Consider it a special gift from heaven to Cobra, and be proud of it. But, gradually, over time, rumors of King Cobra's unauthorized use of contraband dancing powder to plunder the rain intensified. My beloved daughter risked her life for the sake of the country, so far there is no news. As a king, he can't do anything. This feeling is simply hopeless. If anything could change all that, that is a rain. Advertisement. 80. My lord, the rain, the rain is coming. The vice captain of the kingdom guard, Falcon Bell shouted excitedly. Is it only Albina again? There was no joy in King Cobra's eyes. Not this time, Lord Cobra. Bell gestured helplessly. Master Cobra, not only Albina, the capital of the kingdom, but also Yuba, Alma, and Catlia. Huge cumulonimbus clouds almost cover the entire kingdom. Nanny. King Cobra, who was still weak before, widened his eyes and stumbled out of the hall. After seeing the cumulonimbus cloud that spread all the way to the end of the world, unprecedented joy and excitement occupied his whole body and mind. Lord Cobra, good news, good news. Jackal Jaka came quickly. Ha ha ha, Jiaka, if you want to report the rain, it's already a step too late. People all over the country have seen it. Bell laughed. No, it's not raining, it's Captain Ikarum, Captain Ikarum, and Kalu are back. Jackal Jiaka said. What? And what about Vivi? Is Vivi back too? King Cobra was very excited. Oasis Juba. Here is the famous oasis city of Alabasta. But now, under successive years of severe drought, this oasis is dying. Now, the rain, the rain is finally falling. Kosha, you brat, keep your eyes open. Looking at the rain, can you still say that Master Cobra took everyone's rainwater? Advertisement. 80. The emaciated old man Duotuo knelt in the rain, tears running down his face. It's, raining? Are we really, wrong? Koza, the young leader of the rebel army, murmured unconsciously. After two years of rain, make the whole Alabasta into a sea of excitement. Countless people rushed into the long-lost heavy rain at this moment, dancing for joy. People's excited shouts, laughter, and tears of joy were mixed with the ticking of rain. Echoes over the skies of Alabasta, enduring and melodious. However, not everyone is celebrating and rejoicing for this heavy rain. Dream City, rainy land. Is that all you talk about? Shishibukai Lok stared at Robin calmly. By the way, he even invited me to join, but I didn't agree. Robin rode. Gohahaha wise choice, only by following me can you achieve your goal in this country. Lock doll smiled smugly. Eh. Robin nodded slightly. What fairy tale, it's just a newcomer kid who doesn't know the heights of the sky and the earth, let me surrender to the marine, I want to see, what can you do to me? K. Lockdahl was holding a goblet, standing in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows, with a sneer on the corner of his mouth. However, next second, the smile on Locke's face froze, because, it's raining in Alabasta. Advertisement. 80. Watching the sudden rain, K. Lockdahl is completely stupid. The sound of rain, the cheers of the people in the rainland, in his ears, seem to be a mockery from the world to him. It's actually raining, this is a devastating blow to our plan. Robin made sarcastic remarks with a look of surprise, who the hell did it? K. Lockdahl shouted angrily, his face as black as the bottom of a pot. After two or three years of hard work, I returned to before liberation. His heart was bleeding. Alabasta capture plan? Ancient weapon Pluton capture plan? Everything was ruined by this heavy rain. I don't know how many years it will take to implement it again. What the hell is going on here? I've clearly locked all the moisture in the sky over this country with my sand sand fruit ability. Why is there still rain? G. Lockdahl screamed in rage. The three-year drought in Alabasta was not a natural disaster, but man-made. It was Kelkater who plundered the water vapor in the atmosphere with the ability of Logia Sand Sand Fruit. Alabasta is the desert country of Summer Island, and there is not much rain. With K-Lock's ability, he can easily absorb the water vapor. But, the rain came too fast, too suddenly, and there was nothing to stop it, and there was no way to stop it. Although I don't know how they did it, but Fairy Tail is probably the only one who may have caused this phenomenon. This is a gauntlet from the President Suyu. Robin analyzed with reason. 
fairy tale. Boom, the goblet in his hand burst, and the bloody red wine splashed down. Okay, okay, since you guys want to play, then I will play with you enough. Nico Robin, call all advanced agents now, I want those guys to die without a burial. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 25 Active Vivi, Happy Juvia, Advertisement. AD. In the Misty Drizzle, Suyu and Vivi kiss affectionately. This scene is as romantic as an idol drama. At first, for Suyu's sudden kiss, Vivi is struggling and refusing. For her, this is an unprecedented first. The last time I was at Whiskey Peak, just kissing Suyu on the cheek used up all her courage. Not to mention the mouth-to-mouth -mouth kind now, but... After seeing the rain cloud expanding from their kiss, Vivi gradually stopped struggling and resisting. She knows it deeply and clearly, how important this rain is to Alabasta. The fall of this rain will completely change the status quo of Alabasta and save countless lives. For the sake of the country, what is her little sacrifice worth? Besides, the relatives have already kissed. It doesn't matter how long it takes. With the mood of serving the country and the people, Vivi completely gave up resistance. Instead, immerse yourself in it, and even respond to it. Advertisement. 80. Five full minutes. This absurd romantic idol drama has finally come to an end. Haha. <laughs> Vivi leaned against Suyu's arms weakly, trembling slightly. Well, it seems to be a success. Suyu said seriously. Vivi, let's go, don't play with this bad man, hum. Nami glanced at Suyu and helped Vivi back to the cabin. Anyway, it's a little too much this time, President. Urza said seriously. Isn't this for commission? Suyu grinned. As the president, you actually made your comrades cry. You must take full responsibility for this matter. If you don't cheer up Juvia, then you should resign. Mirajan put her hands on her hips and spoke angrily. Suyu scratched his head and walked up to Juvia. I'm sorry, Juvia, it's my fault this time. Suyu said apologetically. However, it has no effect. Juvia is now autistic and can't hear other people's voices. Anyway, go back to your room first, lest you catch a cold. Suyu picked up Juvia and sent her back to the room. Wait a minute, I'll get a towel. The moment Suyu turned around. Don't go, chairman. Juvia hugged Suyu from behind, crying in her voice. I do not go. Suyu turned around. Advertisement. 80. A big hand stroked Juvia's head. The president's embrace is so warm. The next day, morning. Suyu, who disappeared for nearly a day, reappeared in the sight of Nami and others, ignoring all kinds of strange sights from the girls. Suyu sat silently in a corner of the guild and began to think about one thing. Woman, it's really made of water. Especially Juvia? Really, President, you have to be considerate of us once in a while, how can you be like this? Juvia is a big girl, and last time, I also. Mirajan brought a cup of coffee to Suyu and spoke helplessly. Suyu grinned and said nothing, thinking that this time it really wasn't his fault. It's Juvia who keeps refusing to. President, do you have any plans for today's itinerary? Nami came to Suyu and asked. No, what happened? Suyu replied. If not, then go to Yuba. Now the headquarters of the rebel army is in Yuba. Vivi wants to take advantage of the heat from yesterday's rain to lobby the rebels. Nami said, Can. Suyu nodded in response. But, what he doesn't understand is, why is Nami speaking? This kind of thing should be said by Vivi himself. Suyu looked at Vivi. Advertisement. 80. Next second. Vivi, who noticed Suyu's gaze, quickly dodged away, and flew up to the red cloud unconsciously with a pretty face. After yesterday's close contact, Vivi no longer knew how to face Suyu. Suyu didn't pay too much attention to Vivi's strangeness. The fairy tale moved and docked. Nami and Vivi, who had already packed their bags, landed immediately. Look back. Suyu remained on the boat without moving. President, didn't you say that everyone is together? Asked Nami. I didn't say no. Suyu smiled slightly. Gravity magic is activated. Fairy tail shook slightly. Then, under the shocking eyes of Nami and Vivi, it broke away from the water and flew into the sky. Gone. Suyu manipulated the fairy tail with gravity, and flew slowly towards Juba. On the shore, Nami and Vivi froze in place, not recovering. A ship floating in the sea can still fly in the sky. Before seeing this kind of thing with their own eyes, they never even thought about it. This is fairy tale. It's amazing. Nami and Vivi couldn't help thinking in amazement. After a while. Wait, wait a moment. I haven't boarded the boat yet. I haven't boarded the boat yet. After regaining his senses, Nami waved again and again. Uncle DAJPG. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 26 Juvia. I have been honest with the president. Advertisement. 80. Alabasta. The oasis city of Juba. Moisturized by rain. The dying city finally breathed a sigh of relief. Thriving. Now. Juba Center. Rebel base. A violent quarrel is going on. At this point, do we still have a way out? The rebellion must be carried out. But the rain yesterday has proved everything. The king did not take everyone's rainwater. This is a natural disaster. What we are doing now is rebellion. According to the crime, not only us, but even our family members will be implicated. Don't be silly. Lord Cobra is not a tyrant. He will understand and forgive us. How can you be sure that Lord Cobra will be able to forgive us? I just know. The rebels split into two factions, and arguments escalated. Kusa, you are the leader. What do you think? In the end, all eyes were on the young rebel leader Kosa. I will go to the capital. Kosha spoke calmly, already making a decision. At this time, Kusa Kosa, Vivi. Master Vivi is here. A young soldier shouted and came to the big tent to report the news to the people. Nanny. Master Vivi. Is the princess here? Advertisement. AD. All the rebel army leaders were shocked. He hurriedly walked out of the big tent with Kausha, waiting to see the fairy tale spacecraft coming from far and near. Everyone opened their mouths wide at the same time, and the shock on their faces became even more shocking in an instant. Kusa, everyone, it's all right now. Vivi stood on the bow of the fairy tale, waving to the stunned people. Suyu's task today is to send Vivi to its destination. As for negotiating with the rebels, it is not something he wants to participate in. This is something only the venerable princess Vivi can do. Their involvement will only make matters worse. While Vivi was negotiating with Kosha and others, Suyu and his party were warmly received by the old man Duo Tuo. A day trip to the oasis city of Juba was carried out. At dusk, when Suyu and his party returned from sightseeing, the conversation between Vivi and Kosha and others is also over. The final result is a happy one. With Vivi as a guarantee, those who are afraid of being executed for treason no longer have any worries. After all, the credit of the princess Vivi is guaranteed in Alabasta. 
That night, a great feast is held in Juba. The kingdom army represented by Vivi and the rebel army represented by Koza reconcile. Royal capital, Albina. Master Cobra, just now, I received a contact from Yuba, because of Lord Vivi's lobbying, the rebel army led by Koza has been disbanded. Falcon Bell excitedly reported the good news to Cobra. Advertisement. AD. Okay, you really deserve to be Master Vivi. Ikaram blushed with excitement. Vivi has really endured too much. If possible, I hope she can live, travel, and fall in love like other girls carefree. It's too early. Cobra shook his head. Well well well, after this matter is over, Lord Vivi can relax, everything will be decided tomorrow. Ikaram said. The final confrontation with the boss behind the scenes of the Barlock Work Agency? Akalem, I have an ominous feeling that the Barlock Work Agency may really have something to do with Shishibu Kailok D.A.R. King Cobra said worriedly. It's okay, Lord Cobra, everyone from Fairy Tale is beside Lord Vivi, especially Chairman Suyu, he is stronger than you can imagine. Ikaram said firmly. The road from Whiskey Peak to Alabasta. Ikaram has seen Suyu and Urza compete more than once. Their strength is the only one Akalem has ever seen in his life. Even if Locke's behind the scenes boss is really K. Lock Doll, it is completely fine. Day and night. Time came to the last day of the deadline. Under the shocked and awe-inspiring eyes of Kosha and others, the fairy tale took off. Shortly after leaving Juba, Juvia, who had recuperated in the room all day, was finally revived with full blood. After a brief greeting with Urza, Mirajan, and the others, Juvia came to Vivi's side. Ju, Miss Juvia, are you all right? Vivi greeted weakly, eyes slightly dodged. As for Juvia's deep liking for Suyu, of course she could see it too. Juvia rained miracles on Alabasta and was a great benefactor to the country. Advertisement. AD. However, she kissed Suyu in front of Juvia. This sense of immorality makes Vivi panic and uneasy, and he has no face to face it. However, it was beyond Vivi's expectations. Juvia didn't care about the kiss between Vivi and Suyu two days ago, because, oof, Vivi, you just kissed the president, but I have been honest with the president. Juvia opened her mouth showing off. Ah, Vivi was stunned, unable to understand for a while. That's the one, the man and the woman. The president is really amazing. Let Juvia get the ultimate happiness. You probably can't understand this feeling, Vivi. Juvia said all kinds of tiger and wolf words with a happy face. Vivi also finally understood. Juvia was showing off to her. It's just that these things that Juvia showed off were too exciting for Vivi, who was still an innocent girl. Just listening to Juvia's description, Vivi couldn't help but blush. The legs rubbed unconsciously, and the deer bumped wildly. There was a strange feeling in the depths of the body, as if something was about to erupt. Ah, at this moment, Nami, who was on the sidelines, couldn't stand Juvia's showing off, and couldn't help interrupting. President, speaking of which, what is our itinerary for today? Nami asked loudly. Rainland, Clock Kedar. Suyu said concisely. Vivi, advertisement. AD, Chapter 27 Fairy Tale vs. Bar Lock Work Agency. Advertisement. AD, K, K Lock Dal. Vivi's voice raised more than an octave, echoing unceasingly over the guild. What's wrong with Lock Dal? Urza asked puzzled. Clock Dal, this name, I have an impression. Nami's eyes widened too. That's one of the seven great pirates recognized by the world government, commonly known as seven warlords of the sea. President, why are we looking for Shishibukai? Didn't I ask Robin to bring the message back three days ago, and let that guy surrender within three days, otherwise, I will send him there. The guy hasn't moved for the past three days, so I can only do it myself. Suyu smiled faintly. Wait a moment, wait a moment, President, the person you want to surrender should be the boss behind the lockwork agency, right? There is a relationship with Shishibukai Lock D.A.R. Nami stopped abruptly in the middle of her speech, because she already understood what Suyu meant. That is to say, is the so-called Shishibukai Lock Doll the boss behind the lockwork agency? Urza nodded knowingly. President, how do you know that K Lock D.A.R. is the boss behind the scenes? Nami couldn't help asking. Robin said it. Suyu said casually. Why don't we know? Nami retorted. Don't you know? Maybe I'm the only one who heard it. Suyu said seriously. Advertisement. AD. Nami. The conversation between Suyu and Robin that day. They were all there too. If Robin said so, how could they not hear? Clock Kedar. It turned out to be Clock Kedar. I should have thought earlier, besides him, who else can command the Lockwork Club? Vivi clenched her fists. Her pretty face was full of anger. After a while, Vivi loosened his fist weakly. President Suyu, Shishibukai, Lock, D.A.R. is not an ordinary person. I can't further implicate you. The next thing is, without waiting for Vivi to finish. What are you talking about? Vivi. Suyu's big hand landed on Vivi's small head and rubbed it. We have indeed accepted your commission. Of course, we must complete it to the end. If we can't even complete such a trivial matter, how can our fairy tale gain a foothold in the sea? Between Oasis Yuba and Dream City Rainland. An area of weathered rock. Jagged weathered rock. Nine men and women sat or stood, waiting quietly. If Vivi were here, he would be shocked and horrified. Because these nine people are the most powerful advanced agents of the Lockwork Agency. After the heavy rain two days ago, they received a summons from Boss Lock D.A.R. Advertisement. Urgently assembled from all over the sea, they came here, ready to intercept and kill the target fairy tale. Haven't you come yet? Haven't you come yet? Where's the agreed goal? You've been waiting for so long, haven't you come yet? Miss, an old woman who looks like a mole, shouted Merry Christmas loudly. Long distance fatigue, back pain, really, it's all your fault, MR4, it's all your fault for being so bulky, it weighs on my old waist, it hurts, it hurts, I'm sorry. The tall man with a dull expression, MR4, apologized weakly, he he he, I'm still as impatient as ever, Merry Christmas, miss. MR3 Mr. 3, with the letter 3 hairstyle on his head, is leisurely holding black tea, enjoy Senbei afternoon tea with your partner Miss Golden Week. MR3, the boss asked us to come here, not for tourism. Miss Valentine, a beautiful girl wearing a lemon pattern skirt, yelled, I didn't expect it to be an unprecedented gathering of all advanced agents, who is this mission going to deal with? Wearing a windbreaker, MR5, a man like a rock singer, frowned. According to the information provided by Missile Sunday, the other party is Fairy Tale from East Blue. Miss pointed to Zayla with both hands. One atwo, one atwo, ah everyone, if you are bored, come and dance with the slaves the way of the shemale. MR2 Bentham, a tough ladyboy in a ballet suit, steps on ballet steps, sings and dances rap. 
Coming soon. Dressed like a monk, the blue-haired man Mr. Wendez Boni suddenly stood up and looked into the distance. Um, come yet. All the advanced agents were instantly alert. Follow Dasborn's line of sight, waiting to see the spaceship coming from far and near. Advertisement. 80. The mouths of all the advanced agents grew at a speed visible to the naked eye, and their shocked jaws all touched the ground. The ship, the ship is flying in the sky. Mr. 3 Mr. 3 had a ghostly expression on his face. A mirage? That's a mirage? How can a ship fly in the sky? It's impossible for a ship to fly in the sky, Miss Valentine repeatedly exclaimed. Unfortunately, that wasn't a mirage. This is fairy tale, no wonder we need all of our advanced agents assembled. Mrs. Fingers looked solemn. I haven't heard that the other party can fly? With me like this, aren't all the traps I dug useless? The mole old lady Miss Merry Christmas cried strangely. It doesn't matter, I will make a move. Mr. 5, the explosive fruit ability user, spoke calmly and confidently. Say it. He stretched out his index finger and began to pick his nose. The other side. The tall and dull man Mr. 4 picked up the dox hund beside him. Slap, slap. The dox hun transformed into a cannon, and opened its mouth to spit out a time bomb. Mr. 4 grasped the timing, swung the four-ton bat, and sent the time bomb flying. At the same time, Mr. 5 took out a large booger and popped it out. Boom, rumble, advertisement. 80, chapter 28, so you makes a move, and it takes seconds. Advertisement. 80, boom, boom, rumble, a terrifying explosion occurred in the sky. The powerful wind wave blew the fairy tale's hull and tilted to one side. The sudden attack caused the faces of the girls on the boat to change, and they filed out. Their eyes coincidentally locked on the advanced agents in the weathered rock area ahead. Mr. 5, Miss Valentine, Miss Golden Week, Mr. 3, can't be wrong, those are the advanced agents of the Barlock Work Agency, and the unprecedented nine agents appeared together. Vivi's pupils shrank suddenly, and he had already recognized the enemy's identity. It seems that the other party is ready to fight our fairy tale. Urza's mouth curled up. She never refuses a fight that comes to her door. Where's the boat? What happened to the boat? The previous explosion was no joke. Nami spoke nervously. Don't worry, Nami, this ship has self-defense magic. An explosion of this magnitude cannot destroy our guild. Mirajin laughed. Nami, although I don't know what self-defense magic is, but it sounds like a lot of power. In short, there is no need to worry about the damage of the ship. Oh, President is so handsome. On the side, Juvia cheered like a little girl. Nami and Vivi took a closer look. Only then did I find out. I don't know when. Suyu has already come in front of everyone in the Pakistan Lock Work Agency. To be more precise, it came to Mr. 5 Mr. 5, who has the ability to explode fruit. Don't flick your stinky boogers into the bottom of other people's boats. Suyu shouted angrily. The fist wrapped in thunder and lightning hit Mr. 5 who was picking his nose and preparing for the second round of blasting with lightning speed. Whoosh, advertisement. 80, boom, Mr. Explosive Man is shaped like a fired shell, flying backwards for hundreds of kilometers, and disappearing into the sky with the ear-piercing sonic boom. Just like four emperors red hair was slashed because of Captain Kid's opponent's shot. If only Mr. 5 hadn't hit Fairy Tail with a booger bomb. So you couldn't do it himself, and punched him in seconds. But it was too late for him to regret it now. After solving the annoying booger man, Suyu's outwardly released energy was restrained, and he didn't make another move. However, this moment, Suyu just stood there. It brought a mountain of psychological pressure to a group of lock advanced agents. Everything happened too fast. They didn't even realize it. Suyu had already arrived in front of them. With one punch, Mr. 5, who was an advanced agent, disappeared without a trace. Monster? This moment, the word monster appeared in the minds of all the advanced agents. An understatement of a monster that kills an advanced agent with a single punch. Can they really fight against it? President, don't swallow it alone, let me do it. Urza jumped off the boat and came to Suyu's side. I want to fight too. Juvia let out a coquettish cry, and followed closely behind. Then I'll leave these miscellaneous fish to you. Suyu waved his hand nonchalantly. Say it. With a flash of his figure, he returned to the boat. As expected of the president, Nami joins the applause. Then Nami was the discovery. Suyu kept staring at himself. Advertisement. 80. What's wrong? Nami's heart skipped a beat. It's rare to get a new power, Nami. Don't you want to find some opponents to try? Suyu smiled. With Urza here, there is no need for me to appear. Nami shirked. This is really a pity. I wanted to say that I would reward 10 million berry for defeating one. Suyu said. 10 million? I'll do it. Nami suddenly changed his face. His eyes were blinded by money. Nami's heart moved. Celestial magic activates. Enter the form of the Taurus star spirit clothes. Alas, will Nami also transform? Vivi's eyes widened in surprise. I stayed on the boat for half a month. Vivi and Nami get along day and night. However, it was the first time I saw Nami's star spirit clothing form. Want to learn? Suyu asked. May I? Vivi's eyes lit up. Certainly. Suyu smiled mysteriously. The other side. With Suyu leaving, the opponents became three girls. The tense heartstrings of the lock advanced agents suddenly eased. Ha ha, ha ha ha, as long as it's not that monster, it doesn't matter who else it is. Mr. 3 Mr. 3 heaved a sigh of relief, and smiled with lingering fear on his face. Next second, the smile on his face froze again. Advertisement. 80, the eyeballs of both eyes almost jumped out of their sockets. Because Urza made a move, dress up, the armor of the sky wheel, the sword of dazzling sky wheel, swish, swish swish swish, dozens of hundreds of magic swords fell from the sky like a torrent of steel. Wong Defa at hashtag UN percent, candle wall. Mr. 3 screamed and activated the candle fruit ability. Create a tortoise shell as hard as steel. Ding 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 dang. The crisp sound of gold and iron clashing loudly. The desert land is full of smoke and dust. After a full minute, Urza's attack ends. All swords are homing. Is this, the rhythm of instant killing? Nami said blankly. No, not yet. Urza shook her head lightly. Tap. The sound of footsteps came from the flying dust. The blue-haired man Dasbonis dressed as a monk stepped out calmly, unscathed. How could it be that he was unscathed? How did this guy eat Urza's attack? Juvia was taken aback. Is it Logia like the smoke man in Rogtown? Nami guessed. What about the white turtle shell over there? Mirajan tilted her head in confusion when she saw the large tortoise shell in the desert. It was probably made by MR3's ability, and it actually prevented Miss Urza's attack. The advanced agents of Barlock Work Agency and us, the general agents, really have a different level. Vivi looked solemn. 
Advertisement. 80. Chapter 29 Lobia Water Fruit. Advertisement. 80. White Candle Inside the Turtle Shell. Wait, wait a moment, this is my safe house, it's nothing more than golden week, let's say it's my partner, but why did you all come in? MR3 Mr. 3 yelled in dissatisfaction. What nonsense are you talking about, Mr. 3, if you don't hide in, you will definitely die. By the way, wouldn't you make the safe house bigger? Tough email MR2 Bentham Road. In such an urgent situation before, it is already my limit to be able to do this. Mr. 3 retorted. Is that the fairy queen Urza from Legendary? It's even scarier than the rumors. Miss Fingers and Forehead were covered with fine cold sweat. Her clothes were torn, and blood was dripping everywhere on her body. It was the wound caused by being rubbed by Urza's flying sword because he couldn't dodge it before. Are you kidding me? What kind of ability is that woman? Didn't she want to kill us all with one blow? Miss Valentine yelled in disbelief. It's so crowded. The small face of the lowly girl Miss Golden Week is crowded and deformed. I'm so sorry. MR4 Babe, who took up the most space, apologized weakly. I've said it all, don't squeeze me anymore, I'm going to be out of breath. All the advanced agents shouted in unison, opened the turtle shell, and each of them breathed greedily. Uh, are these guys idiots? Nami couldn't help complaining. Be careful, Nami, there seems to be someone missing. Juvia was concentrating, and then suddenly her eyes widened. Underground. Advertisement. 80. I will handle it. Nami responded with a full mouth. She clenched the Taurus whip in her hand. Light of pale gold magic gathers at the tip of the whip. With Nami's swing, it fell heavily on the ground. Earth waves? The magic skill attached to the Taurus star spirit clothes exploded. Boom, rumble, the earth crumbled and crumbled under Nami's magic. Ah, the lock advanced agent walking underground, Miss Merry Christmas, the Zoan mouse fruit mole form ability, screamed, was shocked by the terrifying fluctuations, and fell into a coma on the spot. Get 10 million first. Nami sticks out her tongue with a smug expression on her face. Ah ha ha ha, don't get carried away, it's time for us to fight back. Harsh laughter sounded from the air. I don't know when. Miss Valentine has already floated above Nami's head. I am a light and heavy person who eats the light and heavy fruit of Paramecia. I can freely control my own weight, and I am ready to accept 10,000 kilograms. Gilyala. Before Miss Valentine could finish her sentence, she abruptly turned into a drowning murmur. That's because Juvia made a move? Water restraint? Juvia waved her hand lightly. A water dungeon is generated out of thin air. Lock up Miss Valentine who has not yet had time to make a move in the air. Even if a strong person at the four emperor's level falls into the sea, he can't overcome the wind and waves. Not to mention a small miscellaneous fish like Miss Valentine. Advertisement. 80. Juvia's next move has not been connected yet. Miss Valentine's eyes turned white, and she fainted completely. So weak. Juvia blurted out. It's not that the advanced agents are weak, it's that everyone in fairy tale is too strong. The princess Vivi, who was watching, murmured in shock. Wow, how could such a thing happen? What kind of ability is that blue-haired woman? This is unscientific. MR3 Mr. 3 screamed again and again. She, she, she. She can actually produce and control water out of thin air. Could it be that she is a Logia water fruit user? The tough guy and ladyboy Bentham also had a ghostly expression on his face. Water is the natural enemy of those with abilities. How could someone have the devil fruit ability to control water? Isn't this invincible? Miss, who is the calmest on weekdays, also lost her color with her fingers, disorganized. As demon fruit power, they met Juvia who could control water, and they were almost overwhelmed. In short, this woman is not something we capable people can handle. Mr. 4, I'll leave it to you. MR3 Lian Chan. Yes. MR4 responded dully. Hold a four-ton bat with both hands. Hit like a baseball player. Juvia, leave this guy to me too. Nami was full of enthusiasm and took the initiative to play. As long as you defeat an enemy, you can get 10 million rewards. This is what drives Nami to fight. And it can stimulate all her potential. Nami flicked the Taurus whip and wrapped it around MR4's metal bat with lightning speed. Huh. In just a moment of stupefaction, MR4 found that the bat in his hand was missing. Advertisement. 80. At this time. Boom. Dox Hundrasus fuse out a ticking time bomb. MR4 should have used the bat to hit the bomb precisely where the enemy is. But now without the bat, the inherent rhythm is interrupted. For a moment MR4 was also at a loss. Finally, in the ear-piercing beeping sound, the time bomb blew up MR4 himself. But, for a tank like MR4, bombs can't take it away in one wave. At this time, Nami's offensive came again. Nami flying kick, accompanied by a crisp drink. The girl fell from the sky. Take the pose of Leo flying kick. He kicked hard on the buzzing MR4. Whoosh, the tall man like a mountain of meat suddenly flew backwards. Boom, rumble, MR4, lose. 20 million, get. Nami happily gestured yes. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 30 Urza approves MR2 Bentham. Advertisement. 80. Okay, well done, Nami, you are amazing. Seeing the little sister Nami easily get a double kill, Vivi couldn't help but flushed with excitement, and the blood in his body was boiling. If it wasn't for her knowing that her own strength was really low, forcing her to join the battle would only slow her down, so she would definitely have to join the battle. No, no, how can I be so powerful? Nami touched the back of his head in embarrassment, and spoke modestly. To be honest, even Nami himself was taken aback by his power. This is the first time she has used this power since she obtained the Taurus Star Spirit clothing. Nami himself knows how much he weighed in his original self. Compare it to yourself who easily kills Barlock advanced in seconds. The span of strength between these is not just a simple description. All of this is thanks to joining Fairy Tail. Being able to join Fairy Tail is the greatest luck in my life. Nami thought to himself. Sudden. Sudden change. Accompanied by the ear-piercing sound of breaking wind. A hedgehog-like thing slams at Nami. Nami little. Vivi's alarmed reminder has not yet fallen. Next second. The water flow cuts through. Juvia waved her hand lightly. A huge water blade shoots out. Knocks Zayla into the air with both fingers of Miss who was distracted by Nami. Water flowing whip. Water flow rises. 
Water flowing twin fangs. Water flow, ah, uh, is this over already? Advertisement. 80. Juvia froze. A set of small tricks has already taken away Mrs. Finger Zayla with a reward of 35 million. As Mr. One's partner, Miss means that Zayla's strength cannot be considered weak. The lethality of Paramecia thorn fruit is not low. Unfortunately, this time she met Juvia, the water element. Water magic Skygram's demon fruit power, but her thorns cannot cause any damage to the water element. Such a one-sided result would be expected. The battle started in just a few minutes. Four more of the nine advanced agents of the Pakistani lock agency were lost in battle. Nami and Juvia each took two kills plus the booger man who was dealt with by Suyu in the first place. There are still four of the nine agents left, wait a moment. Vivi's beautiful eyes swept across the battlefield. Only the top three digital agents are confronting Urza. There should be one more person left. But, Vivi looked all over the battlefield, but couldn't find it anywhere. Until, Vivi, don't be so nervous, come and have afternoon tea together. Suyu greeted casually. Vivi turned around, then widened her beautiful eyes, because she suddenly found out, the last advanced agent who disappeared. At the moment, she is sitting opposite Suyu, drinking black tea and eating senbei leisurely. Miss, golden week, President Suyu, she she she, she is. You said Marianne, she's my new friend. Suyu smiled slightly. Huh. Vivi couldn't help being stunned. Advertisement. AD. Suyu became friends with Miss Golden Week, an advanced agent from Lockworks. Marianne is a very well-behaved and quiet girl, and she is very good at drawing. Mirajan smiled. For the well-behaved and quiet Miss Golden Week. She also fell in love with it immediately. Even Miss Myra, wait. Vivi thought of the rumors she heard when she undercovered Barlock. Advanced agent Miss Golden Week has a very special ability. Can manipulate people's emotions through painting, and even turn enemies into friends. Could it be that even President Suyu and Miss Myra have been recruited? Vivi was startled suddenly. Vivi, come over and eat some, I've done a lot. Mirajan greeted. Um, Vivi nodded, making up her mind. If it's what she thinks, then it's up to her to find a solution here. The other side. A ruined area of weathered rock. Damn it, he was defeated so easily. Can this also be ranked as an advanced agent with us? He is really useless. MR3 Mr. 3 secretly slandered. I thought the nine secret agents would attack together. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. However, the reality gave him a ruthless big bag. The opponent's strength is far beyond their imagination. The original 8 to 3 situation. In an instant, it became 3 against 3. Not to mention that the opponent also has an ultimate boss finale. This is simply an impossible task. MR3 rolled his eyes and began to think about countermeasures. Elusha, let's help too. Nami said. Advertisement. AD. No need, Nami. Juvia, you guys just rest on the sidelines for a while, leave these three guys to me. Urza said. Do you actually want to fight against our three secret agents with one person? Don't underestimate the slave family. Tough guy and ladyboy Bentham suddenly exploded. She male boxing, gorgeous swan dance. It is so powerful that it is enough to kick away the prison beast boss sphinx with one blow and attack Urza. Urza didn't dodge or dodge, defending Bentham's kick with the two swords in her hand. At the same time launch a defensive counterattack. The sword of Tianlun fell from all directions. She male boxing, Xia Tian's memoir of that year. Tough guy Shimail Bentham rotates at high speed around the body. Like a large spinning top defense, it repels all flying swords. But, in the collision between flesh and blood and the magic flying sword, only the flesh and blood will be injured in the end. When the rotation stopped, the tough guy and ladyboy Bentham was covered in bruises and blood. Even so, he still didn't fall down and stood up. Even Urza couldn't help being moved by such a tenacious spirit. You are the first respectable opponent I have encountered in this world. Urza spoke seriously, and recognized Bentham as her opponent. Originally, I looked at Bentham's male and female attire. Urza still felt a little irritated and uncomfortable. However, after the actual battle, she also felt the tenacity of Bentham, a tough guy and ladyboy, a warrior with a tenacious spirit is worthy of respect. It's really an honor to be recognized by the enemy, so please enjoy it, my last way of being a ladyboy, bursting swan dance music. The tough ladyboy Bentham grinned and unleashed his strongest move. Bring it on. Urza, the armor of the sky wheel, clenched the double swords in her hands. In order to show her recognition for Bentham, she responded with all her strength. Sky wheel sword of pentagram. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 31, Emperor Yen's armor, Urza vs MR1. Advertisement. AD. Tian Lun, the sword of the pentagram, in the form of the armor of the sky wheel, Urza's strongest move exploded. The two swords in his hands draw a huge pentagram orbit in an instant, shining in the world. Ah, goodbye, that winter. Tough guy ladyboy MR2 Bentham, lost. The strong ladyboy's flower withers. That guy MR2 is really an idiot. He rushed up like a fool knowing that he couldn't win, but it happened, I've seen that guy upset for a long time. MR3 Mr. 3 sneered, and then silently walked to the side of MR1 Dasbonis. MR1, let's join forces. You attack directly, and I will assist you. At least one person must be taken down as a bargaining chip. Proposal for MR3 Mr. 3. Das Bonus, the green-skinned male monk, didn't respond at all, still just standing there calmly, motionless. Brother 3 frowned displeased. However, he did not wait for him to continue lobbying. Swish, the sharp breaking wind came with the cold air. MR3's pupils shrank suddenly. Candle wall. The solid defensive wall is instant, blocking the direct hit of Urza's flying sword when there is no time to send. If the tiger doesn't show its power, don't really think that I'm easy to bully. The emperor's third brother went into a rage. Paramecia wax wax fruit ability, fully open. Liquid wax gushed out of its body, solidified and formed under his control. In the end, it turned into a small white candle titan armor, completely surrounding MR3 Mr. 3. See, this is my most outstanding work of art, candle champion. MR3 Mr. 3 laughed triumphantly. Urza said nothing. Advertisement. 80. Between waves. The sword of the sky wheel goes back and forth. Jingle. Sounds like iron strikes sounded one after another. It's useless to say it all, your sword can't hurt me anymore. MR3 Mr. 3 is proud. Although it's a candle, it's really amazing hardness. Urza nodded slightly. As MR3 said, 
The flying sword of the Heavenly Wheel armor really couldn't break through his defense. But, Urza still has at least a hundred ways to defeat him. Among the various armors collected by Urza, the armor of the Sky Wheel is only the most basic one. It is generally used for group attacks, and the attack power of a single target is not significant. Any other moves, just use them. MR3 Mr. 3 completely carried himself away. Since it's wax, then use this. Urza makes a decision. Dress up. Gorgeous light blooms. Urza's image changed dramatically. Instead of the armor of the Sky Wheel, what appeared in people's eyes was a pair of fiery red armor. Yen Emperor's armor? Oh, oh, Urza has transformed again. So handsome. Nami and Vivi, who saw Yandi's armor for the first time, couldn't help screaming in shock. Where is this? Eliza has dozens of sets of armor. Myra Jane and Juvia said. Advertisement. AD. Nanny. Both Nami and Vivi couldn't help being stunned. The other side. Looking at Urza who is holding a flaming sword and exuding a scorching aura like flames all over her body, the third brother is also stupid. Wait, wait a moment. What kind of ability do you have? Why do you still have the fire attribute? This is a foul. It is undoubtedly a foul, ah, just as MR3 and Mr3 screamed loudly. Urza, the armor of Emperor Yan, swooped forward. The flaming sword swung, instantly ignited Mr 3's candle champion. AHH, it's so hot. MR3 Mr 3 hurriedly escaped, rolled all over the ground, and extinguished the flames on his body. What moves do you have, just use them. Urza smiled slightly. Return what MR3 said earlier. Wait, wait a moment, there are, let me prepare. MR3 seized the opportunity and delayed for a while. Paramecia wax wax fruit starts again. Wax museum, under the weight of death. MR3 exploded to its full potential. It didn't take long to create tens of hundreds of candle avatars, densely scattered among the weathered rock areas. Oh, Urza frowned, showing some interest. In her past, all these candle clones made by MR3 can be driven by him. However, Urza somewhat overestimated MR3. These wax doubles are just wax figures. It's okay to confuse the public, but it doesn't have the slightest power to act. MR3 made the wax doppelganger just to fight for the chance to escape for himself. Be aware of this. Advertisement. AD. Urza shook her head in disappointment. The Emperor Yen sword waved. The raging flames burned up all the wax figures. Don't bother with the clown MR3 anymore. Urza turned around, and the Yen Emperor's armor was retracted. Her eyes fell on the last MR1 Daz Bonis. The guy who got in the way has finally completely disappeared. Finally, Daz Bonis, who had been silent until now, spoke. Aren't they your partners? Urza said in a low voice. Partner, it's just a bunch of trash that drags its feet. Daz Bonis sneered. Urza's pretty face was slightly gloomy, fairy tale valued its companions the most, and would never allow others to insult them. Okay, don't care about those rubbish, just use your strongest moves to attack, of course, don't think about winning, the only thing waiting for you is defeat. Dasborn is spoke calmly. TCH, what are you so proud of? The last one said that Urza's sword couldn't hurt him, but now he's burned to the ground. Urza, come on, beat this stinky guy. Nami waved his fist angrily, cheering for Urza. Urza said nothing. Step forward calmly. There is no armor that converts power. Just attack Dasbornis in the most common form. Dasbonis did not dodge or dodge, blocking with his flesh and blood arm. Jingle, the sound of gold and iron clashing continued one after another. The sharp magic sword clashed continuously with Dasbonis' arm, sparking dazzling sparks. I see. The first round of probing attacks ended. Urza and Dasbonis retreated respectively. Your body is as hard as steel. If you can't cut the steel, you can't cut it. Urza saw through Dasbonis' confidence. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 32 Urza Haki Advances, Sword Cuts MR1. Advertisement. AD. The secret of your ability to withstand my sword strikes is your body as hard as steel. If you can't cut through steel, you won't be able to defeat you. Urza said in one word where Dasbonis relied. That's right, I'm the one who ate the dice dice fruit. Hitting and slashing are useless to me, Fairy Queen Urza, I admit that you are strong, but... Dasborn has changed the subject. Since I got this ability, no swordsman can hurt me. No swordsman can defeat me. MR1 said confidently. Oh, Urza raised an eyebrow. Originally after seeing through the mystery of Daz Bonus's ability, Urza was already planning to change her outfit, and defeated it with her powerful armor. The armor of the sky wheel really cannot break through the defense of the steel body. But, Urza has many other options. For example, the Yandi armor that defeated MR3 earlier. The power of fire that comes with it is something that Daz Bonis is not immune to. There is also the lightning attack of the Thunder Emperor's armor, the beam cannon of the star armor, and so on. Certainly, even simpler and cruder is the armor of purgatory, which is extremely destructive to a single target. With the absolute destructive power of the purgatory armor, it can easily crush steel. Also, there are also the strongest goblin armor, the celestial armor that can activate celestial magic, the heavenly god armor that can only be used after liberating the second magic source, and the real strongest opening mode the pure heart garment? There are many ways to cut steel. The fast slashing steel body that Dasbonis is proud of, to Urza, there is no threat at all. As long as the powerful armor is used a little, the end of the battle is only a matter of an instant. Only, Urza couldn't pretend that she didn't hear Dasbonis arrogant statement that a swordsman can never beat him. Although there are suspicions of being aggressive, Urza wants to defeat Dasbonis with a pure sword. For her in common mode, it is a little difficult to do this. But, advertisement, AD, it's a different matter if you add her newly learned powers of this world. In the past 10 or so days, Urza has been able to release armament Haki proficiently through dueling with Suyu. Come on, quickly put on your previous flame armor. The flame attack of that armor may be able to cause some damage to me. Dasborn is reminded. Only when Yandi's armor is Urza's strongest whole card. Thanks for the reminder, but it's not necessary. Urza held the sword in both hands with a firm expression. Why doesn't Ms. Urza change her armor? On the fairy tale, Vivi was secretly anxious. Probably because of what MR1 said before, Urza wants to end this battle with a swordsman, let us wait and see. So you smiled. I've already given you the advice. Since you don't listen, don't complain after you lose. Dasboni said coldly. The moment the voice fell, his figure shot out suddenly. Five fingers become claws, and then turn into sharp blades under the action of dice dice fruit. Master the cut. When? Urza blocked Dasboni's charge with a horizontal knife. The sharp blades collided with each other, sparking. Urza let out a breath. 
Black's airflow gradually wound towards the blade. Armament hacky, trigger success. The moment armament hacky finishes winding, Dasboni's complexion suddenly changed. From Ursa's black sword, he felt a strong threat. Advertisement. 80. Obviously, I didn't feel anything a second ago, but when the armed color was entwined, he actually felt a faint pain in his five fingers. Dasboni's was startled by this sudden change, and hurriedly backed away to distance himself. Looking carefully at the five fingers of his right hand, fine bloodstains appeared on his fingers. Nanny. Dasboni's pupils shrank suddenly, and he couldn't believe that Urza had hurt herself with a sword. What are you in a daze for? Just as Dasboni's was shocked, Urza swung her armed black sword and attacked. The pitch black sword edge cut across a perfect arc and slashed towards MR1. Dasboni's instinctively raised his hand to block. Who? Blood splattered. At the same time, it was accompanied by severe pain. A bloody gash appeared on Dasborn's arm. What did you do? What power is on this sword? Dasbonis yelled in shock, and the expression on his face was no longer as arrogant and relaxed as before. Since obtaining this ability, this was the first time he was injured by a mere swordsman. This should be the power of this world, don't you know? Urza looked at Dasbonis strangely. As a native of this world, he doesn't even understand the power of this world. Asking this question to her, an otherworld person, really lacks common sense. Listening to Urza's rhetorical question, Dasborn's eyelids twitched. He realized that he might have really asked a stupid question. Could this be hacky? Dasbornis thought of the answer. That's right. Urza nodded. Sure enough, I didn't expect you to have even learned hacky. If that's the case, I can no longer treat you as a common swordsman. Advertisement. 80. Dasbonis looked solemn, ready to fight. Destroying crack. MR1 strikes again. Between waving. The terrifying sharpness attacked Urza. Urza dodges and dodges. A few strands of crimson hair fell down. And that's all. Drink. Urza snorted softly. Concentrate fully on the hacky trigger. Because I haven't fully mastered the use of hacky, the black lacquer on Urza's sword appears and disappears from time to time. Although it can only cut through enemies when hacky is attached. But this is already a big crisis for MR1. If things go on like this, even scraping can kill it. Realizing this, Dasbonis immediately decided to make a quick decision. Spiral slash. Darth Bonus unleashes his strongest moves. The arms turned into overlapping blades, spinning wildly like an electric drill. The sudden onslaught did suppress Urza for a time. But, quickly, Urza adapted to his offensive and gradually regained the situation. Utilize the oppressive feeling brought by Daz Bonus to further sharpen and upgrade your own hacky. It's over. On the fairy tale, Suyu spoke lightly. Let's continue our conversation, Marianne, do you want to join fairy tale? Advertisement. 80. Chapter 33. G. Lockdahl was scared and wanted to run away. Advertisement. 80. Desert Battlefield. The fierce battle between Urza and MR1 Dasbonis lasted for 10 minutes. After paying the price of several strands of hair and partial damage to the armor, Urza finally struck the winning blow. The long sword rendered completely black by armament hacky slashed down with lightning speed. Who? The bright red blood rose more than one meter high. Dasbornis fell to his knees weakly. As expected of the fairy queen, I underestimated you. Snapped. The last bar lock advanced agent darts bonus, lost. Oh, 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 Urza 1 Urza is really amazing. Nami, the audience outside the stadium, did not hesitate to praise and cheer. You actually defeated the enemy with a simple sword, as expected of Urza. Juvia was also full of praise. No, I'm still far away, the so-called hacky power in this world, there are still many mysteries worthy of my discovery. Urza, who has felt the power of hacky, is full of longing. If only one day, she is able to skillfully combine hacky with the armor of the sky wheel. Dozens of hundreds of armed magic black swords have been created. That must have been a very spectacular picture. Certainly. Now she is still far from that realm. The road still needs to be walked step by step. Fairy tale. Win, Miss Urza won, it's really great. Now, the advanced agents are almost wiped out. Vivi screamed excitedly. For this result. Advertisement. 80. The expressions on the faces of Suyu and Mirajan didn't change much. Because I knew it from the beginning. Now, Suyu's gaze fell on quiet lowly across from her. Marion, what are you thinking now? Do you want to join us in fairy tale? Suyu asked with a smile. Recruiting Miss here for Golden Week is just Suyu's whim. First of all, the well-behaved, quiet, and laid-back little lowly is really attractive. Secondly, Suyu remembered that Miss Golden Week is not demon fruit power. Her means of manipulating emotions through paint is a superpower unique to her birth. She is a rare natural superpower in this world, and she is very cherished. Finally, there is the character of Miss Golden Week, although it went astray for a while. But she cherishes her companions no less than everyone in fairy tale. For the sake of mystical purpose, Barlock's agents had little contact with each other. As for the identity of the boss Lock doll, it was only known at the last moment. However, even such a partner, after Miss Golden Week learned that they had been arrested, she still did not hesitate to risk herself and embarked on the journey of saving people without hesitation. This quality of cherishing partners is qualified to join fairy tale. Huh. For the solicitation from Suyu, Miss Golden Week is still a leisurely look. She breathed lightly and drank the green tea in the cup in one gulp. Thanks for the hospitality. Miss Jinjo Deo thanked her, but still did not reply. It is precisely because she values her comrades that she will not join the enemy's camp now that her comrades are defeated. By the way, this is what Missile Sunday asked me to pass on to you, and our boss will come here in person today. Nanny? Boss? Is that clock D.A.R.? Advertisement. 80. Vivi was taken aback immediately. That's it. Let's settle this matter first. Suyu stood up. Look southeast. He doesn't have observation hacky though, but dragon slaying magic also comes with powerful perception. He has already noticed the peepers in the dark. Not just locked all, but another voyeur as well. It's all here, and you're still hiding, are you a sewer rat? So you teased. Between raising hands, there was a thunderstorm. Boom, the terrifying thunder blasted away a huge weathered rock mountain. Next time, I won't hit it crookedly. So you said lightly, go ha 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 ha, the wind and sand are flying. Hiding in the dark, Shishibu Kaiji locked all finally shows up. He also held a dry corpse in his hand. That was MR3 who sneaked away with the help of the Wax Museum move. Go ha ha ha, being able to defeat our agency's advanced agents with an almost overwhelming advantage, I have to admit, fairy tale, you really have two tricks. Shishibu Kai Graham locked all smiled calmly. On the surface, he is as stable as an old dog, but in fact, his heart has long been filled with turbulent waves. 
From the beginning, the beginning of the encounter between Agent Advanced and Fairy Tail, he is already lurking here. So, he also witnessed the scene where Suyu sent MR4 flying into the sky with a lightning punch. Peek into Madara and see the panther. Advertisement. AD. Only this blow. Enough for Clock Headar to play Suyu in the most dangerous category. Even. From Suyu's body. K. Lockdahl gave birth to the feeling when he faced the top players in New World. Not just Suyu, the rest of Fairy Tail isn't average either. Urza, the Fairy Queen, obviously has other powerful means. However, he defeated his most powerful subordinate with the simplest sword skill. That last armed sword was enough to threaten Logia's her. Except Urza. It was Juvia who was even more shocking and alarming to Locke. In K. Lockdahl's view, Juvia is simply a Logia fruit capable person. As a person with abilities, he can control the water element that those with abilities fear most. This is simply cheating. Ability users are already at a disadvantage when facing water. For sand restrained by water, it is simply double attribute restraint. To be honest, after witnessing the overwhelming power of Fairy Tail, Lockdahl didn't want to show up. He was even ready to pack his bags and run away in the rain. However, without waiting for him to retreat, Suyu's thunder just landed and blasted him out. As a Shishibukai, wouldn't it be embarrassing to run away without even showing your face? This is how the picture is now. Only, if K. Lockdahl knew the price he had to pay for this face, he would definitely wish to give the face-loving self two big comparisons. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 34 Start the War? Suyu's G. Lockdahl? Advertisement. AD. Clock Kedar, are you messing with everything? You are the behind-the-scenes boss of the Lockwork Agency. For so many years, you have been lurking in Alabasta, playing the so-called hero. What do you want to do? What is your purpose? Vivi's angry roar echoed under the sky. Go ha ha ha, don't be so excited, Miss Wednesday, or you should be called Alabasta Princess Vivi. She should be Kaiji Lockdahl spoke unhurriedly. As a member of the Bar Lockwork Association, you should be very clear about the goals, but it doesn't make much sense to talk about it now. Lockdahl changed the subject. Princess Vivi, you have really found a group of powerful helpers. I have been planning for several years, but because of you, it is almost completely bankrupt. Since you know how powerful we are, why don't you hurry up and surrender? Maybe you can save your life. Nami yelled and threatened. Who do you think I am? Leozi is Shishibukai. Since you know my secret, I can only kill you all here, and none of you can leave alive. Lockdahl paused every word, and opened his mouth coldly. Even though there was a lot of panic in his heart, his momentum was not weak. Only the mouth is hard in the whole body. Shishibukai, let me show you what you can do. Urza has no fear of Klokadar's intimidation, and she is full of fighting spirit. Wait, Urza. With a flash of lightning, Suyu came to Ersha and patted her on the shoulder. Everyone has worked hard, let's go back to the boat and rest for a while, and leave the final finishing work to me. Suyu smiled. Yes, President. Juvia obediently agreed. President, you must beat that guy to the ground. Nami waved a small powder fist. Then leave it to the President. Advertisement. AD. Ursa also restrained her fighting spirit. Suyu turned around and looked at K-Lock D.A.R. on the weathered rock. Okay, let's stop talking nonsense to each other, let's make a break. Suyu said lightly. The voice had not yet reached Clock Doll's ears. His figure has already come close to K-Lock D.A.R. For Suyu's sudden flash of lightning, K. Lockdahl was also taken aback, but his reaction speed was not slow. He raised his hand and shot out a sharp desert sword. Boom, huge pieces of weathered rock were cut in two. Suyu was also cut across the board. It's just and there is no blood. What K. Lockdahl's desert sword cut off was only the afterimage of the electric light. Desert Vajra Saber. The hands and arms of K. Lockdahl turned into four sand swords. As the figure rotated, he attacked indiscriminately in all directions. Although it is a blade formed of sand, but its sharpness is not inferior to the famous sword. Enough to easily unfold a solid rock wall. Next second. Boom, the dull sound like the beating of war drums exploded. The bright gold lightning suddenly exploded. The k lock D.A.R. Desert Diamond Sword collided with Soyuz Thunder Fist. The terrifying force caused the weathered rocks around the two of them to collapse one after another. Just a moment of stalemate. The Desert Diamond Sword broke a huge gap. Advertisement. 80. Under the incomparable power of the Thunder Fist, k lock D.A.R. flew upside down. Finally, he stood again on the weathered rock mountain 100 meters away. Chi-Chi, his body surface has electric light looming. The body fell into a state of paralysis. But soon, the remaining electricity in its body is guided into the ground as much as possible. Come on, go ahead, let me enjoy a little longer. Suyu flicked his right hand lightly. The powerful electric current intertwined with the growth gun, piercing through the void, and in an instant it came to K. Lakadar and exploded it. As the wind and sand flew, Clock Doll's figure reunited, his face as black as the bottom of a pot, extremely gloomy and unsightly. Heavy Shalin. K. Lakadar roared angrily, and waved a salamander roll. The tornado of Shasha rose against the wind, and it didn't take long for it to turn into a tornado like a natural disaster, crazily destroying everything around it. One piece after another, huge pieces of weathered rock were crushed by the tornado, and then absorbed. Accelerated by the gust of wind, it becomes a weapon more terrifying than bullets. If an ordinary flesh and blood body is involved, it is bound to be torn to pieces by the strong wind and gravel in an instant. As expected of a Shishibukai, there are indeed two brushes. Urza said solemnly, but for the president, it's all trivial. An attack of this level can't even touch the president's clothes Kakuzo. An attack that can't be touched is useless no matter how strong it is. Nami said relaxed and freehand. However, the next second, something happened that she didn't expect. She just said that Lockdahl's attack could not touch Suyu. With his back foot, Suyu took the initiative to rush into the opponent's desert. How did this happen, President Suyu? Advertisement. 80. Vivi's beautiful eyes widened, and panic appeared on her pretty face. Don't worry, Vivi, that's the president. Mirajan smiled. She has absolute trust in Suyu. Since Suyu dared to rush in, it meant he was absolutely sure. That's exactly what happened. It has been nearly four months since I came to Pirate World. Shishibukai level K lock DAR was the first qualified opponent Suyu encountered. Suyu, who has never fought seriously, wants to enjoy this fight to the fullest. This moment, in the terrifying heavy Shalin, Suyu stood in the air calmly, 
The gravel accelerated by the centrifugal force of the tornado tore his clothes, but it couldn't cause the slightest damage to Suyu's body. The bright gold lightning swam around Suyu's body, like armor turned into thunder and lightning. With Suyu's mind moving, gold's lightning suddenly expanded and defeated Shayin's tornado forcefully. Suyu is like the god of thunder and lightning, lightning flashes from all directions around him. It raged in all directions, triggering a series of terrifying explosions. For a long time, the shaking subsided. The smoke cleared. Suyu and K Lok Dar were standing on the rocky mountain, wanting to look at each other. Call. K Lok Dal took a deep breath, forcing himself to suppress the palpitations in his heart. That's about it. G. Lok Dar Dal. I'm Shat, your thunder. We can't tell the winner based on our abilities. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 35th. The Mystery of Dragon Slayer Singing the Thunder. Advertisement. AD. Let's stop here. It's futile to continue fighting. With our abilities, we can't tell the winner. Lok Dal pretended to be calm, and spoke in a deep voice. Want to come in K Lok Dar? He has shown his strong side. The other party should also be able to feel that he is not easy to mess with, and he has already given the step. It is the best ending to just end the struggle and point to each other. However, contrary to Lockdahl's expectations, for the steps he gave, so you didn't mean to go down at all. Are you so scared that you want to run away? I haven't even finished warming up yet. Su Yu's teasing opening directly exposed K Lock's disguise. What did you say? Lock Dalton was furious when his ideas were debunked. Don't forget, this is the desert, and it's my home field. In the terrain of the desert, as Lokia sends sand fruit, I am invincible, and I am the king of the desert. Lock Dart Hell said in a restrained and intimidating way. Since you are so confident, don't talk nonsense anymore, just let me see the gold content of the so-called king of the desert. Su Yu didn't like anything, so he made up his mind to compete with him. Since you insist on this, then don't be later. Lock Dahl's harsh words have not yet finished. Next second, the pupils of his eyes constricted. Suyu, who was locked in his line of sight, has disappeared without a trace. What followed was an unprecedented death threat. It was as if a giant dragon was watching him, looking down on him. It's really annoying to be long-winded. Suyu's faint voice suddenly exploded like thunder. Advertisement. AD. K. Lok Dahl looked up suddenly. The fist that was brighter than the sun kept enlarging in his pupils. Thunder dragon's collapsing fist. Ang. There seems to be a giant dragon roaring between the sky and the earth. Boom. Rumble. The roar of the sky collapsing followed closely behind. Previously, Suyu said that he was still in the warm-up stage was not a lie. Clock Kedar thought he had found out the details of Suyu's lightning ability. As everyone knows, until now, what Suyu used was only the most basic elemental magic of thunder and lightning. This blow is the real Thunder Dragon Slayer magic. Compared with Common's lightning magic, its destructive power is several times more powerful. My god, is this the true strength of the president? Looking at the weathered rock area that was almost flattened by Suyu's punch, Nami was so shocked that he couldn't add it. President Suyu, you are really amazing. Vivi flushed with excitement. The president made a move, and he was able to catch it with his hands. I'm afraid that arrogant guy has been beaten to the ground. Juvia laughed. No, not yet. Urza's eyes were fixed, and she saw the wind and sand gradually gathering in the corner of the battlefield. Cough, cough, cough. A painful cough sounded. The flying sand condenses into shape. Shishibu Kai K locked all half knelt on the ground, opening his mouth to spit out a mouthful of blood with an electric arc. Advertisement. 80. He thought he had almost figured out the details of Suyu. The opponent's thundering ability may be stronger than his own in terms of performance. But relying on the desert's home field advantage, he would never lose. However, after witnessing Su Yu's berserk attack earlier, Lok Dahl knew he was wrong, dead wrong. He is still far from touching the bottom of this man. What's the matter? Crocodile, isn't this going to work? Su Yu said lightly sarcastically. Could it be that I'm only at your limit with just a little shot? The so-called Shishibukai, after all, is nothing more than this level. Snort. K Lok Dahl snorted coldly. Su Yu's ridicule and ridicule aroused his inner anger. He didn't know how many years, but someone dared to underestimate him so much. Especially the other party is still a rookie kid who just joined the Grand Line. This is simply a shame and humiliation for K Lok Dahl. If your purpose is to piss me off completely, then congratulations, you succeeded, and then I will show you the real hell. K Lok Dahl opened his mouth faintly. Oh, then I really want to see, your so-called scene of hell. With his hands behind his back, Su Yu waited quietly on the rocky mountain, giving Zucker Lok Dahl time to launch his ultimate move. You won't be able to laugh right away. G Lok Dahl clenched his teeth. His big hands slammed to the ground. Erosion, reincarnation, Logia sand sand fruit ability, fully open. Under the image of Clockadar's power, the weathered rock of Fang Yuan's kilometer cracks and decomposes at a speed visible to the naked eye. Advertisement. 80. The time before and after is just a few breaths. All rocks are reduced to gravel. Immediately afterwards, k Lok's body is transformed into sand elements, and it blends with the desert land. Boom, rumble, the desert earth trembled violently. The vast desert land seemed to be resurrected, dancing its huge body wantonly. The desert is like the sea, or in a sense, the desert is also an ocean, a sea of sand. There are waves in the sea, there are sand waves in the desert. The Shushaman Glockadar who ate the ability of Logia sand sand fruit seemed to become the lord of the desert. Under his control, the boundless land of yellow sand created layers of waves. 1 meter, 10 meters, 50 meters, 100 meters. The waves of sand under Clockadar's control rise against the wind. In the end, it turned into a terrifying desert tsunami with a height of 100 meters. The sight is terrifying. Such a huge volume is enough to easily bury a city and destroy an army. At this point, even if you regret it, it's already too late. Get ready to accept the funeral of the Lord of the Desert Sand, Storm, Big, Burial. K. Lok Dahl said coldly, Ho ho, I've never seen this move before. Since you have already shown your last hole card, then I should be a little more serious. Chi Chi, the gold-plated thunder surged out of Suyu's body, boundless, like a sea of thunder and lightning. Dragon Slayer Mystery Ming, you, Thunder. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 36, Dragon Slayer Mystery Defeats Shishibu Kai Sand Crocodile. Advertisement. AD. Then, that, that, what the hell is that? Looking at the cascading and turbulent waves of sand, Nami and Vivi couldn't help being stunned. A sandstorm like a tsunami? This kind of thing is simply unheard of. Vivi's pretty face suddenly turned pale, and her heart throbbed. 
The desert battlefield is indeed a unique environment for those with sand abilities. This attack is indeed a bit tricky. Urza looked a little solemn. Miss Urza, the president, the president's words, there must be no problem. Nami swallowed hard, and asked weakly, no problem. It was Juvia who answered Nami with a firm tone. It's true that the sand-capable user's attack was powerful, but with the president's speed, it's easy to dodge it. Mirajan explained. Fortunately, this is an uninhabited desert area. If there is a city behind the president, then you can't avoid it. You can only defeat it head on. Urza spoke. Huh. After listening to Urza and Mirajan's explanation, Nami and Vivi finally breathed a sigh of relief, letting go of their hanging hearts. However, reality is always unexpected. Burial in the face of K. Lakadar's menacing sandstorm. So you didn't dodge as Urza and Mirajan thought. A real man is to never back down. Whoever gets out of the way first is the dog. Boom, rumble, Suyu is on full power. Thunder's Dragon Slayer magic was pushed to the extreme. The endless bright thunderbolts are like a vast ocean, with great momentum. Become me a dry bone in the desert. Lockdoll roared sharply. The desert tsunami hit Suyu. Advertisement. AD. Suyu neither dodges nor evades. There was neither joy nor sadness on his face. Between waving hands, the sea of thunder boiled. Dragon Slayer Profound Truth Mingyule. Lost magic the mystery of Thunder Dragon Slayer magic exploded for the first time in this pirate world. The ocean-like golden thunder clashed head-on with the majestic desert tsunami. The world paled at this moment. Time and space seem to stand still here. I don't know how long it has been. Maybe just for a moment. Rumble? There was a booming sound like the sky was collapsing. Boom? The most yang, the strongest and the most powerful thunder penetrated the loose desert tsunami. Endless electric snakes roamed among the gravel, attacking everything indiscriminately. The elementalization of Logia ability users is not invincible. Physical attacks can only scatter elements. However, attacks that are also elements can indeed cause damage. Even if K. Lakdal hides his body in the vast sea of sand, it is useless. Because Suyu's Dragon Slayer Profound Truth Thunder is aimed at the entire sand sea. How? Maybe? Ahaha. Ah, ah. Amid the collapsing desert tsunami, a scorched figure screamed and flew upside down, hitting the ground, unable to get up again. Fight, end. Shishibu Kaiji locked all, defeated, Shua. There was a flash of lightning. Suyu returns to Fairy Tail. Pick up the teacup that is still warm, and take a sip. The huge deck was silent at first. Next second. Oh oh oh, I won, the president won. Advertisement. AD. Nami cheered happily. I didn't expect to choose to defeat him head on. The president of our family is really hacky. Urza sighed. This is also a matter of course, because he is the president of our fairy tale. Myra Jane smiled. Meeting. Juvia opened her arms and was about to step forward. At this time, a beautiful figure ran past. She hugged Suyu first. Thank you very much, President Suyu, you saved this country. Vivi spoke gratefully. The red lips left a distinctive mark on Suyu's face. This time, not the intimidation of Whiskey Peak, nor is it to stimulate Juvia's helplessness. Instead, Vivi complied with her heart and took the initiative to offer her thank you kiss. Wow. Seeing Vivi's sudden and bold move, Nami, Urza, and Mirajan couldn't help but look surprised. Next second, the three of them turned their heads in unison, and their eyes fell on Juvia in unison. What are you doing looking at me like that? Juvia smiled slightly, not showing any signs of getting mad. This is also a matter of course, because, according to Juvia, Vivi just kissed Suyu's face, but she already got everything from the president. I even tasted that unforgettable taste. Everything about Suyu is engraved in her body. Compared with Vivi's small fights, the levels of the two parties are completely different. Advertisement. AD. Think here. The sense of superiority in Juvia's heart suddenly arises spontaneously, and naturally she will not be jealous of Vivi anymore. Juvia, you really don't mind. Nami couldn't help asking. It's okay, I'm already an adult. I'm not the same as you little girls. Juvia had an anti like smile on her face. Nami, I always feel that Juvia's words coupled with this expression make people very angry, but she really can't help it. You can't give yourself up completely just to fight for this breath and stand on the same level as Juvia. Just when Nami was thinking wildly. Click, click, the light of the strobe flashed in the air. Ha 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 ha, Sparacy? It's really Sparacy? It's wonderful? It's really a wonderful battle? I believe this will definitely become big news that shakes the world. The loud laughter full of excitement and excitement attracted the attention of Suyu and his party. Urza looked up suddenly. His sharp eyes fixed on the source of the laughter. Is that a bird? Urza couldn't help but froze. Suits and leather shoes, talking birds. Mirajan tilted her head cutely. Nami, Vivi, Juvia, and others also widened their beautiful eyes in amazement. Only Suyu. The moment I saw the birdman in a suit that looked like a bird. He has already recognized the identity of the other party. Although I don't know why he is here. But this is a good opportunity for Fairy Tail to become famous. Flappy, the birdman in the suit flapped his wings in the sky, gliding against the wind, and finally landed steadily on the deck of the Fairy Tail. Ahem, it's my first meeting. Everyone from Fairy Tail, I'm Morgans, the president of World Economic News. Please let me interview you all. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 37 Push Fairy Tail to the World. Advertisement. News King Morgans. Zoan Bird Fruit Albatross Form Ability. He is the president of the best selling world economic newspaper in the world today. Also has the title of one of the four Uranus of the Dark World. It has a pivotal position in the world news industry. As a senior journalist, Morgans has spent his life trying to make big news. Half a month ago, East Blue Coco Yaxi Village incident occurred. Fairy Tail and its president, Suyu, appeared in the newspaper as a dark horse. The first reward is to reach the top 80 million berry. This caught Morgan's attention. Relying on the keen sense of smell of professional journalists, Morgan's decided that the Fairy Tail team was not meant to be mediocre. So, he traveled thousands of miles from the Grand Line to East Blue, wanting to collect information and visit. It turned out to be after East Blue. Only then did Morgan's learn that Fairy Tail had entered the Grand Line. Ever since, he returned to the Grand Line nonstop. Shortly after this, word spread that Alabasta, which had been drought-stricken for two years, had suddenly experienced a torrential downpour covering the country. Morgan's sixth journalistic sense kicks in again. Intuition told him, fairy tale might be in Alabasta. Advertisement. And this rain is also related to them. Ever since, Morgan's was non-stop again. It took two days to get to Alabasta. After some visits and investigations, confirmed the existence of the fairy tale guild, and followed the clues all the way, finally found fairy tale. 
and it was a full-scale confrontation between Fairy Tail and Barlock Agency. For Morgans, this was nothing short of luck. Another voyeur that Suyu sensed with a powerful sense before was none other than Morgans. You are Morgans, the president of World Economic News. The News King in Legendary is actually a birdman. Nami subconsciously opened his mouth in surprise. She has been in the sea for many years, so she is no stranger to the World Economic News. After all, she is not someone like the straw hat who never cares about the news. The newspaper she has read the most over the years is the World Economic News published by Morgans. Now, Nami was unavoidably surprised when the famous newspaper president himself suddenly appeared, and he was also a birdman. Ha ha ha, that's right. It's my honor that someone in fairy tale recognized me. For Nami's birdman title, Morgans didn't care at all, but flattered him. Urza frowned slightly, not feeling too cold about his flattery. So, what are you doing here? Urza asked. To be honest, I have been paying attention to fairy tale since East Blue. Your existence is simply the heroes of the era, and you are destined to become the storm of the sea in the next era. Okay, let's stop here for compliments, just say it. Advertisement. So you interrupted. Ahem, so I'll be blunt, I'm here to witness the birth of Legendary. I want to do a follow-up interview on Legendary's rise. Morgan said seriously. Are you so sure we can go all the way to the end? So you asked back. Well, to be honest, I wasn't sure at first, and I didn't have the idea of an exclusive interview, but after seeing the heroic fighting posture of everyone in Fairy Tale, and seeing the picture of Chairman Suyu defeating Shishibu Kai Lok, I am 100% sure that Fairy Tale will become a legendary. Morgan said firmly, I love to hear that. Suyu grinned. Then President Suyu, do you agree with my interview? Morgaz's eyes lit up. Compared to our exclusive interview, you should have something more urgent to report right now, Suyu said. Yeah, Morgan's echoed it again and again. The defeat of Shishibu Kai Lok DAR is worth reporting, and I noticed that those guys seem to be agents of the Lok Agency. Is there a connection between Lok and Lok DAR? And the lady over here. Morgan's eyes fell on Vivi. If I'm not mistaken, you should be Vivi Princess of Alabasta, Princess, Fairy Tale, Bar Lok, Shishibu Kai. There was a story in Morgan's mind that gradually connected. However, specific details need to be added. Suyu glanced at Mirajan. Mirajan understood immediately. Fairy Tale has been established so far, but it has been less than four months. Few people in the world know about the nature of the Fairy Tale Guild. Only a few people in East Blue who have been helped know. Advertisement. AD. That's why. They have been looking for commissions to pick them up all the way. This is putting the cart before the horse. In the world of Fairy Tale. In the case of Common, the entrusting party initiates the entrustment to the guild. Then it is up to the wizards of the guild to choose whether to pick it up. In the final analysis, it is still a matter of popularity. Certainly. Speaking of popularity, Fairy Tale still has some. For example, Suyu, who offered a reward of up to 80 million for the first time. But this popularity is negative. The team whose president is rewarded by Marine, in most people's perception, is not much different from the general pirate group. Now, the appearance of News King Morgans is an opportunity. An opportunity to truly introduce the fairy tale guild to the world. You can imagine. When the Alabasta incident came to light, the whole world is bound to shake. And defeating Shishibukai, saving Alabasta's fairy tale will also completely reverse the reputation. At that time, there will be an endless stream of commissions from all parties. That time, what Suyu should worry about is not not being able to receive the commission. It's about worrying about entrusting too many things that can't be done. After all, in this pirate world, there are too many people in hell. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 38 Fairy Tale is Famous in the Sea. Advertisement. AD. Nanny? Shishibu Kai K. Lock DAR is the source of the civil strife in Alabasta? How ambitious is he to want to usurp Alabasta? Sure enough, the behind-the-scenes boss of the Barlock work agency is K. Lock Dahl. I have long suspected that there are not many people who can lead such an organization in the first half of this period. Princess Vivi, you are a daughter of gold, and you have been an undercover agent in the Lock work agency for the country for a year? What an amazing princess. Please be sure to accept my exclusive interview. Ha ha ha, of course, Princess Vivi, don't worry, everyone in Fairy Tale is the core of this incident report, and I'm quite sure about this. The News King Morgans had an enthusiastic conversation with Vivi. With his status as the King of Darkness, there is no need to be too polite to the princess of a country. Being so enthusiastic at the moment is naturally related to Fairy Tale. After all, there will be frequent contacts in the future, and Morgans wants to make a good impression as much as possible. Morgans' interviews and interviews on the Alabasta incident lasted for a full hour. Then, Chairman Suyu, everyone from Fairy Tale, and Princess Vivi, this interview is over for the time being. I'll go back and sort out the materials first, and try to finish the report before the evening. Morgans bid farewell. Before leaving, he pulls out his camera. To Shishibukai who was seriously injured and fell to the ground, Lok Dahl snapped his face and took continuous shots. After ensuring that there are satisfactory photos, I laughed and rode the wind. What an enthusiastic president. Mirajan complimented. Hee <laughs> hee. Suyu chuckled. Others don't know, but Suyu, who is a time traveler, is well aware of the nature of this Birdman News King. For the sake of big news, it is commonplace to make up random stories. But, as long as he doesn't discredit Fairy Tale, Suyu doesn't mind working with him. Also, interview with Morgans on the rise of Fairy Tale. Suyu was also slightly interested. Speaking of which, President, what should we do with those people below? Asked Nami. Advertisement. AD. Let's leave this issue to Vivi to decide. Suyu looked at Vivi. I already contacted Kosha an hour ago, and my father also contacted Marine. Let these guys spend the rest of their lives in prison to repent. Vivi said, If it were Suyu who made the decision, I am afraid that the heads of the culprits who have troubled the country will be cut off now. But, since this is the client's decision, then Suyu has nothing to say. Just do it. Not long. The sand dunes in the direction of Yuba are flying with dust. The capable soldiers headed by Koza arrived on horseback. Vivi, you called me over so urgently, what's the matter? Kosha didn't delay, and hurried forward to inquire, without waiting for Vivi to speak. Oh oh, Kosha, look, this, this guy is K. Lockdale. K. Lockdale? Shishibu Kai Graham Lockdale is defeated, and these guys seem to be agents of the criminal organization Bar Lockwork Agency. They were all monsters that were offered bounties, but they were all killed. The people in the same group screamed again and again. Nanny, Kosa's eyes widened in shock. That's right, it's the fairy tale folks who defeated Clock Kedar and Barlock Works. 
Vivi proudly explained the ins and outs of everything to Koshaw and others. Negotiations yesterday. Speaking of fairy tale. Advertisement. 80. Koshaw and the others didn't say anything on the surface, but Vivi can feel it. In fact, they still hold a skeptical attitude in their hearts. But now, Vivi can tell them upright. Fairy tale is the hero who saved Alabasta? Hear all that Vivi has to say. Unprecedented huge shock occupied the whole body and mind of Koshaw and others. It turns out, it turns out that everything was done by k -Lock. However, we blame all the crimes on His Excellency the King. Damn clock D.A.R. Tears of regret and anger welled up in people's eyes. I really really appreciate it. Fairy tale folks, I apologize for my rudeness yesterday. You are well-deserved heroes. Kausha solemnly bowed to thank him. Do not mind. So you waved his hand calmly. Okay, the things that should be explained have been explained clearly, and I will leave it to Kosha and the others here, and we will set off back to Albina. Father and the others should already be preparing for the dinner party. Vivi smiled. Then let's go. So you nodded. Gravity magic is activated. Fairy tale sails again. The goal is the capital Albina. Hours later, the sun was setting. A magnificent city appeared in the sight of Suyu and others. The capital of Albina has arrived. At the same time, World Economic News Hot Air Balloon Headquarters and Major Distribution. Advertisement. AD. Thousands of printers are firing on all cylinders. Tens of thousands of newsbirds are ready to go. 6 p.m. World Economic Evening News, Alabasta Event Special, released. Numerous newsbirds flap their wings and bring news to all parts of the world. The sea shakes at this moment? Nanny? Shishibukai Usurper Incident. Shishibukai G. Lock DAR actually want to usurp Alabasta. By the way, isn't Shishibukai a member of the government? Why do you want to treat the member countries? Hey, hey, I care more about fairy tale than Shishibukai. I have an impression of this organization. Not long ago, their captain was offered a reward of 80 million. Isn't this fairy tale a pirate? Why did he become a national hero? Wrong, wrong, big mistake. Fairy tale is not some pirate group. Accept the entrustment, solve problems, I will help you if you have difficulties, so that's how it is. This is the fairy tale guild, I want to entrust them to have a look. All over the world, countless people are discussing it constantly. Just as Suyu expected. As soon as the Alabasta incident was reported, the reputation of fairy tale in the hearts of the common people has been reversed. Certainly, there is balance in all things in the world. Fairy tale was able to turn positive because of this incident. Relatively, the marine and world government that indulged Shishibukai will become the target of criticism. The disclosure of Shishibukai's usurping the country is destined to be a heavy blow to the prestige of marine and the government. It's just that this has nothing to do with Suyu. If you do something wrong, you must admit it, and if you are beaten, you must stand at attention. Suyu is not the father of marine and the government, so there is no need to think about them. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 39 Five Elders Meeting. Recruit Suyu to succeed Shishibukai. Advertisement. 80. The top of the red line. Holy Land, Marie Joyce. This is the center of the world. The world's number one city is located. It is also the residence of the world noble celestial dragons and the base camp of the world government. This moment. Sanctuary Center. The magnificent Pango City Palace. The five elders who represent the highest power in the world on the surface five elders gathered together. All because of the Alabasta incident reported by the World Economic News just now. Damn clock Kedar, damn it for causing us such trouble. Five elders J. Garusha Satan, who had noble curly hair, cursed in a low voice. Only, the reason why he scolded Locke was not because Locke wanted to steal the country and caused Alabasta to suffer. What really angered him was the huge impact the exposure of this incident had on the prestige of the world government. Just less than half an hour after the news was released, they have already received contact from no less than 20 franchise countries. That bastard Morgans doesn't even know what to report and what not to report. Five elders with short gold hair and a gold beard looked ugly. And this guy, five elders, who was bald and scarred, picked up the 80 million reward on the table. Advertisement. 80. Suyu, the president of Fairy Tale, this is the second time that Marine and our government have been disgraced, and they themselves have become famous for it. What kind of Fairy Tale Guild? This sea is the sea of our world government. Anyone who goes out to sea without permission is fine if they don't cause trouble. Once they make trouble, they are enemies and pirates. Holding a lifelong sword and wearing a white training suit, the swordsman five elders said decisively, the top priority now is Shishibukai's affairs. We must appoint Klokadar's successor as soon as possible. The embankment of a thousand miles collapsed in an ant's nest. Once the balance of the three major forces collapses, it will definitely bring a huge direct impact to the world. White hair and white beard five elders spoke solemnly. The other four five elders also nodded one after another. After a moment of silence, although I am very upset with this guy who made us lose face twice, but in this situation, it should be the best solution to let this guy who defeated K. Lokdal take over as Shishibukai. Five elders J. Garusha Satan San offers his opinion. That's true. Although this so-called fairy tale team is just a rookie team, its strength is not bad. In addition, through this incident, it also has a certain reputation. Letting him serve as Shishibukai can save face to a certain extent. Bald Scar Five Elders chimed in. It's true to say so, but just after this happened, he was invited to become Shishibukai again. Where is the face of our government? The blonde and bearded Five Elders shook his head. Now is not the time to care about these things. The top priority is to properly handle the follow-up issues. Since these guys want to be the heroes of the people, why not give them this chance? White hair and white beard Five Elders said. If they don't know good and bad, we have to let them know who is the master of the sea. Swordsman Five Elders sneered again and again. Naval Headquarters, Marine Ford. The headquarters building is brightly lit. Marshal's office. That bastard K. Lakadar, who has been pretending to be safe all these years, is actually doing this behind his back. Advertisement. 80. Marine Admiral Sengoku gritted his teeth. His face turned extremely ugly. Unlike the five elders, Marshal Sengoku is genuinely angry at K. Lakadar's kleptocracy. In contrast, Marine's loss of face and prestige is secondary. At the same time, Marshal Sengoku couldn't find anything wrong with Fairy Tail's actions this time. After all, the situation this time is completely different from that of East Blue, the previous East Blue event. 
Sengoku is unaware of Colonel Mouse's evil deeds. Just because Suyu brutally destroyed a marine base and killed marine's righteous colleagues, the decision to offer a reward was made. It was too late to know afterwards, and it was irreversible. This time the Alabasta event. Everything has been clearly presented. Even the end result also damaged Marine's prestige. Marshal Sengoku doesn't think there is anything wrong with Fairy Tail. At the same time, he also realized more deeply the mistake of his arbitrary behavior last time. Fortunately, now, there may be room for redemption. Tap. Vice Admiral Crane, the vigorous Marine Chief Staff Officer, came. Sengoku, Alabasta's side, Hina has already gone to contact them first. In addition, Jun and the others are not far from Alabasta. I have notified her to recruit Fairy Tail as our Marine representative. Vice Admiral Crane reports. Well, I don't worry about your work. Marshal Sengoku nodded. After a while. Advertisement. AD. Anything else? Seeing Vice Admiral Crane still looking at him, Sengoku couldn't help asking. Sengoku, Clock DAR might not be the first about the Shishibukai stealing. Vice Admiral said quietly. Of course I know this kind of thing, Zayahi. Marshal Sengoku sighed. He is very clear about the meaning of Vice Admiral's Crane words. In present day Shishibukai, a king also exists. It's just that eight years have passed. It's been too long. Besides, we Marine have no right to investigate whether it's the Shishibukai regulations or the world government regulations. Not to mention, that guy has some kind of connection with the government. Marshal Sengoku shook his head helplessly. He would certainly like to do something, if he could. After all, the death of his only son was also related to that man. Although we can't do anything from our standpoint, maybe we can entrust it to others. Vice Admiral has something to say. Zayahi, do you want to? New World. Are you kidding? What the hell does this guy mean? The land of love and passion and toys. The Rice Rosa Capital, Royal Palace. King Doflamingo brows up, furious. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 40 Big Shots. Ace entrusts the crusade against the four emperors Kaido. Advertisement. 80. The Rice Rosa. The two-story Highland Palace. Nah, what's the matter? Dover, nah, what happened? Why are you angry? Nah, nah nah blamed Torapol with a disgusting snot all over his body, so nah nah nah. King Doflamingo of the Kingdom of Shishibukai and Arise Rosa did not speak again. It's just that his face was gloomy as if water was dripping out, and the veins on his forehead were even more swollen. Express his inner anger and dissatisfaction. Just a few minutes ago, look at the things reported in the World Economic News about the failure of Clock DAR to steal the country. Doflamingo is still cheerful and has become a fun person. Commenting on K. Lakadar's plan, full of superiority. As Shishibukai, the two of them have a lot in common. One of the biggest points is that they all once stole the country. It's just that Clock Doll's plan to steal the country for many years failed. And he succeeded in stealing the country as early as eight years ago. All these years of mixing is called a wind and water. Originally, Doflamingo was just having fun with the Alabasta incident. Until I saw the last page of the newspaper, Morgans interviewed Suyu, the president of Fairy Tale. If you have similar distress, people whose country is oppressed by pirates or Shishibukai, please feel free to initiate a request to us, Cape Tianya, the mission will be accomplished. In the eyes of ordinary people, this is just a very common advertisement. But the speaker has no intention, but the listener does. The more Doflamingo read this sentence, the more glaring he felt. His intuition told him that what Suyu said seemed to be provoking and shouting at him. Because he has a guilty conscience. Advertisement. AD. The king's position is indeed not right. Hey, Dover, this shouldn't have any special meaning. Torrey Port Road. Maybe, it's just fairy tale. If you really dare to come here to make troubles, they will definitely let them come and go. Don't confuse me with a piece of trash like K-Lock. Doflamingo sneered sinisterly. Sphinx. The Whitebeard Pirates. Everyone, the nickname is the nickname, the fairy tale not long ago, this time has another big event. Sage, the captain of the fourth team, waved the newspaper in his hand and said in surprise, Hey, you're making trouble again in such a short period of time? What a problematic team. First team captain Phoenix Marco said casually, Marco, what they did is not a bad thing. Sachi corrected. Oh so what did they do? Fifth division captain Foil Vista asked curiously. Clock Kedar, they smashed Shishibukai Clock Kedar's plot to steal the country this time and save the country. Sachi shared the newspaper in his hand with a group of partners. Nanny, it's queer lock. This is really, being beaten so badly. That queer lock, I remember challenging daddy before. Ever since I failed to challenge my father, there has been almost no news about that guy. I didn't expect. But to be able to make that clock doll look like this, the president of fairy tale is not ordinary. Advertisement. 80. The captains of the Whitebeard Pirates couldn't help but be amazed. The fairy tale guild, accepts commissions, does everything. If I entrust them to fight Kaido together, I wonder if it will work. Huokun Ace, the captain of the second division, said thoughtfully. Entrust fairy tale to defeat Kaido? It's better to avoid it. Ace, first of all, do you have money? The commission to defeat the four emperors is not a small amount. The captain of the third team, Diamond Jaws, said. Ace fumbled all over his pockets, but didn't find a single coin, and finally just grinned in embarrassment. Even if the entrustment is really made, the other party may not accept it. After all, the target to be crusade is the four emperors Kaido, and the likes of K-Lock are almost the same. Yai Zhang, the captain of the 16th division, shook his head. Besides, even if the other party really took over our commission, in the end, it's just going to Wanakuni to give away the head. Captain Ace, listen to dad, continue to wait for the opportunity, don't rush for success. Blackbeard teach persuaded. Ah ha ha ha, that's right. The island of ghosts in Wanakuni. The base camp of the hundred beasts. Hmm, fairy tale, do these innocent guys want to be heroes? The four emperors Kaido of the beasts gulped their booze and got drunk. Boom, wine red's wine gourd shattered with a bang. Heroes, don't laugh your ass off, you little brats, you're just playing house games. The so-called heroes don't end well in the end, oh, a little bit. Red Force, four emperors red hair pirates. Ah ha 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 ha, fairy tale, what an amazing team. Advertisement, 80, four emperors red haired shanks laughed. Shanks, I have a hunch that their appearance may change the existing world pattern. Ben Beckman, the deputy captain of the Red Mission, said sullenly. Well, don't think so much now, drink and drink first. Boss, Baker, here's to the rescue of Alabasta. Oh, Sabayati Islands. 13th Red Tree. Shucky's ripped off bar. Fairy tale, what an interesting team. 
What do you think, old Ray? Over half a century old, Chucky, the proprietress who still has charm, spits out smoke rings. Well, what a team full of youth and vitality, Chairman Suyu, what an enviable man. The big pirate in Legendary, once the right hand of One Piece, Pluton Rayleigh said enviously. Old Lay, have you committed the same old problem again? Ah ha ha ha, just kidding, just kidding. The handsome pirates. Captain, Fairy Tail from East Blue has made another big event this time and stole the limelight. The deputy captain of the Junmi Regiment raised his eyebrows. It doesn't matter, my 200 million bounty is beyond their reach. I am still the brightest heart in the sea this year. More importantly, in terms of beauty, he is absolutely inferior to me. The captain of the handsome regiment, White Horse Cavendish shook his hair with a narcissistic expression. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 41 Fairy Tail Upgrade? Magic Cluster Cannon Jupiter. Advertisement. Under the full promotion of the News King Morgans, the events of Fairy Tail and Alabasta continue to ferment. This moment. Standing at the center of the world's hot topic is Suyu and his party, accepting the highest banquet courtesy of the royal family of Alabasta. President Suyu, I, Alabasta, will never forget this great kindness. On behalf of all the people of Alabasta, I would like to respect President Suyu. King Cobra said sullenly. King Cobra, you are being polite. Now that you have accepted Vivi's commission, you must go all out. Suyu raised his glass. Chairman Suyu is really young and promising, let me toast to you again. King Cobra raised his glass again. Okay, dad, don't you drink a lot on weekdays? Don't force yourself. Besides, when it comes to drinking, even a hundred dads can't compare to the president. Vivi blocked the way. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Vivi, is your dad such a bad drinker? Don't look at me, your dad was also a big drinker when he was young. Cobra, who was underestimated by his daughter, suddenly looked unconvinced. It's not that dad's drinking capacity is poor, but that the president is really too strong. Vivi said seriously, then I will too. The jackal Giaka, who is quite confident in drinking, took the initiative to join. And I, Falcon's Bell also volunteered. By the way, Captain Ikaram, aren't you together? Bell looked to Ikaram. No, no, I'll drink it myself. Ikaram waved his hands again and again. Joke. He had seen Suyu drinking in Whiskey Peak. Advertisement. Fighting wine with Suyu, isn't it looking for abuse? Then let's go, the three of us. With the support of the strongest warriors from the two kingdoms, Cobra was immediately full of confidence. Immediately challenged Suyu to fight wine. For the door-to-door -door challenge, Suyu had absolutely no reason to refuse, and immediately agreed. And, just an hour later, King Cobra, Bell the Falcon, and Jocker the Jackal all rushed to the street. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, what a worrying father, I have already said it. Vivi waved his hands helplessly. Vivi, you are a good daughter of my father and a good princess of the kingdom. I have really worked hard on you so far. This time Alabasta can. The drunken Cobra was talking in his sleep to himself. What are you talking about? I am the princess of the country, this is what I should do. Vivi smiled. But, Dad also hopes that you can live a carefree life like a common girl, enjoy the journey of life, and do what you like. However, finding a boyfriend is a bit too early for you, Vivi. If you can, try to wait until you are an adult. Of course, if you really like Vivi, Dad will not stop. King Cobra, who was sleeping, shook out all the thoughts in his heart. Wow, ah. Vivi blushed immediately, and hurriedly ordered Ikaram to take the nonsense old father back to the room to rest. Drink and eat. Under the leadership of Vivi, the fairy tale girls came to the big bathing pool of the palace, soaking up the hot water beautifully. The girls of Yingying and Yinyan are playing with each other, full of vitality and spring. By contrast, the men's bath next door is going to be much colder, and only Suyu can enjoy it. Being alone also has the benefits of being alone, at least it is quiet enough. Just when Suyu was thinking so, suddenly, he only felt a strange feeling coming from somewhere in his body. Advertisement. To be completely enveloped by something warm. At the same time, the girl's bath next door. Hey, where's Juvia? Where's Juvia? This is Nami's voice. Really, why did Juvia suddenly disappear? Vivi asked suspiciously. Hmm. Mirajan covered her mouth and smiled lightly. If you want to find Juvia, Urza jumped up. Skip the block in the men's and women's baths. Go straight to the bath next door. Pull out Juvia who was hiding under the water. Hey, Juvia, why are you on the president's side? Nami asked in surprise. Cough cough. Juvia seemed to be choking, and made a swallowing motion. That's it. I think the water temperature at the president's side is more comfortable, so I came here. Juvia was talking nonsense. Is that so? Vivi is suspicious. Obviously both sides use the same hot water. If that's the case, then I'll try it too. Mirajan smiled slightly, and joined in generously without even wearing a bath towel. It's troublesome to change back and forth, and I'll soak it up here too. Urza nodded. Nami, Vivi, do everyone in fairy tale even take a bath together? The two indigenous girls looked at each other, and after a while they both nodded, making up their minds. Advertisement. 80. Then, let's go to. Poof. Poof. The noise escalated. Yeah yeah yeah. Suyu shook his head helplessly. The rare piece was gone. The next day, early in the morning, Suyu moved away the little white feet that were resting on her body. Without disturbing the sleeping girls, Suyu got up quietly and came to the square in front of the palace. Fairy tail stands quietly. Compared with yesterday, the scale is bigger. At the same time, earth-shaking changes have taken place inside. Last night's banquet, after confirming with Vivi, this Alabasta Time Commission has come to a successful conclusion. And not as Suyu expected. The completion of the mainline commission brought a considerable amount of upgrade points. Guild level plus one again? Upgrade rewards will also be issued immediately. It's just that the upgrade reward this time is not magic, nor is it a new partner call. It's a complete upgrade of fairy tale. First of all, the most intuitive thing is the scale change of the ship. More partners can be accommodated. The second is the increase of the flight function. The flight of fairy tale so far has been achieved by Suyu's gravity magic. But after this upgrade, the fairy tale can fly in the sky by itself without the help of gravity magic. At last, fairy tale has also upgraded and deployed attack methods that were not available before. Magic cluster cannon Jupiter. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 42 New Partner. Vivi and Robin joined fairy tale. Advertisement. 80. Magic cluster cannon. Jupiter. This is a powerful magical weapon in the world of fairy tale. First appeared in the all-out showdown between Spectre and Fairy Tail. 
At that time, Urza, who was an S-level mage, summoned the strongest defense of the Vidra armor, but she could barely block it even after exhausting her magic power, which shows its power, certainly, with the ancient weapon of this world. Compared with Pluton, which claims to be able to shoot an island in one shot, the power of the magic cluster cannon Jupiter is far from enough. Although it is not enough compared to the above, it is also more than the following. Compared with the battleship cannons of this world, Jupiter could almost be described as a dimensionality reduction strike. Even if one day in the future they will be surrounded by fleets, the main force of the guild is also performing tasks outside. Leftovers can also manipulate Jupiter, striking from the air. One cannon and one ship are nothing to worry about. 8 in the morning. Fairy tale girls wake up one after another. Good morning, President. Nami rubbed his sleepy eyes and yawned. By the way, President, is this an illusion caused by my hangover and dizziness? It always feels like our boat has grown bigger. Vivi said uncertainly. This is not an illusion. After we fell asleep last night, the President slightly upgraded the ship. Mirajan blinked playfully. Nanny? Can't tell, the President still has this skill. Nami's beautiful eyes widened. Next second. Advertisement. 80. Whoops. Suyu's big hand made intimate contact with the back of Nami's head. Ha ha ha. Time flies. Another week in a blink of an eye. During this week's rest period, Vivi took Fairy Tail to see the customs and customs of Alabasta. At the same time, because of the news reports, the whole country knew about Fairy Tail saving Alabasta. Every time Suyu and his party go to a city, they will receive the warmest welcome from the people of Alabasta. With a week-long parade of heroes wrapped up, Fairy Tail is ready to set sail. At the same time, Alabasta also has big things happening. 10 o'clock in the morning. Royal capital, Albina. The streets and squares were crowded with people. Crowds are also constantly gathering in major cities in China, which is extremely lively, because the Princess Vivi's aspiration speech ceremony is about to begin. Originally, this was what Vivi had to do when he was 14 years old. But a year ago, in order to investigate the root cause of the country's civil strife, Vivi went undercover to the lock agency. Until now, everything is finally over. To further inspire the nation, King Cobra especially arranged for this ceremony. This moment, under the eager anticipation of the people of the whole country, Princess Vivi stepped on the red carpet and stepped onto the high platform of the square. Advertisement. 80. Looking at the princess on the stage, the people in the audience were all taken aback. These five big and three thick hot-eyed women's rough guys are Princess Vivi? Their Princess Vivi of Alabasta is obviously the cutest girl. No, that's not Princess Vivi. Ah, that's Captain Ikram. Captain Ikram, what are you doing? Captain, you can just dress up as a woman, why do you still have to dress up like a princess? Where is Princess Vivi? Where is the princess? No male princess? No male princess. Looking at the hot-eyed female costume Ikram on the high stage, the whole audience was in chaos, and all kinds of rotten tomato leaves were thrown towards the stage. Ikram, the captain of the king's army guard, didn't care, he just stood on the railing and performed a fan dance to enliven the atmosphere. Next second, everyone, the voice of the princess Vivi spread throughout the country through the phone bug. It all started from that day. I took a little adventure for a while. It was a day of crossing the dark sea and looking for hopelessness. In the dark storm, I met a small boat, which held the helpless my hand says to me. Alabasta East Port, Tamarisk. The fairy tale moored quietly. Deck. Holding the phone bug, Vivi told the whole country about her big adventure. It is the greatest luck in my life to be able to meet everyone in fairy tale. I have gained courage and kindness from everyone. This time I want to pass on this courage and kindness. So please forgive my waywardness, I may have to go out for a while. Hey, do we still have to go after all? Master Vivi. Falcon Bell heaved a sigh of reluctance. Why are you so lost, Bell? Haven't we decided a long time ago? We must support Vivi Sama's choice to the end, and cheer for Vivi Sama's new adventure. Jackal Giaka said. Princess Vivi, what does this mean? All over the kingdom, the people looked at each other in blank dismay. After a moment of sluggishness. Advertisement. 80. Ha ha ha, do you need to say that? Master Vivi is preparing to walk with the heroes. Go and help other people in need. As expected of our princess. Heroes of fairy tale, we must protect our princess. All the people of Alabasta are seething and laughing. Did you hear that? Vivi, everyone is cheering for your new journey. King Cobra wiped his eyes. Bone Voyage, East Harbor, Tamarisk, Southeastern Waters. A large marine warship braved the wind and waves, and approached the fairy tale. Ah, what did I hear earlier? The princess of a country wants to join fairy tale, does the princess want to become a pirate? Wearing an M hat, a floral dress, and a long skirt, the eye-catching young beautiful girl raised her eyebrows in surprise. Peacock sauce, fairy tale is not strictly speaking a pirate group, and Princess Vivi of Alabasta, she is really amazing, she is our idol. The young marine sergeant Skylark said with a full face of admiration, a princess from a country becomes a member of fairy tale. It's really not a trivial matter, but as long as today's negotiation is successful, then there will be no problem at all. Admiral of Headquarters Alternate Momuzagi Jun said in a deep voice, Miss Jun, look over there, someone is approaching fairy tale, that is, Marine Beauty Colonel Hina's eyes widened suddenly, who is that? Peacock, the little granddaughter of Vice Admiral Crane, Marine's Chief Staff Officer, asked quickly, son of the devil. Hina took a deep breath and said the name. Nico Robin. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 43 Robin's Commission. A hundred years of searching for a blank. Advertisement. 80. Gaga. The phone bug hangs up. Princess Vivi's resolution speech is over. Okay, let's go. Vivi raised her small powder fist full of vitality. Before that, Myra, you go get that out. So you said. That. Vivi tilted her head in confusion. Ga. Karu, the super fast running duck who joined Vivi, also followed suit and tilted his head. That's it, this one. Nami showed Vivi the fairy tale logo on his arm. This is the symbol of the guild, and it is also the symbol of our partners. Can I have such a handsome logo too? Vivi's eyes lit up. Of course, Vivi, have you figured out where to print the logo? You can also choose the color freely. Nami reminded. Where is the print? Isn't it unified on the arm? Vivi was taken aback. Of course not. The president and I both have right arms, Urza has left arms, and Juvia and Miss Myra have left thighs. The colors chosen by everyone are also different. Speaking of Vivi, you should you know it right. Nami said, oh oh oh, Vivi reacted. They both bathed in the same pool. Now after Nami reminded, Vivi also remembered. He frowned and thought for a moment. Several options were denied. Ended up being the last one left. 
Then I'll just print it on the back of my hand, and choose beige in color for the color. Vivi makes a decision. Quack quack. Advertisement. 80. Karu, the super fast running duck, waved his wings, signaling to print the logo on his duck wings. Okay, okay, then come one by one. Mirajan walked out with a magic seal. Vivi reached out to the back of her right hand and closed her eyes nervously. I thought the process of getting a tattoo might be a little bit painful, but never thought about it. Just for a moment. The fairy tale logo is the branding complete. In Vivi's dazed effort, Karu's logo is also branded. Congratulations, Vivi. From now on, you are also an official member of Fairy Tale. Nami applauded again and again. Um, facing the sun, Vivi looked at the logo on the back of her hand, and her joy was beyond words. At this time, jingle bell. The service bell rang. Who will come at this time? Nami whispered suspiciously, and activated the magic lifting platform. It doesn't take a moment. Two figures, one big and one small, appeared in the sight of everyone in Fairy Tale. Miss Golden Week and Missile Sunday, what are you doing here? Vivi's eyes widened in surprise. Nami changed the form of the Taurus Star Spirit clothes, and subconsciously protected Vivi behind her. I've heard of the name of Fairy Tale, I'm here to entrust you with a special task this time. Robin smiled slightly. The plain hand waved lightly. A large package on the lift table is delivered above the deck. The moment it was opened, the golden light suddenly shone brightly. Gold and precious stones abound. Wow, Miss Robin, please sit down. Nami suddenly fell, and his eyes were completely blinded by money. He even moved a seat for the big benefactor Robin graciously. Miss Robin, what do you want to entrust us with? Myra Jane asked. Advertisement. A.D. I want to know a piece of history. Robin spoke sullenly. History. Urza raised her eyebrows in surprise. History is the carrier of time. What happened in the distant past is recorded by history, but in the past about 800 years ago, there was a blank history, commonly known as a blank one. A hundred years? I want to know that blank history? This is my commission. Robin spoke quietly. A blank hundred years. Urza, Mirajan, and Juvia all looked at each other in blank dismay. Even Nami and Vivi, who were born and bred in One Piece world, are full of question marks. I just feel that Robin's commission is too abstract and completely incomprehensible. Others don't understand. But Suyu is very clear. Okay, this commission, we accept it. Suyu agreed without hesitation, and immediately changed his style of painting. It's just that the difficulty of this commission is far from enough. Have to? The president is going to start ripping off again? Nami couldn't help but slander in her heart. This time she got it right. Don't take the initiative to show off, talk about business. After all, last time she almost carried 80 more small goals for this. No problem, I will pay back the part that is not enough. The premise is that President Suyu can give me a job opportunity. Robin answered without hesitation. I will also help Sister Robin to work together. Marianne, a leisurely girl with superpowers, agreed. Suyu smiled with a tacit understanding. Both were people he had invited. Naturally, he will not refuse now, for Chairman Suyu's decision. Urza and the others will not have the slightest opinion. Only Vivi had a slightly unnatural expression on his face. After all, both Robin and Marianne were once members of the Barlock Works and participated in Calcutta's plan. Working with former enemies is somewhat difficult. Only, think carefully. Advertisement. 80. She was able to meet everyone in Fairy Tale. Alabasta can now be saved before the worst happens. Robin also contributed a lot. Prince Vivi, although it doesn't do anything, I still want to say sorry to you and Alabasta first. Robin walked up to the dazed Vivi. Sorry. Marion also apologized. It's okay, it's all over, and if it wasn't for Missile Sunday that you concealed the identity of me and Ikram, we wouldn't have been undercover for so long, let alone meet everyone. Vivi quickly waved her hand, expressing that she no longer minds. Of course, generosity is one aspect. It's impossible to say you don't mind at all. Vivi is a kind and understanding girl. I know that both Robin and Marianne were invited by Suyu. She didn't want to embarrass Suyu. Thanks. Robin and Marianne thanked Vivi for his tolerance. Robin and Marianne come over here and think about where you want to put the logo. Mirajan waved. Not long. Robin made the first decision. Option to brand the Black Fairy Tail logo on the back of the left hand. The girl with leisurely superpowers chose the position of her right calf. Indicates that the planting of grass is completed. Fairy Tail members get another plus two. President, a banquet will be held next. Welcome new partners to join us. Juvia suggested. Don't worry about the welcome ceremony. Suyu turned around and looked towards the southeast. A large marine warship is approaching. It's marine, what are they doing here? Nami woke up from the temptation of money. Aside, Robin pursed his lips nervously. The joy of joining fairy tale suddenly disappeared. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 44 Recruitment and Anti-Recruitment? Invite Peacocks and Larks? Advertisement. 80. Alabasta East Harbor. Fairy Tale makes contact with the Naval Headquarters warship. Led by Admiral of Headquarters Alternate Momuzagi Jun. Several heroic marine female soldiers walked through the gangway and landed on the deck of the fairy tale. Colonel Hina, the handover of K-Lock should have been completed. Do you have anything else to do? Vivi looked at Marine, a pink-haired beauty in a suit and leather shoes. Marine Haishan Colonel Hina, currently serving in the G6 branch not far from Alabasta. This time, Colonel Hina is solely responsible for the handover, custody, and management of Shishibu Kai Lakadar and Lockwork Agency Advanced Agents. Within the past week, Vivi, Suyu, and others have met Hina more than once, and they are now half acquaintances. Could it be that Miss Hina has thought about it and plans to accept my invitation? Suyu smiled. In the past few encounters, Suyu also sent an invitation to join Hina. Momuzaki Jun, what's going on? She came here this time to recruit Suyu. This hasn't been said yet. On the contrary, the other party poached his feet first. Feel the gaze from the big sister head Jun. A little unnaturalness appeared on Hina's face. No, President Suyu, Princess Vivi, I am not here this time for the follow-up of Barlock. The details will be explained by Momuzagi Jun Vice Admiral. Hina took a deep breath and said calmly. Naval Headquarters Momuzagi Jun Vice Admiral. Vivi and Nami stared at each other. Obviously heard the name of Momuzagi Jun. The number of female sailors in the Marine is scarce. Especially the powerful beauty Marine. Jun, who is Admiral's alternate, is the first echelon under Admiral. 
Advertisement. 80. With outstanding appearance and strong strength, it is inevitable that he will become the focus of attention. Certain news agencies are most fond of reporting on events related to Momuzagi Jun. The more reports are made, the more people will naturally know about it. Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral? Is she a formidable figure? Juvia whispered. Amazing. Robin took a deep breath. Her pretty face was no longer as calm and calm as before. Jun glanced at Robin calmly. Devil's son Nico Robin. Although this is not the goal of her trip. But now that we have encountered it, we can't just sit idly by. But right now, of course, the recruitment task is more important. After the recruitment is successful, let Suyu donate Robin as a vote, and everything will be done, the best of both worlds. Think here. Jun didn't delay any longer, he took a step forward and faced Suyu directly. I am Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Momuzagi, and I am here with five elders and Marshal Marine. Before Jun finished speaking, I reject. Suyu was straightforward and refused without hesitation. Jun. I haven't started explaining this yet? The other party refused so simply and neatly? At least you have to listen to it first before deciding, hey. Just when Jun was slandering and dazed, Suyu looked over Jun and landed on the young sailors behind him. What's your name? Suyu asked knowingly. Ah, uh, our, our name is Skylark. Suddenly being called to by Suyu, the soft girl Sergeant Yunkui was suddenly at a loss. Advertisement. 80. Stupid, Skylark, don't casually talk to strange men, ignore them here. Major Peacock, a beautiful girl with long legs, taught. But Peacock, our mother taught us that it is impolite to ignore others. The soft girl Lark said weakly. I see, Skylark and Peacock are really good names. By the way, do you want to consider joining our fairy tale? Suyu extended the invitation with a smile. This reverse operation, from the recruited party to the recruiting party, directly stunned Jun. Even Urza, Nami, Robin, and other fairy tale girls couldn't help being stunned at the moment. All the pretty faces looked weird. Obviously already have them, but still see one and love the other. When I saw a pretty girl, I wanted to invite her to join. It is really greedy. It seems that it is because of too much energy, Mirajan thought. If Suyu were to know what the girls were thinking, he would definitely cry out for being wronged. Because he really has no other ideas. It's just simply considering that the guild's manpower is not enough. It may not be possible to cope with a large number of entrusted orders. So I want to invite as many talented people as possible. Certainly. Not just anyone can join Fairy Tale. At least it must be someone who Suyu is familiar with and knows the basics. Needless to say, Hina is one of the representatives of the new generation of Marine. As for the Skylark and Peacock, they are also the best of the next generation of Marine. Especially Peacocks. As the granddaughter of Vice Admiral Crane, Marine's chief staff officer, she has great potential. As for the soft girl Lark, although the current strength is worse, but that's not a big deal. As long as you join Fairy Tale, you will have the opportunity to awaken magic, and your strength will definitely increase greatly. Advertisement. 80. After all, even a weak chicken like Nami can easily kill Agent Locke advanced in seconds after awakening magic. Ah. Uh, listening to Suyu's sudden invitation, the soft girl Sergeant Yunkui suddenly opened her mouth wide. Grabbing the hem of his clothes with his slender hands, he was at a loss written all over his face. Even the peacock, who is shaking his character, is stunned and stunned at the moment. Never expected that the other party would come up. Aside, looking at the bewildered Skylark and peacock, Hina couldn't help but nodded sympathetically. Think back then. She met Suyu for the first time, and before she could say a few words, she was invited. Hina's expression at that time was the same as that of today's Skylark and Peacock. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Finally, Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Momuzagi Jun came back to life. Hastily opened his arms vigilantly. Like an old hen protecting a calf, she guards the three of them behind her, Lark, Peacock, and Hina. The look at Suyu gradually became unfriendly. She came to recruit Suyu on this trip, but before she could say anything, she would be poached first. The other party actually wanted to abduct his important sisters from the very beginning. Also, Jun scanned the deck and noticed something. The entire fairy tale, except for Suyu, is all beautiful girls, which can't be tolerated by Jen. This guy is definitely not a serious person. As long as I'm here, Skylarks and Peacocks will never be allowed to be cheated away. Just when Jun thought so. Speaking of Momuzagi Vice Admiral, do you want to join Fairy Tale too? Suyu directly invited Momuzagi. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 45 The Negotiation Broke Down. Suyu Who Protects the Calf. Advertisement. 80. Momuzagi Vice Admiral, do you want to join us on Fairy Tale? Suyu extended an invitation to Jun. Anyway, it's a casual thing. It's okay to be rejected. If you succeed, you will earn blood. Suyu naturally didn't hesitate to talk about it. Momuzagi Jun. Listen to Suyu's sudden straight ball invitation. Jun was taken aback for a moment, then couldn't help laughing. It's not enough for this guy to focus on Skylarks and Peacocks. Now even she is being targeted. Only, whether it's her or Lark, Peacock, Hina, all are marine civil servants with formal establishment. Putting aside a good establishment, he jumped to a precarious pirate team. What a fantastic idea is this. I am Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, Admiral's alternate Momuzagi Jun. This trip is jointly commissioned by five elders and Marshal Sengoku to recruit fairy tale President Suyu to succeed seven warlords of the sea. Jun stopped talking, and told his reason for coming seriously. At the same time, a letter of appointment was handed over to Suyu. So I have already said, refuse. Suyu didn't even look at the documents, and waved his hands calmly. From the very beginning, he knew the purpose of Jun's visit. Seven warlords of the sea, to put it nicely, is one of the three major powers in the world. To put it bluntly, he is nothing more than a lackey of the world government. Fairy tale is fairy tale. Will not become a vassal of others, especially the world government. Regarding this point, so you didn't hesitate for half a second. Do you know what invitation you declined? Jun asked back in astonishment. I thought he would hesitate a little after knowing the detailed invitation. Unexpectedly, Suyu's rejection was still so straightforward, without even the slightest hesitation. Advertisement. 80. This kind of thing is irrelevant, but you are now being invited by me, the president of Fairy Tale. Suyu said seriously. 
The identity of Shishibukai can bring a lot of convenience to your future actions. Don't you want to know about this? Jun spoke earnestly to persuade. This sea is the territory of the government. No matter who you are, you need the government's permission to legally operate at sea, otherwise you will be classified as pirates. If you don't want to become pirates, you need a reasonable identity. Momuzaki Vice Admiral, about this, my father, the King of Alabasta, has submitted a report to you Marine, Fairy Tail is our Alabasta certified team. Princess Vivi said seriously. Really? Hina nodded. It was she who submitted the application papers for Alabasta. There is a world government joining the big country as a backing guarantee. In theory, Fairy Tail can legally operate at sea. Of course, this theory also needs the approval of the above before it can be realized. If you change to normal time, for Alabasta who just suffered from Shishibukai disaster, in order to appease the higher authorities, they will open the door of convenience as much as possible. Only, this time the situation is special. Suyu rejected Shishibukai's invitation, not giving Marine and the government face. Naturally, Marine and the government will not give him face. Even with Alabasta as a guarantee, the application paperwork will not pass. At that time, Fairy Tail is still unorganized at sea. Why is it like this? Listening to Jun saying that the application has a high probability of not being approved, Vivi shook her head unacceptably. Accepting Shishibukai's invitation is the only option for you Fairy Tail to be able to legally operate at sea. Jun said firmly, Momuzaki Vice Admiral is this threatening me? Suyu smiled. I didn't mean that. I was just explaining to you the pros and cons of everything. The specific choice is still up to President Suyu to decide. Jun spoke calmly. Advertisement. AD. I see, if I don't become Shishibukai, Jun Vice Admiral, Peacock, Skylark, Miss Hina won't join us in Fairy Tail. Suyu thought seriously. Everyone. Whoever says you become a Shishibukai, we will join you. The corner of Peacock's mouth twitched, unable to bear it any longer. I wonder how much this guy wants them to join. What, isn't there no benefit at all? Then add a fart. You go. So you waved his hand. Hmm. Mirajan couldn't help chuckling. Nami, Vivi, and the others looked at each other and reacted. Vice Admiral Jun pursed his thin lips. She also saw it. Suyu didn't really want them to join the group so urgently. From beginning to end, this guy has been deliberately changing the subject, not oil and salt. It is obvious that he does not intend to give face to Marine and the government and become Shishibukai. That being the case, Jun will no longer try to persuade him with a shy face. It seems that our negotiation has broken down. Even so, I respect Chairman Suyu's choice. Jun spoke calmly. Then please go back. Suyu made a gesture of invitation. Before then, I have another thing to do. Jun's eyes fell on Robin. What should come is finally here. Robin clenched his fists nervously. Nico Robin, son of the devil, since I met you here, I will never turn a blind eye. Jun said decisively. Yeah yeah yeah. Suyu shook his head helplessly. Before he was so hard to make jokes. Advertisement. AD. Part of the reason is precisely to divert attention. Don't want to conflict with Marine because of Robin's problem. Certainly. It's not because Suyu is afraid of Marine. What Suyu really wanted to avoid was to prevent Robin from feeling that because of her, fairy tale was involved. Only. Conflict is now inevitable. That being the case, Suyu will not be polite anymore. Well, you want to take Robin away. Suyu came to Robin's side. Grab her slightly trembling little hand. See this sign. Suyu showed the black fairy tail logo on the back of Robin's hand to everyone in Marine. This is the symbol of fairy tail, the symbol of a partner. Robin is now a member of our fairy tail. If you want to take her away, then be ready to fight with me and fairy tail. Suyu changed his previous harmony. The moment the voice fell. An aura so fierce that it seemed to split the sky rushed up from him, overwhelming all directions. At this moment, the wind stopped and the clouds became quiet. There was no longer any waves in the rough sea. Under Suyu's coercion, even marine elites like Hina and Peacock couldn't help but widen their eyes at this moment, feeling as if their breathing was about to stagnate, unable to speak a word. Until now, Suyu gave them the impression that she was a good talking friend next door. Until now, feeling this indescribable coercion, they were suddenly startled. The man in front of me is the existence that once crushed and defeated Clock D.A.R. As expected of a man who can defeat Shishibukai K. Lock D.A.R., but as naval headquarters vice admiral, I must be responsible for the justice behind me. Jun took a deep breath, his expression firm. Bang, the famous sword Jin Pillow unsheathed. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 46 Start the War? Urza vs. Momuzaki Jun. Advertisement. AD. As the president of Fairy Tale, there are two compulsory courses. 1. Gag. This is a necessary skill in order to deal with the council's occasional difficulties. 2. Protect the calf. Everyone in the guild is an important family. Bullying by others is absolutely not allowed. Now, Robin is already a member of Fairy Tale. Marine wants to take Robin? Then let's fight. Change, armor of the Skywheel. No need for Suyu to make a move. The moment Momuzagi drew his sword out of its sheath. Urza is the magic knight. The sword wings of the heavenly wheel armor flapped, driving her figure to shoot out. When? Gold and iron clash. Urza used great power to take Jun away from Fairy Tail. If you want to fight, I will accompany you to the end. Ersha spoke calmly, surrounded by swords raining ups and downs, and the scene was spectacular. Elusha, queen of fairies, I have heard about your name for a long time. This skill of controlling flying swords is really extraordinary, but it may be very effective for ordinary miscellaneous fish, but it is useless for me. Jun stepped on Moonwalk, kept volleying, and looked at Urza calmly, with great confidence. She is Naval Headquarters Admiral Alternate, the first tier below Admiral. Among Vice Admirals, only the oversized garb can stand above her. Urza's fencing skills really look extraordinary, but... From Jun's point of view, controlling so many swords at the same time is just a show after all. A real swordsman should specialize in one sword. Urza's moves are very effective against miscellaneous soldiers. However, once you meet a master with knowledge, it will not be of much use. The best proof of this is the recent report of the Alabasta incident. Except for Suyu's fight with K-Lock D.A.R. Morgan's also focuses on Urza's fight with MR1 Dasbonis. Even a mere Dasborness can't be won quickly. In Jun, the so-called Fairy Queen is nothing more than that. Only, what Jun doesn't know is, the fight with Dasborness. Advertisement. AD, Urza didn't even show 10% of her own strength. Then let me experience the strength of Marine Vice Admiral. 
for the contempt in Jun's words, Urza could naturally hear it, but she didn't care. Raise your hands. The sword of Tianlun confuses the sky. Dozens of magical flying swords shot towards Jun under the control of Urza. Jun's expression was slightly condensed, but he did not relax in the slightest during the battle. The famous sword Kimpyra is wrapped around the mighty armament Haki, and the observation Haki is unleashed. Without missing anything, they knocked all of Urza's flying swords into the air with precision. Skywheel Sword of Pentagram. In the armor form of the Skywheel, Urza wields a sword with both hands. The sword of the Pentagram fell with lightning speed, and the speed was extremely fast. However, Jun has already read Urza's actions with the powerful observation Haki. The famous sword Jinpura wrapped around armament Haki swung down. The 100 meter sword energy smashed Ersha's pentagram sword forcefully, and at the same time, it continued unabated, destroying Ersha's sword wings. It's over. Jun whispered calmly. Her high heeled feet broke through the atmosphere, and shot out towards the unbalanced Urza. It's not over yet. Urza had no fear. Change. The light of the magic knight shines. The armor of the sky wheel that controls the multiple flying swords is retracted. In its place is a new set of black armor. Armor of Kuraba, Kuraba, Moonlight. Urza strikes again. The characteristic of the armor of the sky wheel lies in the number of swords. And the characteristic of Kuraba's armor at this moment is speed. Under the blessing of Kuraba's armor, Urza's flying speed skyrocketed. Even Jun's observation Haki can hardly keep up. Jingle, the sound of gold and iron colliding was loud in an instant. Under Urza's extreme speed, even Jun was suppressed for a while. Had to rely on observation Haki to passively block. Advertisement. 80. This moment. There was no trace of calmness on Jun's face. I thought the armor of the sky wheel was Ersha's trump card. Unexpectedly, Urza changed into a new set of armor in the blink of an eye. What exactly is this ability? Besides these two sets of armor, does Urza have other armors? Many thoughts ran through Chinin's mind in Jun's mind. Next second. Her guess became reality. After it became clear that the armor of Kuraba could not take down the opponent, Urza changed her costume for the third time. The Thunder Emperor's armor. As the name suggests, this is armor with the attribute of lightning. The weapon in Urza's hand is also converted into a thunder gun that opens and closes. When, Urza's thunder gun collided with Jun's famous sword Kinpura. Chi Chi, triggered by a powerful thunder and lightning force. Through the blade, it is transmitted to Jun's body. Just for a moment, Jun's body was stiffened and paralyzed by the lightning. Drink. Urza suddenly exerted strength. The thunder gun hit the famous sword Jin Piluo. With a huge force that penetrated the back of the paper, Jun was shot down and smashed on the deck of the warship. Jun Vice Admiral. The soft girl Skylark yelled worriedly. How could such a thing happen? That's Miss Jun. The peacock pretty face of the S-shaking girl showed shock irresistibly. Elessa, the fairy queen, what kind of ability is she? What's going on with those special armors one after another? Hina's face was also full of shock. Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, it should be more than this level. Urza stood on the mast of the warship, pointing her spear at Jun on the nail plate. Cough cough. Jun opened his mouth and spat out a wisp of electric arc, and slowly got up. Elessa, the fairy queen, I admit that I underestimated you before, but I won't anymore, I will do my best. Just what I want. Advertisement. 80. Urza is also full of fighting spirit. Swish. The sword energy is horizontal and vertical. The knife is shining. Ah, the mainmast is going to break. The screams of the sailors continued one after another. I knew it. How could Miss Jun lose? Peacock breathed a sigh of relief. Turn around and face the fairy tale people. With his backhand, he untied the whip into the back of his waist. Major Peacock, what are you going to do? The soft girl Skylark asked nervously. We must also practice our own justice. The Peacock said firmly. But, how could we have won? Skylark said weakly. The second in command of fairy tale is Jun Vice Admiral, who has almost suppressed the strongest on their side. Not to mention Suyu, the president who is stronger than Urza. I also want to learn about fairy tale's tricks. Colonel Hina steps forward. On the surface, it is helping the peacock. In fact, it is resolving conflicts. Define conflict as sparring. After all, peacock is the granddaughter of Vice Admiral Crane, the great staff officer. If something happened, they couldn't explain it at all. Come on, fairy tale president, let me train you properly. The peacock licked the corners of its mouth charmingly, and flipped its wrist, about to launch the whip fruit ability to sue you. Since it's a whip, let me. Don't wait for Nami to change into the Taurus star spirit clothes. Next second, an astonishing accident happens suddenly. Two streams of sea water rushed up suddenly. Like tentacles, it restrains the peacocks who are caught off guard. Water restraint? That's Juvia's shot. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 47, Armor of Purgatory? Urza defeated Jun and killed the warship? Advertisement. 80. Naval Headquarters Major Peacock. Possesses the Paramecia Whip Fruit Ability. Can command all that is whipped by her. Even if it is a building, if it is hit by her whip, it must obey the command. This ability is similar to Perona's Ghost Fruit and Sugar's Childlike Fruit, and it almost touches the rules. Even a person whose strength is far superior to that of a peacock, will be hit once he is whipped. Relying on this ability, coupled with his own character of shaking s, even if the opponent is at the Shishibukai level or even stronger, peacock dares to give it a try. However, the battle has not begun, it is declared over. She didn't even have time to use the whip fruit ability. Seawater tentacles that fell from the sky wrapped her body. The energy from the sea instantly rendered the capable user powerless. She could only watch Juvia grab her weapon. Who do you think you are, and how dare you try to teach my family's president? Listen carefully, the president has always been the only one who can teach others. Juvia said seriously. Say it. Juvia turned around. Hand over the peacock's whip to Suyu. Just when people thought Juvia was trying to get Suyu to teach peacock. Next second. The unexpected happens. I saw Juvia bent down by herself and raised the small leather drum. Come on, president, please don't show mercy, teach Juvia to your heart's content. Juvia was full of anticipation and eagerness to try. Nami, Vivi, Skylark, wow, Hina. So you, look at the whip in his hand, and look at Juvia's expectant eyes. Advertisement. 80. If there were no one else here, Suyu would really like to try. Okay, okay, that's it. Myra covered her face and dragged Juvia away. Wow, the seawater tentacles that bound the peacock dispersed. The weak peacock immediately fell to the deck. 
Peacock, are you all right? Skylark and Hina hurried forward. It's not bad. Without the suppression of the sea water, her lost strength gradually recovered. The girl from before, what the hell is going on? How did she do it? The peacock whispered softly. The exquisite pretty face is full of shock and disbelief. This was the first time in her life that she met someone with the ability to control water. Logia fruit ability. Hina spoke word by word, and said the name she got from the agents of the Barlock work agency. Before that, she still couldn't fully believe it, and felt that this ability was too nonsense. As a demon fruit power, hated by the sea, it turns out to be able to control water, which is simply too contradictory. But, after witnessing Juvia's shot with his own eyes, she also had to believe that this outrageous ability really existed. Logia fruit, how can this ability exist? The peacock couldn't help screaming in surprise. In this sea, nothing is impossible, Miss Peacock. Suyu smiled slightly and handed the whip back to the peacock. After this battle, even she didn't have the slightest fighting spirit. His whole body and mind were shocked by the existence of the Shui Shui fruit. President Suyu, is that really a fruit? The soft girl Skylark asked curiously. Hmph, this is the secret of our guild. If you want to know, then become our partner. There are unexpected surprises waiting for you. Suyu laughed. No, no need, forget it, I don't want to know. Skylark shrank its neck weakly. Ha ha ha, advertisement. AD, Suyu smiled, did not continue to press, and turned to look at the battlefield between Urza and Jun. Elisha, we are about to leave. Learn. Urza said she knew. What do you mean? Because you are going to leave? So you plan to make a quick decision. Jun heard Suyu's overtones. Yes. On the mast of the warship, Urza nodded calmly. I admit that it was my fault for underestimating you at the beginning, but, you should also know that you and I have similar strength, and we can't tell the winner in a short time. Jun's determined opening at the other end of the mast. Urza didn't speak anymore. Jun gritted his silver teeth lightly and swung his knife to attack, wanting to prove his judgment with practical actions. Facing Jun's surprise attack, Urza remained unmoved. When Jun came within ten meters of her, Urza finally moved. Change, armor of purgatory. The heavy black armor attached to Urza's delicate body exuded a powerful oppressive force. This sudden change made Jun's pupils shrink suddenly. It's too late to evade, only time to cross the knife. Boom, Urza swung her pitch black serrated heavy knife and smashed it on Jun's Kimpyra. When, a dull voice like Huang Zhongdala sounded. Circles of shock waves of power visible to the naked ice red, causing ripples in the atmosphere like water waves. Whoosh, boom, under the ultimate power of Urza's purgatory armor. Even Jun, who was Admiral's candidate, couldn't hold on any longer. Even with the blessing of armed color, her hands were bursting open, and blood spattered. The whole person was pushed down by the saber energy of the heavy serrated knife. Rumble, the large warship exclusively owned by Vice Admiral was cut in half by the aftermath of the armor of purgatory. Wow, ah, the warship, the warship was cut apart. What kind of monster is this? Advertisement. AD, Jun Vice Admiral. Momuzaki Vice Admiral, are you okay? The horrifying shouts of the sailors continued one after another. Cough, cough, cough. Jun grabbed the lower deck and jumped up. Opening his mouth, he coughed up a mouthful of blood. His pale face was already occupied by shock and horror. You are an amazing opponent. This time I won because you are not familiar with my power. If there is a chance, we will fight again next time. After leaving these words, Urza jumped and returned to the deck of Fairy Tail. Yeah, I won, as expected of Urza. Nami happily stepped forward to high-five Urza. Even the Momuzaki Vice Admiral in the headquarters is. Urza is really amazing. Vivi was amazed again and again. How so? Miss Jun really lost. Two little sparrows murmured unconsciously. We are about to leave, you are still not leaving, do you want to join after you have figured it out? Suyu asked with a smile. Hina's complexion changed. Hastily pulled the absent-minded peacock and skylark away, etc. Suyu seemed to have thought of something. Hina paused. Anything else? Cough cough. Suyu cleared his throat. Go back and tell your lords that if you want to fight us, you must send at least two admirals to play. Suyu Haki's opening. Slap. Hina staggered, didn't speak any more, and fled in a hurry. Ha ha ha, let's go. The fairy tail set sail, and gradually drifted away under the awe-inspiring eyes of the sailors. Thanks to the boss of Devil King CWK for the reward of 1000 points. Advertisement. AD. Chapter 48. The man who offered a reward of 500 million. Advertisement. Alabasta Eastport, 10 minutes after the Shishibukai invitation event. At the top of the red line, the Holy Land Marie Joys, the Pango City Hall. Nanny, that ignorant brat who turned down our Shishibukai invitation, not only refused, but also sunk all the warships of Vice Admiral Momuzagi who went to invite him, even openly shielding that woman, shielding that devil's son Nico Robin. Arrogant? Really arrogant? That guy didn't take us seriously at all. Since he doesn't give us face, then we don't have to be polite. They want to be the heroes of the sea? It's a good idea. I want to see if there is any man who is not afraid of death and dares to ask a man who offers a reward of 500 million. The old people who represent the highest power in the world on the surface give orders. And, just a few minutes later, countless newspaper delivery birds are rushing to all parts of the world with new reward orders that the government has prepared for a long time. Nanny, another man with a reward of 500 million was born. Suyu, the president of Fairy Tale, is such an amazing man. The first time the reward was 80 million, it's been less than a month, and it's risen to 500 million. It's unbelievable. It's nothing to believe, it's a matter of course. After all, he defeated that Shishibukai. The man who defeated Shishibukai G. Lockdale is worth the 500 million bounty. It's just what I don't understand is, didn't Fairy Tale save a country this time? Why did the reward go up? Is there any other secret behind the Alabasta incident this time? Is it really possible to entrust Fairy Tale? Those guys don't think they want law enforcement to fish and trick us into killing us as pigs. I don't know, but I dare not entrust a man with a reward of 500 million to do things for me. All over the world, countless people are talking about it. New World, Derice Rosa. Advertisement. AD. Fufurfur. I wonder how amazing these guys are? It turned out to be only 500 million. Shishibukai Doflamingo laughed smugly. It's only 500 million. If it weren't for Dover, you became Shishibukai, and the bounty now has reached 1 billion. The top cotter Diamanti boasted. A mere fairy tale is nothing to be afraid of. A handsome pirate ship. Captain, Captain, something is wrong, your bounty has been overtaken, and it's a big chunk. 
The crew of the Junmii Regiment screamed in shock. What did you say? Bema Cavendish, the captain of the Junmii Regiment, who was admiring his beauty in the mirror, was suddenly taken aback. Five to five, five hundred million, what are you kidding? What are those marine guys thinking? How can anyone increase the bounty of more than four hundred million all of a sudden? Cavendish couldn't believe it. He thought that his own reward of two hundred million was destined to be the most dazzling star this year. Unexpectedly, a dark horse appeared out of nowhere. Directly surpassed him by more than twice. How to play this? There are five hundred million Suyu in front. His two hundred million was completely eclipsed. For a long time. Fortunately, although his bounty is higher than mine, but in terms of beauty, he definitely can't beat me, and the crew also. No, Captain, the leader of the Fairy Tale Guild is also a rare handsome guy, and the crew members are first-class beautiful girls. Cavendish. People are hard to tear apart. Advertisement. 80. East Blue, Kokoyasi Village. Ah, Mr. Jian. The big thing is bad. Nami. Nami has also been offered a bounty. The exclamations of the villagers continued one after another. Nanny, what are you talking about? Why did this happen? President Suyu and the others saved the country? Why? Feng Jian shook his head unacceptably. Although I don't know what happened, but believe it, believe in Chairman Suyu, believe in Nami, and believe in Fairy Tale. The blue-haired girl Nyoki Jao said firmly, Fairy Tale. Oh, the girls' voices erupted everywhere. 10 million, 500 million, the president's bounty has risen to 500 million. Nami said in surprise, Miss Urza has also been offered a reward, 79 million, which is 1 million short of the president's initial reward, that's amazing. Vivi was amazed again and again. So so, Urza smiled smugly. The feeling of being offered a reward seems not bad. Nami, Juvia, you have also been offered a reward. Nanny, do I have it too? Advertisement. 80. Nami was taken aback. Little thief, Nami, has a bounty of 360,000 berry? Juvia, a bounty of 54 million. Leisurely lowly Marion said. 333. 36 million, isn't that higher than Arlong? Am I that good? Nami was stunned. The second deck of the guild. I'm sorry, I really am a troublesome woman. It's all because of me that you. Well, Suyu interrupted Robin's apology with a wave. It's nothing more than a bounty among my partners. Even if I don't get promoted this time, it will be the same next time. Besides, I didn't intend to become a Shishibukai in the first place, and it has nothing to do with you. President. Robin pursed his lips. Although Suyu said so, she would not really distance herself from what happened just now. After all, this conflict was indeed caused by her, nothing else. Okay, let's not talk about this anymore. Speaking of which, I have prepared a small gift for you to join the membership. Suyu smiled mysteriously, and took out a paper tube from his hand. Open it and have a look. Um, Robin took it. Open the paper tube. Take out the large paper inside. Wait to see the text above. Robin's beautiful eyes suddenly widened to the limit. This is historical text. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 49 Robin's Move. Sengoku Regret. Advertisement. 80. This is the extension of the historical article. Looking at the gift that Suyu gave him, Robin was shocked beyond measure. What shocked Robin even more was the content recorded in this historical article. Information about ancient weapon Pluton Pluto? That's exactly what she was looking for during her three years at Alabasta. Originally, she had given up after Lockdahl's plan fell through. Unexpectedly, there is no doubt and no way out in the mountains and rivers, and there is another village with dark willows and bright flowers. Now when she gave up, what she had been looking for for three years appeared so easily and suddenly. I came across this by chance when I was sightseeing in the capital. I thought it was quite interesting, so I made a rubbing copy, as long as it is what you want. So you said nonsense. In fact, he sneaked into the funeral hall and made rubbings for Robin. After all, Robin is a problem child who needs to be comforted by something that interests her. Robin pursed his lips and looked at Suyu with a look of emotion on his pretty face. Although Suyu said it was accidental, she could feel that it was not the case. Whether it's the previous conflict with Marine, or the present surprise gift, Robin can deeply feel the heart of the man in front of him, and it's definitely not a lie. President, do you want to know what is recorded on it? Robin seemed to have made some kind of decision, and her pretty face looked more serious than ever. With Lockdahl, she made the decision right from the start. In the end, even if he did get information about the ancient weapon, he would never tell Kay Lockadar or anyone else. But, now Robin has changed his mind. If it was this man, she could give everything she had. However, more than Robin expected. I do not want to know. Advertisement. 80. Suyu smiled slightly. Because I already knew it. Okay, everyone, let's start celebrating the addition of new partners. Suyu announced. Oh, fairy tale, the banquet is in full swing and the atmosphere is cheerful. This moment. Naval Headquarters Marine Ford, Naval Headquarters Office. Marshal Sengoku couldn't relax. Because just now, he has already received a report on the whole process of Jun's contact with Suyu. Previously, they, as well as the five elders, have only received reports of a breakdown in negotiations and the destruction of the warship. Until now, the full report is finally out. If the five elders knew that Urza defeated Momuzagi Jun, who was Admiral's alternate strength, in a short time, it will definitely not be released according to the previously proposed reward amount. Send at least two admirals, this is really. Sengoku, this is not a joke, that man is qualified to say that. Vice Admiral, Marine Chief Staff Officer, said solemnly. I know. Marshal Sengoku shook his head. Being able to defeat Jun in such a short period of time, the bounty of the Fairy Queen Urza alone is enough to reach 500 million. As for Suyu, who is the captain, it is not an exaggeration to double it. Finally, there is this girl who can freely control water elements. She is suspected to be a Logia water fruit capable person. If this is true, Zayahi, it's all my fault. If the East Blue Base incident happened, I could listen to you and investigate first before making a decision. Maybe it won't be now. Marshal Sengoku sighed, remorseful. No, even if there is no initial reward, the result will still not be much different from now. The Vice Admiral Crane shook his head. Advertisement. 80. Fairy Tail has their own ambitions, and they will never be inferior to others. The next day, early morning. Fairy Tail deck. Suyu woke up early. Open the system panel with a wave of your hand. Fairy Tail LV9. President, Suyu. The Lost Magic, Thunder Dragon Slayer Magic 100%, has unlocked Dragon Slayer Mystery. Dragon King Species is not activated, Thunder Dragon King mode to be unlocked. 
Guild members, S-level mage Fairy Queen Urza, S-level receptionist Demon Mirajan, Star Spirit Mage Nami, Vivi, Karu, Robin, Marianne, 87% to the next level. Sure enough, the increase in guild members can also get upgrade points. Suyu nodded. East Blue Kokoyasi Village Event. Completed Nami's main quest. Plus the addition of Nami, a member of the protagonist group. The addition of the two increases the guild level by two. This time the Alabasta event entrustment ended, and the guild was upgraded again. And then yesterday, the addition of Robin, Vivi, Karu, and Marion made the guild level plus one again. Upgrade rewards have also been issued. After Urza, Myra Jane, and Juvia. The fourth place, no, more precisely, the fourth pair of partners from the fairy tale world has come to One Piece world. Because this time the call was not a single person, but a pair of double yolk eggs. Although he still doesn't know his identity, Suyu knows his location. He looked up to the sky. This time the partner is, Heaven, President and President. Advertisement. 80. The girl's surprise cheers brought Suyu back from his thoughts. Nami jumped up and down in front of Suyu. Change yourself. She put on a black and white maid outfit on the spot. General, President, I have awakened a new magic again. This time it is the power of the Virgo Protoss. Nami showed off. This is a matter of course. As long as you work hard and continue to complete the commissions in the future, there will be more surprises. Suyu smiled. Really? Then I will definitely work hard. Nami clenched his fists vigorously. President and President. At this moment, the cheers of the girl's surprise and surprise sounded again. Vivi rushed in front of Suyu, her little face flushed with excitement. Hee hee, Vivi, you should be awakened too. Nami giggled. Yeah, it's really unbelievable, this is the power of magic. I thought it was a fairy tale in a book, but I didn't expect that one day it would actually appear and happen to me. Vivi said excitedly. Last night, she learned from Nami that joining fairy tale would bring unexpected magical surprises. At first, Vivi didn't care, after all magic is too fantastic. Until now personally experiencing the awakening, she finally believed in this fantastic reality. Nami, Urza, Juvia, aren't you using the devil fruit ability, but the power of magic? Asked Vivi. That's right. Urza nodded. Vivi, what magic have you awakened? Start showing it. Juvia asked curiously. Advertisement. 80. Chapter 50 Flower Flower Fruit plus Wood Magic equals Wood Style through several thousand hands. Advertisement. 80. Come on, hurry up and show us your magic. Nami asked curiously. Um. Vivi nodded lightly. My mind moved. Magic light shines. Wait until the light converges. Vivi's image has also changed. Water Blue's long hair, which was originally loose, was tied into a high ponytail. A band with an M engraved on it is worn on the forehead. The water blue dress is also replaced by a set of heroic battle clothes. At the back of Vivi's waist, there is also a piece of equipment that looks like a scorpion tail. This magic seems to be somewhat similar to mine. Nami nodded suspiciously. That's right, the magic awakened by Vivi is the same as Nami and you. It's all Protoss magic, and this is probably the Protoss clothing of Scorpio. Urza explained. Scorpio, yes, this is it. Vivi's eyes lit up. Scorpio. Nami rolled his eyes. His eyes fell on the scorpion tail behind Vivi. Speaking of which, Vivi, how is your scorpion tail equipped? Could it be, let me see. Nami started immediately, wanting to see where the scorpion tail connects. No, Nami, don't take off my clothes, the president is still here, I'll be shy. Vivi struggled. What does it matter, we are all partners who have taken a bath together. Nami pushes the boundaries. Just when the two girls were fighting. Quack quack. Running duck Karu quickly ran out of the cabin. Karu, who has been inseparable from Vivi since childhood, this time Vivi joined Fairy Tail, and he also brought him along by the way. The super fast running duck who joined Fairy Tail with Vivi has also awakened its magic at this moment. Karu, have you also awakened the power of magic? Advertisement. 80. Vivi said in surprise. Quack quack. Karu nodded repeatedly. What kind of magic is it? Nami, Juvia, and others are also interested. In the eyes of everyone. Karu the super duck spreads his duck wings. One jumped off the boat. Whoa, Karu. Vivi hurried to the side of the boat and looked down. Next second. In Vivi's shocked eyes, the super fast running duck Karu actually flew up. Ducks, can fly too. Nami was taken aback for a moment. This should be the magic of the transcendence wing. Mirajan spoke. Karu, Karu has become a super fast duck. Vivi murmured softly. Good morning, everyone. Robin and Marianne came out of the cabin and greeted each other. It's just in time, Robin, Marianne, you should also have awakening magic. Urza asked. Well, Robin nodded. Wait a moment, that's magic, magic that can be called a miracle. Robin, your attitude is too calm. Nami couldn't help complaining. Well, of course there is some inner shock, but this is the wonder of fairy tale, isn't it? Robin smiled slightly. In fact, don't look at her so calm. Actually, when I just woke up in the morning. Advertisement. 80. Robin was stunned. Never imagined. There is such a miraculous power as magic in this world. And he finally knew too. What everyone in fairy tale uses is not the devil fruit ability, but the power of magic. That's the great thing about fairy tale. So, Robin and Marianne, what type of magic have you awakened? So you asked. I'll come first. The leisurely lowly Marianne raised her hand first. I saw her take out a paintbrush. A cannon was drawn on the ground. Next moment. The magic light flickered. The cannon was loaded by hollow and fired a single shot into the sea ahead. Immediately afterwards, Marianne drew another cute puppy, which was also resurrected. Wow. Nami and Vivi opened their mouths together, already stunned. Drawing magic, the magic that makes the pictures I draw move. Marianne said. Suyu nodded. Marianne was able to match the drawing magic within his expectations. After all, she was originally a painter, and she was a good match for painting magic. Suyu's gaze then fell on Robin. What magic can Robin with the flower flower fruit ability match? He is also quite curious about this. So, Robin nodded, opened his arms, and activated his new ability. The warm spring breeze is blowing. The spirit of spring swept through fairy tale. Flowers and plants sprouted on the deck without warning. There are also sprouts protruding from the boat fence, which is full of vitality. This. What kind of magic is this? Advertisement. 80. Nami and Vivi opened their mouths in shock again. Urza and Mirajan looked at each other, seeing shock in each other's eyes. They have already recognized that this is the magic of Vlad Sinkin, one of the founders of fairy tale and the fourth among the ten holy wizards. Wood magic. Suyu frowned slightly. Um. Robin nodded. 
This is magic that can manipulate nature. The corner of Suyu's mouth curled up. The wood magic of the fairy tale world is similar to the Logia Mumu fruit of the One Piece world. More importantly, this spell works well with Robin's flower flower fruit. Flower flower fruit plus wood magic. Even if Robin develops a big move like wood style through several thousand hands in the future, it is not surprising. The magic demonstration session of the new members is over. The next step is the actual combat adaptation stage. Karu, the super fast duck, is practicing flying with a crew. It can carry Urza wearing armor, and it can easily carry Vivi on long distance flights in the future. The other side, Scorpio Vivi is the opponent of Virgo Nami, and each is familiar with new powers. Marion uses painting magic under the guidance of Mirajan and Juvia. Certainly, it was Mirajan who was in charge of guiding, and Juvia was purely here to make trouble, allowing Marianne to draw many of the toys she wanted. At last, Suyu is seriously discussing with Robin the possibility of combining flower flower fruit with wood magic. Time passed bit by bit. At noon, hi hi hi, there was a loud laugh from the air. President Suyu, here I come again. News King Morgans glides against the wind and lands on the deck of the fairy tale. He untied the large sack he was carrying behind his back and handed it to Suyu. These are commissions from all over the world, and they are really lucky to have the help of Chairman Suyu.